Hi guys, I'm just setting up. I'm gonna have to disappear again to go join Wick in his room. Okay. So live chat is going. Here's Wick's room. And let's see. Backstage. Okay, I'm here for like another five minutes and then I have to hop into his room to have the conversation with him and set up my camera and everything. And then we'll go live. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I had an amazing, I made this like beef, well, veal broth soup, but then I also made it like a cauliflower soup. I love cauliflower. I don't know if, if you guys eat cauliflower, but I love cauliflower soup. I put it like the, this one was like a veal broth. Okay. With like roasted onions and roasted veal in the oven. And then you put it in the broth and you let it sit for like literally like hours and hours and hours brothing. And then what I like to do is I like to make a tomato fried soup. So you fry tomato paste with like garlic and stuff. And then you make it into soup. And then you put bits of cauliflower in it vibes salt a little pepper vibes it's soup era girl we're in fall we're in autumn we're in brown leaves orange leaves whatever it is soup soupville right now guys soupville and i am enjoying the process oh i have to do push to talk on discord push to talk because uh, that's how they do it on the youtube Oh, push the talk, push it to talk. Stop recording. Why does it say recording? Why does it say that? Edit key. Why is it recording? Mouse one, stop recording. Why it recording? Push it to talk. Okay, let's test this out, baby. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. Okay, ooh. Okay, I need to know, uh, guys, before I go, what do you consider an age gap relationship? This is very important. What do you imagine is an age gap relationship? Because that's the question I want to ask everyone. Because they must have like a very specific idea about what an age gap relationship is. But like, what is it? Also, hold on. I feel like I need to move my chair. Okay. A little bit over so I'm more centered when the Discord call starts. Dun, dun, dun. Hopefully the arm to my mic doesn't drop. More than five years. So like five years and more or like six years and more? Five years plus? <clears throat> okay. Does it depend on how young the youngest person is? Because like what if you're like 75 and 80? Is that like an age gap relationship? Or is it more like if you're 22 and 27? Brittany, did you have anything to yummy to eat? I'm making steak sandwiches right now. Okay, first of all, delicious. Yes, I had an amazing veal broth, cauliflower soup that I've literally been cooking all day. It's so good. And I'm going to have a second bowl of it after this stream probably and before my appointment. So good. Okay, two people are already setting up their mics and stuff. Okay. Assuming both are over 25, 10 years. Oh, yeah, see, my age, my requirements for what an age gap relationship changes depending on how young the youngest person is. <clears throat> for sure. Hi, Monkey D. Good to see you. Monkey D. Luffy. Wait. Monkey D. Trevi. Did I just get your name now that I'm watching One Piece? I think I just got it. I just realized, too, my necklace is all turned around. Monkey D. Luffy. Monkey D. Luffy. 
Okay, I gotta get going. Ow, ugh, my hair. I think even 55 and 16, 75 and 80 are probably big gaps, like in health wise. Oh, uh, I think age gap is when there's just enough of your childhood experiences with media and shows and music, or whatever. It's not aligned and lived in different experiences based off of age. Interesting. I will say my partner's so Americanized that we have a lot of overlap, which is kind of interesting. Like it is kind of interesting. He feels so American, but obviously so Croatian, but obviously so American to me. It's interesting. <clears throat> For me, the age gap relationship has more to do with the stage of life you're in. Yes. Like a four-year difference can be huge if you're in different phases. Yes. And 10 years can mean little if you're in the same phase. Agree. Agree. Okay, I got to get going. I'll be right back. I have to mute the music for you guys. I'm sorry. I have to because I have to. I need the desktop. Okay, I'm going to mute the background music so you can't hear nobody. And then I will put a be right back screen. I'll be right back. A be right back. Go. Welcome, 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 one and all, to yet another episode of Wick TV, a cross-ideological space where we come together to talk about issues both political and cultural, from the silly to the serious. And today, we have a discussion for you in honor of Dean Cook's marriage uh, to his 24-year-old bride, uh, which he started dating six years ago. We will be talking about age gaps in relationships. Dean Cook's 51 once, by the way. Uh, right now. Jesus. So, uh... Quite the age gap there. Uh, serendipitously, his marriage fell on the day of my panel, so it's going to be a useful lens to look at this through. But I wanted to talk today about um, power dynamics through the lens of age. Does someone coming from a large age differential from someone have power over them? And in what direction? Um, does age gaps make it harder to have a relationship. Uh, we're going to be talking about all that and more. But before we begin, I want to give my lovely panelists a chance to have their opening thoughts on the matter, introduce themselves, etc. And we are going to start with last minute replacement, Ice Beans, who, again, grateful for you being here. Rora got sick. She got COVID, so she couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. Ice oh, Beans here. oh, no. Yeah. It's rough. Well, Which thank shots? you. Thank you for inviting me. Um, you should have probably gone with me last because I'm probably sort of a centrist on this. I tend to take these cases on a more or less a case-by-case -case basis. 
Uh, for the most part, if a couple is happy, then and they're legal, they're both of legal age, then it's kind of whatever floats your boat. Um, I do think that significant age gaps can have like logistical issues. They can have issues where you have missing shared experiences. I do think that there is some likelier, uh, uh, like it's more likely that there would be controlling power dynamics going on there. Um, and then, of course, you have, like, the general social pushback from all of it. Um, but, yeah, legally speaking, any adult is free to take all of that on. Uh, I am open to changing my mind about it. Sorry it's not the spicy uh, one way or the other. It's, it's your honest opinion. That's what we value here. I, I guess I would ask, right? Um, is this something you'd advise your friend if you had a young friend and a 60-year-old uh, was looking to be in a relationship with them? What would you tell your friend? Would you say... Go for it. We'll um, so that would out. be, yeah. So that would be the case by case basis, right? So if mm. for for me, I can if I can observe some uh, couple in real life and like see how they treat each other and see how uh, things like that. If it's if it's where I can speak to that person, right? Or if this was my own daughter or some shit like that. Um, but uh, but yeah, I would basically just uh, make sure that they're happy and that they're not uh, in some kind of weird power dynamic, and then yeah, go for it. Okay. Well, thank you for being here. Really appreciate you. Uh, next up, we have Julie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's okay. Hold on. Give me a minute. Um, I think age gap relationships. I think when you're like thirties and up, I think it's fine. But people in their early twenties still have a lot of learning to do before they get into like serious relationships and stuff. They have a lot of experiences they still need to have. I think before people should settle down and have a family. I think, uh, yeah, people in their, I think most people would agree someone in their early 20s being with someone in their late 30s is different than someone in their early 30s being someone in their late 40s. Um, so I think after 30, I don't really care. But like, I'm 25 right now. If one of my friends came up to me and was like, I'm dating someone in their, that's 42, I'd be like, girl, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll get into it as we go. Um, Elder Drazi, thanks for meeting yourself. I, I was confused whose dogs those were, but we figured that out. Appreciate you. Sorry. Um, no, that's okay, Elder Drazi, since uh, you're here now. Go ahead. What's your thoughts? Okay. I think that um, most of what I see on the internet when people respond to people having big age gaps is super performative. Uh, and if it's not, um, you should kind of just get with the whole program of America. If you're doing something that I don't like and it's totally legal, I should just mind my own fucking business. It's crazy, the idea that um, we're going to condemn people or chastise them for having an age gap. Because you can't, you can't condemn age gap dating as a, a whole without condemning the individuals. And if you meet somebody who's special and you think it's right, I think it's insane for somebody to step and say, well, you can't experience this. And if you are going to say that, there's a bunch of uh, people like you'd say Beyonce and Jay-Z shouldn't be together. Um, uh, what's his name? Elton her. John shouldn't have gotten married to his husband. Uh, th these are all pretty big age gaps. I think that you can certainly have issues, but all the issues that you're going to find in age gap relationships are things we would condemn in any other relationship. And if you're just going to say that uh, age gap is going to cause these things, uh, I, I would say the burden of proof falls on you to prove that this is uh, always a thing. Okay. Well, thank you for being here. I guess we'll see how it goes. Brittany, what do you think? Yeah, I mean... In spirit, if you are exceptional and you want to have an amazing relationship with someone, even with a large age gap, I think you should be allowed to do that in adult relationships. I do have a little bit of sussy baka energy, though, when I'm seeing those 50-year-olds or those 22-year-olds, because it begs too many questions that I think are fair to be asking, which is like, what do you have in common? Why are you interested? Why is this happening? I know so many of my friends in age gap relationships, I've been in some myself. So I know that for me at least, from what I've seen is there is a disconnect when it comes to culture. There is a disconnect when it comes to generational hobbies. There is a disconnect when it comes to energy levels. So of course you can make a 50 year old and a 25 year old work. We're 8 billion people on the planet, someone's gonna work. The question is, you know, are you that exception? And is it okay to explore it in the first place? Of course it's okay to explore it, but it's also okay to say like, this isn't really my vibe. I think a lot of people who are the younger people tend to get into those relationships because they're looking for mentors. And so I really want to avoid that dynamic and a romantic one because I think it's a mistake. You usually grow out of it for a reason. But that's just what I've seen. So it's anecdotal. We will get into it. Uh, and it's okay. We don't have to have studies and sources to back all this up. We are just talking about our thoughts. Um, last, but certainly not least, irrelevant, please. 
Uh, yeah. So I think age gaps in relationships, I think it's going to be case by case, uh, almost certainly. Um, I will say that, uh, in age gaps, there is a lot of markers that would make it potentially. So the power dynamic is abusable, but there's power dynamics in every single relationship, right? Just saying there is a power dynamic, therefore it's bad. I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. But um, I, I will say there is some like uh, a knowledge uh, gap, probably a like uh, gap in in uh, where people are financially. Like one of the biggest issues that uh, age gap relationships, especially with individuals in their twenties, run into is that one person might have an established life, you know, an apartment or a house or something like that, car, all these finances, and one other person might be just getting out of college and you know running with some debt. So they're might be some issues with that, but again, this is more of just like a financial issue that would be between rich and poor anyway. So like, it's like a marker for different issues that we would have to talk about individually anyway. So it's case by case, my opinion. Okay. I guess uh, I'll start off by asking this then, because a lot of people are saying case by case, it depends on the thing. I, I do want to talk about in general, and I also want to talk about older men or older women who specifically look for younger men or women, younger partners. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio is a good example of this. Uh, raise your hand if you think he's doing nothing wrong. Leonardo DiCaprio has done nothing wrong. He's totally okay. Nothing wrong because the action is wrong? Or you like? do I think that there's some trauma there? <laughs> That's actually a great That's actually that's a, a good great, question. Uh... Well, uh, answer it in both ways. I'm, I'm curious. Um, what, what do you mean by that, Brittany? Well, I don't think it's wrong for anyone to date a legal adult, right? I don't think there's like anything, but I think there's an indicator that he tends to date people about 25 and he doesn't seem to date people older. I think often in age gap relationships, from what I've seen, anecdotal, even using him as an example, usually there's something that's been stunted in the older person and they're relating to the person who's younger. And often the younger person, after they've matured past this older person, realizes this older person is stuck at a certain age, which is why they're dating that age group. So I feel like with Leo, from what I understand, even his past relationship, I think women have said that it's hard to date somebody who doesn't grow up. It's like a Peter Pan syndrome. And I think it shows in his choice of dating partners. Isn't it oh, possible I kind of he just, just likes younger bodies? I was going to, I was kind of assuming that most people who date specific, okay, the way that Leo does it, where he drops them kind of as they write about as when they're turning 25, to me speaks to more of like a, well, I like the fact that they aren't as experienced or, you know, they're not as, uh, yeah, basically the experience. I'm looking for the inexperience. Um, but, uh, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have guessed trauma or anything like that, you know? Yeah, I don't know. And um, it's, I don't know if this is true, but allegedly in his last relationship, he did want to settle down, but she thought he was too immature. So like the question begs the like, and I, I guess I've seen it in my, my people, I've seen older people feel like they're more progressive in politics. So they date younger, but people their age aren't as progressive. So that's also something I've seen as well is like, if what if you do if you're 50 and progressive? Oh man, like that's a great excuse. Yeah, I'm just really, <laughs> I'm really progressive, and that's why I'm at the uh, 20 year old college. So wait, if it's uh, an excuse, wig, do you think it's shit, bad to right? do the age gap thing? Then I think it's weird if you have someone going to a specifically younger <laughs> mm. crowd and then looking um, specifically in that market. I don't know if it's wrong necessarily, but there is something. It sets off predatory vibes mm. when I see that happening, if that makes sense. For sure. When you see a, a much older uh, person, whether it man or woman, and they go into a much younger environment and they start uh, uh, going on the prowl, so to speak. It, it, well, it sets off alarm bells, and I think it's okay to kind of... Kind well, of I think listen also to for, ahead, for Leonardo specifically, he, I mean, he's barreling through women publicly like that. That's crazy. He's going. He's getting a new woman every year. Like, I feel <laughs> and, like that's wild. Is that yeah, wild? <laughs> how is how is anyone shocked by this? Like uh, well, how how are we not all like super conditioned to understand that like rich guys with a lot like if you have a lot of money and fame like they they just want to date women that look a certain kind of way and they're kind of put off by uh, age. 
uh, like like aging skin and all that. They just want like uh, arm candy. This seems like something that we're all like super familiar with, and we all just know that it happens. But when we talk about the individual, it's like, what? what? There must be something wrong with this guy. He doesn't act like how I understand every rich guy to act like, you know, as I grow up in understanding how like rich and famous people behave. And I'm not saying they all rich do, and but it's, people, it's right? we, like plenty yeah, of them have like aging relationships. Do we not understand that there's a trend for rich older men to be interested in younger women? And it seems it's like not... the thing that they have in common is just like they just like they don't want to date older women because they think that younger women are more attractive. Are you making an argument that all men are going to grow old and ditch their wives for younger women? <clears throat> no, I'm saying okay. that it's weird to act like it's crazy. The, the idea is crazy that like rich uh, older men want younger women because they find them more attractive. Like, I feel like this yeah. is not a crazy idea. I don't think it I is I think crazy. the problem is. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, sorry. Uh, I, I don't think the problem is so much like Leo DiCaprio in the sense that like, because who gives a fuck about Leo, right? Um, it's more so the like, so I would say the real world implications of it, like how in the past we would have like older guys who were in college hanging around the outside the high schools waiting for their girlfriends to be done with school, you know, and now you don't see that you don't see so much of that anymore. But it speaks to that same idea of like, we so, like socially push away people who do engage in these uh, sort of targeting inexperience so, or whatever else, right? So I don't. So in the case of Leonardo DiCaprio, I, I'm kind of. It seems like I'm maybe in a, of a similar mind uh, when it comes to this as Elder Drazi. And if where you disconnect, let me know. Uh, all I see is a guy who probably just values an attractive woman so much so that he more than he maybe values having things in common, possibly maybe Brittany, what Brittany was saying is true. Maybe he is like stunted and maybe he actually does have a lot in common with these women, but it's because of something that's stunting him and that's possible. But as far as I'm concerned, like all that I really need to make this work is he just wants really attractive women as a priority in comparison to possibly relating with them. And so he's just dating young women. Is there something stunted about that? Like, is there something like uninvolved, unevolved in a way? Cause it's so monkey brain to be like, I just want something hot. Like you don't want anything of quality, just like something uh, hot. I, I, I'm, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, mm -hmm. but in, in, in the reason why is I don't know how many people with the level of influence and social approval that Leonardo DiCaprio has that wouldn't do it. Like, I genuinely don't know. I think most people would probably do what he's doing if they uh -oh. had the opportunity. Can I just Here, uh, say a $5 from Antonia Abral to ask this? And I think it's a valid question. That's why I'm interrupting you. When a woman usually over the age of 30 has this debate, do you think it's mostly out of concern for younger women or is it just out of cope? And that is a question, right? Like we mentioned, uh, well, I want to turn the question also on its head to, to you gentlemen, right? Like, especially you, Elder Drazi. Elder Drazi, yep. you're saying, well, he just wants to trade attract attractive women. Do you not think they're attractive women over the age of 25? Oh, so right? that's actually what I was about to say. Oh, what, go ahead. what I'm saying is that uh, I think it's a lot more common that men think younger women are attractive. However, uh, save for my wife, I have almost exclusively dated older my entire life. I generally find older women to be a lot more attractive than younger women. And it's weird because I'm starting to get to that age where like what I looked for is now like my age. Um, and so like that, like that, like uh, ideal attractive body hasn't changed much for me. It's like the like mid thirties, upper forties women. Uh, but I, but I'm not crazy to think that this is what, uh, everybody wanted when they were 18 still when they're in their 20s or when they're in their 30s i know what people talk about i know what guys look at but for me this is just uh like i just veer off but i'm, I'm not gonna say like leo's crazy because he wants what i've understood most men for most of my life to desire and i don't think that there has to be anything like super weird or wrong with you in that i just think that like, the weirdest thing about it is that he's not acting like uh oh it's just uh it, they just happen to be young i think that he's the weird thing about it is that like he doesn't care what people think about it and he's okay owning it more or less. So when we like ask this question, cause I was curious coming into this, what do we think success is? Cause for short-term relationships, like physicality is all that, like who cares? Like if you're hot, you're hot, let's have sex. Let's do this. But if older men are going to think badly of women as they age, then they wouldn't make good partners. Cause eventually we age. 
So I guess I'm concerned with men who only go for younger women because like those women get old. So again, like why are we dating younger and what are we offering people? Because I think any relationship could work for a temporary amount of time. So I think it also depends on like what kind of relationship are we aiming for? So let's say that Leonardo DiCaprio is indeed aiming for longer term relationships. I think that there is a very real thing that happens where uh, everybody sucks at the start of a relationship, in my opinion. We're all fucking ass. We pick like very specific, like he has to be tall. He has to do this. And of course, it's it's like not as severe or whatever. And but like over a period of time, as you get to know somebody, that doesn't matter as much. Like if, if you meet somebody who fits your exact blueprint for the partner that you want, and then things kind of like, I don't know, maybe they gain some weight and stuff like that a little bit later. It's not like, well, you're not the person I met instantly. So it's like, whatever you develop feelings for this person. And then it becomes a little bit deeper. So looking for somebody initially on that basis of physical attractiveness, while I'll grant is definitely not a good blueprint at all for, for a long-term successful relationship. I would say that you can look for somebody that has those traits and then develop a deeper bond with that person that can become a successful long-term relationship. It's not likely, but it's something that uh, absolutely can happen. If I may, Julie, when I messaged mm -hmm. you about this, you said it gives you the ick, right? Like the, the, mm -hmm. the severe age gaps and things like mm -hmm. that. Um, can, can you explain why for us uh, just briefly? And then I have a question regard relating to it. So. I don't know just the idea like if if my friend told me she she started meeting up with an older man and was dating a man like in his late 30s i i would definitely have the ick i i don't know i'd just be weirded out about it i'd be like why is he dating someone in their 20s and why is she dating someone in their 30s like can you find someone your own age like <laughs> do you think uh do you think he would be possibly or at least more likely to be kind of some sort of a, a, a predator or abusing her somehow um no i think there's a bigger chance for it to happen in age gap relationships mm -hmm. just because especially people in their early 20s you know don't really know how to be an adult they're still learning but i don't, I don't think that just because you're with someone that's younger than you you're automatically an abuser or whatever well, what about the other oh way? And this was asked by uh, someone in my chat in 500 bits of so five bucks to mm -hmm. say, um, why would we believe Leo to act predatory towards these women in regards to age and not these women in I, regards to his I think age? What I, I, said, I like, wanted to get to that as well. He's, I think it's because he's barreling through them. He's just new one, new one, well, new one, new I, one. I, I, I think that, okay, so like to be quite honest, right, especially when you're in your 20s, right, or in early 20s, like I guess how much agency would you say that you have compared to whatever age Leo is now, right? Um, or even where you are, wherever you are currently compared to when you were in your 20s. We... But I don't want I don't want this to just be about Leo because this question is more than like yeah that. that's it's... fair no I I'd like to get off Leo like I'd yeah, like yeah, to yeah. hop off of Leo's dick basically but because I don't think that he's representative of like the relationships that we're talking about I guess what I'm I what I, I guess what I'm asking is are younger twenty twenty five year old women um who I think it's just women or men like younger people who specifically advertise themselves as basically sex objects for older people, are they engaging in predatory behavior? Yes. Okay. I mean, it can mean? go both ways, right? Yeah, I'm confused. I'm confused. Like sex workers? Would you, yes. Uh, selling maybe a not, it may not even be sex work, right? It may be someone who's like a, a gold digger, as they say, right? Oh, well, all someone gold diggers are unethical in my opinion, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what i mean we would say it's bad no unless, matter what, unless the right? men are in yes, on it and they're good with it like if the men are in on is, it then i'm fine so, so i i will it, when, when i say yes it's in this context if we agree that like these age gap relationships are like oh there's probably something wrong with leo there has to be something wrong with you then mm -hmm. if you're an attractive young person seeking out somebody with resources i agree and i don't think mm -hmm. that this has to I don't think this is the case, but the reason why I answered it yes is because if we agree that there has to be something wrong with him, there has to be something wrong with this person. Just date somebody you like. Why are you dating somebody with resources? It's mm -hmm. understandable. You have a marketable skill or, or a trait, in this case, being incredibly attractive and maintaining that attraction, that attraction and you're using it to be able to, I don't know, maybe uh, get money or to date somebody that is very desirable or to do whatever. That's what you're doing. And the same thing is that these influential rich people are doing who are old they're like i got a lot of stuff a lot of people want me 
I'm just gonna kind of do whatever the hell I want, <laughs> and then well, so I, they're gonna date. Somebody. I think that's what that's what I mean though when I say agency, because like essentially, like okay, are we like, you know, and I could be wrong about this, right? But if especially with Leo being as influential as he is, or like you know he is as rich as he is, so for me it's like he has sort of the pick of the litter, right? Yep. Um. So if you know if he was. Put, uh, he could be incredibly naive about someone just out for his money, right? And he's just taking on these people and then dropping them. But um, that's, I think I tend to attribute to him like some more level of agency because he has more of the power. Obviously, it could be reversed. Like, this could be completely reversed. Um, but if, so if somebody is just openly kind of going for him for his money... I would imagine that he could maybe see that coming, but um, it's not so much the other way around where you have a younger person who maybe doesn't see the power dynamic that's been put on them. Not not that that means that nobody's out there looking for money, but I don't know. Well, even minus I, money, I, it's just like the toxicity of the younger person seeking like a parent figure or a mentor mm -hmm. or like teach me your ways. But if we go even to a healthy one, what if we're like, because there's a lot of age gap relationships in my audience and I want to make sure that they're represented as like there could be a healthy version. I don't know. They actually wanted to know, have any of you guys been in age gap relationships and like what was the largest one? Like mine was 12 years and I was in my mid 20s and he was nearing 40. And that was my largest age gap relationship. Taught me a lot about things, but we weren't growing at the same pace right so it was different what about anyone else oh yeah uh mm. 17 years mm. uh my Let's first wife oh go. no go yeah. ahead go ahead Drazi. Uh, i was cutting you off my first wife was 39 and i was 22 when i got with her and it's funny because there's a lot of things that people would like to assume about uh mm -hmm. the two of us um and make like a lot of weird judgments uh and i think we both brought different things that the other person thought was appealing um like obviously i'm 22 i didn't have my own place she had her own place um like if you if you knew us at all you'd know that she was like really sexually demanding i was really young she was like in her late 30s so like it seemed like that worked out really well so there's a lot of nuance and things that go on in relationships to where people are going to think oh they're with this person because of that because of that but it's really an amalgamation of different things different things that you like in the person there might be certain uh benefits that you get because of that uh because you're together but i don't think it's fair to say that like Here's the reason why they're together. The reason why I got married to her, we got married to each other is because that we fell in love with each other. Um, and he, despite the fact that there's 17 years uh, separating us, uh, and there, there's there's certainly challenges when you have an age gap that big. Uh, but I think that was up to the two of us if we were willing to put up with it. And I don't think it makes us like weird or shitty people. And I don't think she was predatory. Do we uh do we see any difference at all in in gender, right? So one of my super chats asked this, but then I have a question related to that. Uh, gender doesn't have to play into this to talk about age gas. Madonna comes to mind as well as Holland Taylor. What does a panel think? And I guess I would ask if an older woman specifically targets and looks for younger men, is that better, worse, or the same than an older man specifically targeting and looking for younger women? What do we think? I'd say the same. Yeah, it's I'd the say the same. same. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like same. I'd, I'd, I'd apply the same lens. Yeah. It's the so. same, but it feels worse. Like, let's be real. Everybody it feels, feels a little bit worse. Feels yeah. Worse. You feel that feeling in your mm -hmm. chest? Because, like, I think every, uh, like, everybody. I think socially, might, we want to say. Yeah. Yeah. I th well, I think you're going to say what I'm going to say. Like, we think of the man as being, like, predatory when it's like that because it just feels like that. It feels like uh, like an old guy creeping on a school or something because we just have this weird feeling that's like that. But when everybody here is being rational and we're talking about it, we're like, it is the same. It really is. Women can be predatory. Uh, they can have uh, their only their interest at heart. But I think we just typically see men as this sort of like predatory role, even in like normal relationships. So it's super easy to impose this like maliciousness onto men when there's an age gap and say, like, here's the reason I know it is. Well, yes, I mean, but that comes from our society, right, Elder? Like, uh, uh, I mean, when I was growing <laughs> up, like, uh, I could never really go anywhere without getting a thousand and one questions about where I was going, what I was doing, who I was doing it with. And, you know, if I had been a guy, I 100% would have not gotten those questions. And obviously, the, that kind of thing is very dependent on cultural and, like, social factors. But in general, we just give more agency to guys than to girls. And I think that that... that that's the, the answer there, right? Do you think it's because the world's safer for men? Like, undebatably, like, the world is just safer if you're what? a man? 
that's not sure. Let's, that's, let's that's, slow that's that down. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like, but, yeah. And when you <laughs> said like you're getting a bunch of questions when you go out, but like it's not like that if you're a guy. It's because you're not generally worried that like a man. You're not worried in the same way that a man's going to be assaulted when they go out and stuff. You, you should be. Those, they're they're much yeah. more likely to be. Yeah, we're, right? we're like much a man is much more likely to be. Okay, oh, sorry. When I physically hurt outside, I was already soft about it. I'm saying we're not we're not as worried about men being like sexually assaulted when they go out of the house, things like that. Yeah, assaulted for literally no reason. Assaulted for literally no reason or whatever. I I've been assaulted because I walked down the wrong street or because I talked to the wrong person. But like women will generally get assaulted for breathing air inside of a wherever. Um, and so yeah, for literally no reason. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what people worry about more the sexual assault thing yeah i can agree like in that that that's the that's sort of the underlying unspoken question of it all in in a way in some yep, of that's what i was asking do you think that's the reason why yeah to your and, comment. yeah and and you know in in my case it's a specific like combination of factors where i am actually dependent on uh, a man to get around right i lived in a country where women can't drive so literally if i need to go anywhere i can't i can't drive myself so it's something like that but um in that case yes i have less agency period right um so, wait what country is that saudi arabia is that You're still a there, thing right no, they, 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 they did let women drive after I left, of course. Very <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> You're not still there, right? We're not about to no, get an no, angry no. email saying we're breaking the law by letting you talk no, freely no, about no, this no. stuff. No. Okay. I don't care what Saudi Arabia thinks. I'd let Ice Bean speak. Okay. Oh, right. see what they wow. did to the journalists, oh, man? <laughs> I know. I could say that easily because it's not <laughs> an actual thing and I am in no, absolutely no danger. Um, a couple more super chats to get through, and let me get through them. Uh, five dollars from Fairy Queen to ask: Is it fair to subject one partner to potential caregiving in old age due to a massive age gap in the relationship? And five dollars from Bruno Goats to ask: If dating apps allow these age gaps, but the idea of it is seen as problematic, should we have institutions curb this behavior? Why or why not? And I'm curious your answers to both, especially to Fairy Queens. Like, is it fair for an older person? to ask a younger person, knowing that, again, they're going to be subjected to kind of long-term um, elderly care in the f in the near future in some of these cases. What do you think? Well, that's what I was concerned about when I said, like, what are we doing here, right? Because I don't – I think if – well, I'm all about, like, stay together till you die kind of thing, so I don't see anything wrong with it, obviously. Mm -hmm. But do they know they're signing up for that? Like, do they know what they're signing up for, right? Because that's my concern. It's not that they're in love, not that you're not going to be together for some time, but if you think you're going to grow old with this person, you have to recognize that if there is a 20-year 20 20-year 20 gap, like, you might not grow old with this person, right? They're going to grow old and you're going to watch them die, which is fine. We can do that. I think you can consent to that. I just want people to be prepared for what they're signing up for because, look, when you're dating Leo or someone hot when they're 50, George Clooney or something, and then they're 90 – and you're still only 50, it's like we're having a different conversation about like what we're looking at here. So again, I'm open to all possibilities. Yeah, it's a big age gap. It's a big age gap. I'm thinking like they'd have to start when she was Yeah, 10. it's a big age gap. We're not going to get into it. It's a big age gap. We're assuming it all... We're assuming this is all of age. It'll yeah, yeah, everyone's of age. Everyone's, everyone's of age. Here. So yeah, yeah I just yeah. want people to be prepared because like it's not a problem falling in love. It's not a problem growing old with somebody. I just want everyone to be prepared, including having yeah. children with somebody who's yeah, older. Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Uh, of, is it fair for a 50-year-old man to have a kid with a 20-year-old woman knowing by the time their kid's in a teenager, they're going to be like in their 60s? Mm, my, I'm 25. My dad's like 70. It's not, it's, it's not a problem. Not a big deal? I personally, I if if I were to have children, I, I don't really like the idea of having like children when I'm very uh, significantly older because I really do like the idea of like if my kid wants to go play soccer, or wants to go play football or something that I can do that with them readily and I'm physically able to do those things with them very easily. And if, if I'm like in my late 50s, I'm going to be able to kind of do it, but I'm not, you know, I'm going to, it's not going to be the easiest task in the world. So, uh, but that's more of, more of a, of a me thing you know i, I don't want to i, I want to have kids when i'm able to actually do things with them if i'm going to have them there's an interesting yeah. spin on that question so you have a 50 year old guy who wants to have a kid 
is he supposed to have a kid with a 50 year old woman and when the kids uh uh 15 they're both 65 <laughs> now <laughs> now true. who are we who are we having help this kid uh do the sports and stuff so i mean if you're gonna have one at that age like it may be a little bit more advantageous to have one of the partners be a little bit younger when do maybe you, uh, uh if you did want kids elder drazi would you have an age limit on women you'd be looking for <clears throat> um well i think that if i was gonna have kids uh me personally i would feel a little weird if uh i'd have to look at like mortality rates and things like that and otherwise i would just have to like probably look at adopting because i would feel pretty nice. weird putting a woman's life in danger to have a kid for me because i know that if you're in love like that's going to be one of the kinds of situations where i understand that even my even me being honest can end up being manipulative like my wife loves me i know my wife loves me if she was like 47 and she's like yeah i looked at the data and i know that it's roughly like i don't care i'd rather uh die and give you the kid that you want if that's what it's going to take because i don't want you to die knowing that you didn't have you know the child that you wanted in your life fuck that uh that that to me is uh shitty if you're willing to put your partner's life on the line so that you can have a kid and uh, knowingly at least complications come up they come up but yeah i do i generally agree with that yeah yeah um Basic. I, I don't know i think that like i i i'm not sure who mentioned it earlier but it, it was a fair point we are we are sitting here and we are being very rational about it but i don't think people are rational about relationships in general i don't think they're rational about uh i'll i'll just be frank with all of you if my 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 younger sister right if when i was younger my younger sister had come home and said hey i'm dating a 50 year old man i would have a problem with that i would have a serious problem with that i would uh make a lot of assumptions so it's it's possible this guy could change my mind right like maybe he's a the most um well adjusted very uh nice guy harmless gentleman you could ever meet but i don't know i think that it says something about someone who is willing to date extreme age gaps that may not be uh, flattering to them in general. I think it, it, it does speak to character when someone's willing to date someone who is massively um, younger or older than they are. What, uh, what do you think it says about them? That's a good question. I think that if a... I'll tell you this. As a 40-year-old man... I, I just wouldn't date someone who is under 25 at all, ever, right? If an 18-year-old woman came to me, I would just like, nah, that's too, this, it, the age gap's too much. You could be the smartest person I ever know. But uh, yeah, you just getting out of high school. There's some issues here, right? Like uh, not only perception, but like just potential problems. And so for someone who is willing to overlook some of these huge potential red flags, I do think that says that they're, they're maybe thinking with their little head instead of their big head a little more. They should, uh, but yeah, that's that's my thoughts. What do you think, that's... Julie? I mean, yeah, I mean, I I'm if someone you know way older than me came up to me like try to hit on me and shit, I like a man or a woman, I'd be like, don't you have like a pep rally to fucking organize? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> we, um, we keep I talking mean... about relationships like that. You can't just be sexual too. Like, two people can't just want to fuck each other for like a year and a half and hang out a lot. And that's fine too. What do you mean by that? Well, like we keep talking like, about relationships you know, in the context, like they're going to end up in marriage. You know, like, um, like why is it crazy? Like, if I meet somebody who's like ten years older than me, or whatever, whatever the age gap is, and it's like we both get along uh, enough to where like we want to hang out and be like, but we're mostly hanging out because we really want to fuck each other. We do this for like a year and a half, and like, all right, like. I'll just I'll just have to say like you're you're a bit too wild for me like I can't deal with some of your issues and like like yeah well I can't deal with you being like fat and having a bad back we're gonna peace out that's fine I'm gonna take that and uh, I'm gonna cherish the time that I had like I had a bunch of fun uh, we did a bunch of like wild crazy sex that's cool no 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 harm no foul go on to like my next experience in life I, why is I that? that that seems fine too that that can be fun but do you think most people are going into honestly any relationship that way most people i don't think most people are i think most people when they're dating somebody they're usually dating with some kind of long-term goal in mind not, they're not like yeah i'm gonna date this person for two years and then we're done i think they At leave the it up start. in the air 
I think that when it's like that, they just say like, well, we're just going to go with the flow. I don't think they ever say like, yeah, we're going to like cut it yeah, off. In sure. Two years. Sure. But like, you know, when you're six months in and stuff like that, you think that these people are still like, yeah, you know what? This, this will probably end sometime soon, but I'm just going to write it out. I think at some point when we're talking about the practicality of how most people, I, because I don't disagree with you, like in, in uh, theory or like that it could exist if it's well adjusted, but I think if we're talking ass meets grass, uh, somebody who's in a six, eight month relationship under this context are not thinking, yeah, I'm just having sex with this person because it's just like fun to have sex with them. And I think usually people are going to be more attracted to physically, if we're talking purely a sex and physically thing, to agers that are closer to them, generally speaking. Right. So when I see some like, let's say I see some guy who's 20. Wait. dating, what do you think that's true? Do you think a man um, is going a fifty year old man is going to be more more attracted in general to fifty year old women than? <laughs> uh, I guess I guess I, I I guess what I'm trying to say is for the younger physically just for sex more, I'm talking not yeah, no no ab that. absolutely but what I'm you, you're correct on that what I'm saying though in the context of this is the younger person there's one younger person in this age dynamic so I'm generally assuming that the younger person isn't going to be attracted to the twenty plus year older person so like the 20 or let's say you have a 20 year old man and a 40 year old woman if it's just exclusively a sexual relationship i'm going to assume that that 20 year old guy can probably find some people that he considers to be more attractive closer to his age and vice versa uh with a woman being 20 probably being able to find men that they find more attractive closer to their age so yeah, i'm assuming there's a little bit more than just sex going on hmm. go ahead ice beans you were about to say something. i i i guess i was uh, i wanted I guess I didn't understand uh, Riley's point. Um, are you saying? Could you? I'm sorry. Could you restate that? I was just sure. Thinking. Young younger people inside of a relationship are probably, if we're talking exclusively for a sexual relationship, I'm assuming that these large age gaps are not going to be their sexual preference. So when I mm -hmm. see a 20 year old dating a 40 year old, my first thought isn't, yeah, they're clearly dating that 40 year old because they think they're hot and they want to fuck them. My first, gotcha. because my first thought is is not going to be that. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you. Did you ever have sex with a much older woman when you were like late teen, early twenties? Uh, bro, I don't have sex with women, bro. That's the me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I no, can but, say... the, but to be answered, the answer is no. I have like the largest age gap I think I've had is like a year and some change. Well, there's definitely uh, an appeal to wanting to have sex with older women rather than women like right around your age, because women right around your age like are going to be less experienced generally, um, especially if you especially if you want any kind of like emotional care in addition to sex, like it's going to be a lot harder to find when you're like 20 with another 20 year old than if you have like a much older person yeah, who, uh, for... and not only that too, it, it might even be more comfortable to like ask for some of those things. There's a lot less pressure to like, uh, it's like, like be cool or like play a role. I mean, I, I'm, Maybe not of a quite as steep of a similar opinion. I'm actually of a similar opinion to you, Elder Drazi. I'm much more attracted to older women. Um, my th like in the mid 30s, late 30s range. Uh, I'm much more attracted to that, primarily because of maturity. I fucking I really don't like the maturity level of most 20 year old people. It just it, it feels like go 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 party sex or some whether whatever shit. That's what it feels like being a 20 year old person near where 20 year old people live, and it's just awful. Uh, it's absolutely dreadful. I, I can't wait to be 30. <laughs> I mean, to, to tack on to what, what Wick was saying earlier, like the reason that I specifically wouldn't want to date sort of down is because like, I would, I'm, for me, it's about experiences. It's about like, okay, have you, have you lived, have you lived by yourself? You know, like, have you ever had to fucking pay a bill that was two months past its due like that sort of shit you know uh and if you don't have those experiences then yeah i might i you know i might pursue like a, a entire like a per, uh, entirely sexual relationship with you but that's not even gonna last long because i'm gonna get tired of that very quickly um i'm gonna want something that's a tiny bit more long lasting can i have a conversation with you you know that sort of thing so um, I guess even if they were smart and like they were like the smartest 18 year old, that's only going to go so far for me because I'm going to want to connect over shared experiences. 
Uh-huh. Do you think that this is why? Because hearing all of you talking about this, like, well, we want older people because they're more mature and more experienced. Do you think that this is maybe why uh, there are there are uh, younger uh, people, younger men, younger women, who specifically will seek out um, older gentlemen, older women, in order to have some sort of uh, relationship with them? Um, and if, right, as Brittany, you were saying it's a little sussy baka, right, when you see it. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. With that information in mind, do you still think it's a little sussy baka, though? Like, if why wouldn't a 21-year-old who's a little more mature for their age want someone who's established in their 40s or maybe even 50s uh, to start a relationship with? Yeah, I think it's a little play on fantasy. Um, as somebody who's been in age gap relationships, as somebody who recently put a limit on her age gap dating, I did five to ten years. Like, I won't go past ten years. I feel like five is perfect. Within five years is what I find in being 34, like pretty perfect because if they're way too in their twenties, like I am not twenties Brittany anymore. I'm not interested in twenties lifestyle. I don't want 20 vibe in my life. And I'm not in my forties yet. Forties Brittany is going to be so different than this. So I need somebody I relate to. I want to come home to somebody who sees me, who knows how to humanize me, who knows my struggles, who doesn't care that I'm doing drama on YouTube, (laughs) who's in the vibe of like chill, you know, and that's just not going to be the mature 50 year old. What is maturity if you're 50 and you're hanging out with 25-year-olds? What maturity are we talking about? If you're 50 and hanging out with 25, where is the maturity? You know what I mean? It, it's it's personal. Actually, that's a good right. Actually, that is a good point. I, I feel like actually hold on. Uh does anyone remember that really fucking old friends arc where like Ross was dating some fucking oh, student? Yeah. And then he that. like and he like suddenly realizes it when he goes over to her place and she's like engaged in a water balloon fight with like people outside on the street and all of a sudden he's like oh this is what i'm dating i'm dating this (laughs) um i guess that's something i didn't to be fair with that though i feel that way and i'm 26. like i i'm not going out and i'm not doing like my roommate Right? He does some young people shit, you know? <laughs> Going to the club, doing fucking Molly, doing shrooms and all this fucking shit, getting high every single day. I'm in here just like, yes, I'm I'm playing chess and learning poker. Okay, what <laughs> like, if a girl who's 30 would be great with you or like 28, yeah, 29, 30, yeah. like that range. Yeah, so yeah, and so to that point though, I don't think those huge gaps are necessary for like something somebody of a similar position as me where it's like okay well i'm 26 well clearly there is a woman in her 50s is with like no probably someone who is a little bit past the the big party phase that a lot of it seems like a lot of people do in their 20s and stuff that's probably more for me Um, would you turn it down though so say you go and uh uh, some you meet a girl um at a bar and you hit it off and you could tell she's a little older uh, but then later on, you find out, well, she's 50. She looks she looks like it, and she's in her mid-30s, you know, attractive, things like that. Would you turn that down simply because of oh, the age no, gap? Not on the age alone. I would, it would have to, it would give me a little bit of a like, mm, I don't know. Because at that point, almost certainly, uh, I think if you're in your 50s as a woman, it's going to be difficult to be able to have kids. So I need to think in that moment. Am I going to make this serious? Because like I am pretty hard committing to not having kids without potential complications for the mother and stuff like that. Also, I need to think about like what Brittany said earlier, which I think is incredibly important. Am I ready to see this woman die 20 plus years before me? Am I ready for that? The possible love of my life to die 20 plus years. You get years two. Then you'll be older and you can prey on the younger <laughs> women, right? Like it's a win win. <laughs> Wait, wait, yeah, what's I'm gonna the... be a Leonardo, bro. He's <laughs> yeah, just asking him, him if he would like. Wait, or sorry, irrelevant. Is I'm not sure if Wick meant like, would you like date this person long term? But like, would you? Hook well, I up? only date. I only date long term. I don't. I don't do casual at all. Wait, can I ask well, a I question? Mean... Can I derail and ask a question? Great. Okay. Um, okay. Do you guys think <laughs> there's a difference between age gaps and just hooking up and age gaps in relationships? And is yes. one worse than the other? What would be the difference there for you? Fuck whoever you want. I don't care how old anyone is as long as it's legal. Even though it icks me out when it's under 18 to like such a T. And it does ick me out even if it's like 15, 18. It all icks. But I just, mm-hmm. I understand. It's like fucking, right? But relationships, mm-hmm. 
Like, mm-hmm. that's where I'm like, okay, what are you doing here? Like, what are you promising this younger person? What are you promising this older person? Like, what are we even talking about? I'm going to die young mm-hmm. with you or die old with you. Like, what, what does that mean? So then I even get more a little hostile. Again, everything can work. I don't want anyone listening to me thinking like, Brittany hates my relationship. You, I love your relationship. <laughs> I just want there to be an openness about what's really happening. And also, I'm not going to lie to you. Maybe it's a little bit of bubble guilt here. But like, I'm trying to fathom explaining to like, the people in my life, here's my seven-year-old friend with his 20-year-old girlfriend. Because, like, in my bubble, we do not look favorably on huge gap, age, age gap relationships. Like, mm-hmm. it's – even though there's, like, 10, 20, even 15 years with some of our relatives, one time one of our uncles brought home a girl who was, like, literally 50 years younger. And we all were like, what are you doing? And what did she do? <laughs> what did she do? Used him for his money and divorced him and then put him in a senior citizen home. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, okay. Christ. Ruthless. Damn. Ruthless. These age gap relationships. <laughs> this mean, could happen. No going way. in. Like if that was the deal, that was the deal, right? Like, uh, oh, Brittany, how old was, like, was the guy? How old? Was how old was he? He was in his seventies. She was twenty-four. Okay. Oh wow. Oh, Did you wow. ask him if he thought it was worth it? <laughs> no, because oh, um, no. he might be like, I'd do it again. I don't okay. Give a shit. He got <laughs> he got freaking Alzheimer's, so he doesn't remember. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Oh, no. this story just got so, sad. It got so worse. Bad. But the downside for him is only a downside for everybody else. He just got to do what he wanted, and then when it got bad, and he's in the uh, old person's home. Like that's it. He he doesn't have to experience that. Yeah, but Most okay. I'm romantic. I feel like she should be with him and take care of him through his Alzheimer's and love him through his Alzheimer's. Is that there's... fair to ask of someone? Though? <clears throat> yes. Right. Are you in love? What is this if a joke? If you're Loving, up, not a joke. I think if you're signing up for it, then yeah, sure. Why not? I think she sure. signed up for the money in this scenario. <laughs> you, can, you can consent to what you think it's going to be. Like I know for a fact, my wife is in for a rough ride when I'm old because I've told her like I'm a, I'm already like. Once I hit 50, I'm going to start fucking around, acting like I got dementia. I'm going to lie to her and tell her that, like, uh, like I'm going to walk up to people and, like, be weird and just to fuck with her. So, like, she's going to be fucked up. She's not going to know if I'm actually losing my mind or not. So, like, if she decides she can't handle that, then, like, I get it. She didn't fuck me over. But, like, I'm a goofy guy. I'm going to act goofy when I'm old. And, like, if she can't hack it, then, like, uh, I love her to death for putting up with me as long as she did. Okay, so I think she's this not is wrong the... for that. This is going to be the disconnect, right? Like when I say like, what are we doing here? What are we getting into relationships for? Like, I want to see you to the end of my life and vice versa. If you need care, if you need medical bills, if we have a disabled child, like there's no room except in abusive situations for us not to be together. So I don't do temporary relationships, but I understand that other people do. So again, if you're not doing temporary, I think the rules are just different. Uh, Let's uh, let's reverse that a little bit. So there's two two things I want to tackle here. The first one, um, which I guess I'll I'll start with first. I have been in strictly physical relationships that don't stay strictly physical. Emotions, bonds are formed. And so even if you're trying to stay strictly physical, there's always a quote unquote risk. And it's a weird word to say in this context, a risk of catching feels as the young kids say. Not and so feels. even in the uh, strictly physical relationships, um, I don't know. I don't know if uh, if it's if it's a like we should keep that in mind, the age gap possibilities. And if you wouldn't be OK with the age gap, uh, if it were a romantic relationship, you should really think twice if it's just for sex, basically. So that's the first thing I wanted to say. The second thing I wanted to tackle is 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 kind of tangential. Um, but Brittany, let's turn this on its head like if. Your partner is sick. You'd obviously want to take care of them. You wanted to sacrifice to help them out. But if my partner, if I got sick, debilitatingly sick, where I could not perform, function, and be the same person that I was before, like if I got Alzheimer's or cerebral palsy or any any number of diseases, right? Um, I would feel it to be a selfish act to ask or expect my partner to stay with me. Mm-hmm. If I love them, I'd want them to go find someone they could be happy with. But they love you regardless through sickness and health, right? They love you regardless of what's going on. Yeah. I'm going to want both. I? Yeah. I would think so. I, I wouldn't so leave here, someone just because they got so ahead, palsy. I, I want to hear that? Irrelevant. I want to hear Irrelevant has some... Uh, Irrelevant's cooking. I hear his brain I want to hear it. Because in my mind, you fall in love with the person, their personality traits, their quirks, the things that they do, those those moments that you can share together, maybe the way that their humor and stuff like that, and you grow to love them. 
let's say most of that is good like with a crazy disease like alzheimer's right like most of that is gone like they're they're a lot of their the things that you loved and you grew to love about them are gone and no longer exist if i really loved someone i wouldn't leave them because they got alzheimer's that's fucking crazy well, would you not leave them because of some loyalty that you have to the person or no, because... i love them regardless of whatever they have going on okay so then let's change the question let's say somebody you love changes their entire personality would you still is it because of, but not are they because changing... of a disease they're just being a dick to be a dick. No, no, not not even being a dick. They just change. They're no longer really funny. They're not really. You guys don't really. Well, have what happened? Stuff in what, you like grow There has apart. to be something that happened, right? Like there has to be something apart. that changed them. There has to be something that changed them that I, can help me to understand why they are the way that they are. Let's say they found a new friend group and they started to find new hobbies. You start growing apart. Okay, so learn. it depends on what their hobbies are. Their hobbies really fucked up, and are they things that? What if they change political parties? What if they come out as the opposite? They of find political Jesus. Party you like? oh, political parties. They find doesn't... Jesus. As That's long as as long as their political opinions don't stop me from living the way I want to live my life, like if they're if they're against abortion, but like I can if they, like then I can still get abortion, sure, whatever. So I feel the, like just to answer your question a bit, or, or, or I feel like if especially if you're with a person for the long term, right, and you're experiencing the same things that they are, I, I don't see how likely it is for someone to have a, such a dramatic shift in personality if there wasn't some kind of thing that uh, People caused People naturally grow shift. apart, don't they? Yeah, yeah. The oh, no, uh, absolutely, right? But I'm just saying that, like, if, for example, uh, like, we lost a child, like, if I, if I, my husband and I lost a child, and that's something that we're sharing together, now, that could be the reason that maybe I go off the deep end and, you know, my husband doesn't want to be with me anymore, for example. Um, but um, apart from that, I str I'm struggling to find like something that would cause such a huge growing apart to the point where you're saying like, at what point is it okay to leave? I guess. Well, you, uh, I, I don't know. In my mind, usually when people are in long term relationships with another person, it's because they like some aspects of their personality, maybe relating to them, sharing certain things with them. And growing apart could look like them changing their hobbies. And let's say, let's say you're a very indoor person. You enjoy spending your time reading with this person and, and uh, maybe creating works of art with them, uh, maybe making some music, stuff like that, watching TV shows. Let's say that they start adopting almost exclusively outdoor hobbies and they want to become like a hermit. They want to go out to the, <clears throat> to the woods and they want to do these things uh, for the vast majority of their day. And so you start spending less and less time together like doing those things it, yeah and i think yeah I, I think that in that case that that you you're gonna have to have like a reevaluation, right you're gonna have to say like okay well we're not spending as much time anymore because of this new hobby that i have and you're gonna have you are gonna have to sit down and basically be like okay how can we grow with this change that's in our lives now and i guess if you can't if you can't get over your differences, then you can't get over your differences. But I think that most people in a long-term relationship would try to get over that difference or to make it up in some way so that they can have their conflicting hobbies and still connect and want to stay with each other, right? I think that's what most long-term couples do. So yeah. um, the, <clears throat> the whole point of what I'm trying to say is it seems like people tend to fall in love with a person based on their personality, the ways that certain things about them that make them quite unique, like their quirks, whatever. And if these things change, it's so much so that they're almost uh, unrecognizable to who they were in the past, like in the case with a lot of people with Alzheimer's. My mother has it. She, I, I promise you, she is not at all the same woman that she was even six years ago, right? If this happens, like, I, I don't, I think it is understandable why somebody would be like, yeah, I, I don't really want to stick by this person as fucked up as it is. I don't think, I think you if should. It's, if it's but... like a really drastic change, that makes sense. But if it's gradual and it's over time, you <sighs> kind of grow with the person. Because people are changing constantly all the time. If it's gradual and over time, it makes sense. If it's drastic, sure. Like, I understand being confused and wanting to break up over it or whatever. But I, I, but uh, I think the majority of people, you know, change over time. And they get different hobbies and different things. You know, you, you like the person for who they are, not their hobbies and shit right yeah well what i'm asking is what is who they are and uh, it does that not the way that they make you feel mm. yeah well 
Do well, you want to? I see Brittany. It's their soul mm -hmm. irrelevant. She's saying it's their soul that matters. Not the soul. I mean, no, go, like it's the only thing that fits all the stuff you're saying. That's the thing, though. Like, do we believe an individual? Like, do I think nobody is irrelevant? Like, do I think irrelevant is a specific, unique person? Do you? Do you? <laughs> yes. Like, I don't think I can replace irrelevant with somebody who's irrelevant. Like, like no one can. I mean, be I irrelevant. can. That's what I do all the time on panels when people did. I mean, <laughs> you know, like, I just, I just <laughs> slot them in. <laughs> You're all relevant can commodities. Replace irrelevant with somebody who's irrelevant, like, and less and less like irrelevant is now. That's what he's saying is that nobody can replace me except for me. I can. That like the person I am today can die, and the person I am ten years from now would just be another person sitting in my seat. Yeah, I think what's important, again, is like, why are we getting married? Or why are we committing ourselves to people? Or why are we living long term relationships with people? Like, again, and maybe it's just my relationship, but we got married with vows of sick, like in sickness and in health. And it's this idea of like, we do live in Europe, kind of with the hope that if one of us does end up going in our mind, we could maybe <clears throat> get end of life care and maybe a dignified way of dying preemptively because they have assisted death here. And so we're kind of hoping that that's something we could look forward to if we are unable to like care for each other. But we're fuming in the corner. Yeah. Sorry, no, <laughs> we're going to stick on what we're doing. Well, but, okay. Go on, please. But this, you know, so we've thought of everything ahead of time. Because look, I am terrified of being put in a home and I'm terrified of being given to my parents and who are aging. And I'm terrified of being a burden on anyone else but the man who promised to let me be a burden on him. And so we're making that vow together to be each other's favorite burden. And so we're making that decision. Yeah, Do so they get power of attorney? As an attorney? If you're like lost your mind, you'd be like, oh, no, she's just killer. It's cool. Yeah, like, yeah. Let me she's go. not even going to know. Fuck it. I'm not <laughs> doing this. Is that is that how that works? No, like literally how it works? Do you mean like assisted death? Well, yeah, with like power of attorney and all that. Can you just exit that responsibility that Wick's talking about? Which, by the way, Wick, I think you're full of shit. I think you want them to stay and take care of you, and you want you want both. You want them to go be happy, but you also want them with you. I think no. I, I'll say this to to because we're not a little doing too the stoic life care debate. We're not doing that. Um, but I will <laughs> say that, like, again, right? I think it would be the height of selfishness if I were to be in a situation where I could no longer function or do what i need and they could they could leave me but made sure i was taken care of then by all means do what they gotta do right like i would be it would be wrong of me it would be immoral of me to ask them to 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 pressure them into staying when they were no longer wanted like but what about what you wait they want. agreed to it no wait they Whoa. what if they are agreeing to it this what is the mean? marriage. This is the marriage contract, right? I think like, that it uh, that that would create like undue pressures. Whereas if it did not exist, they would normally not. And so I would like I would pressure them. I would pressure. I would I would put pressure the other way. Because hold on a again, second. No, but this I think is it'd be self. Just real, let me finish. I think it would be the height of selfishness if I demanded that they had to stay because um, they made a promise when we were both twenty years old. <gasps> Right. So that's true. But you said you'd want them to go. So like, I yes, feel like you'd I be like me and be like, I want you to well, go live your I life. Want, like want them to go is a weird question, but like, I would want them to, to find happiness outside of me because I know with me, they could no longer have the same experience they once did. So they'd no longer be happy. But they right? want to experience you. Sure. They I can, think on the same um, page. like, but not in the same way because that 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 choice to experience me has been taken from them because of the disease, right? It's been taken yeah. from them. Well, like if that's the boat. case, then we should just kill people who are terminally ill or have Alzheimer's. Or <laughs> Made. <laughs> you no, like you're just basically taking away their dignity as a consciousness. I still want to Either live. they're valuable or I just not. I don't want to, to 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 drag everyone down with me. Right? <clears throat> no, look, I don't know how to say it, but my husband has already said he literally wants me to live forever. So he wants to keep me alive in case there's a cure, even if I'm in the middle of Alzheimer's. So he can oh, do what no. he wants. Oh, w. <laughs> he can do what he wants, but I swear to God, if he puts me in a home or gives me to my parents, I will haunt him. I will haunt him somehow. <laughs> <laughs> as you should as you should Brittany's like nah just throw me in the dumpster it's chill just let me go <laughs> damn um, so I want to I want to kind of say this because um, uh, while the arguments that I was making earlier uh, I, I think this is typically how a lot of 
people are going to run the structure of of their relationship. I think most people are not entering these relationships like Wick was talking about in their 20s with the idea in mind. Yeah, you're probably going to get Alzheimer's when you're 50 and then I'm going to have to spend the next 20 to 30 years of your life like, yeah. you know, working with you and doing that. Usually people are not doing this. However, I uh, – I, it seems like maybe me and Brittany have a similar mind. I like the way that Brittany describes her relationship, like this this committal, like we're going with this, you know, out, outside of abuse, we are we are going through with this. I like this. This is my speed, right? But I also have to admit, and I'm sure she recognizes as well, this isn't the same speed for everybody. Mo, you know, not, not everybody's going to run at this speed. So, uh, you know, I think to, to what Wick was talking about earlier, where it's like you feel selfish about asking these people, usually what you would want is you'd want to have these kind of in-depth conversations before anything crazy happens. Like, hey, what do what we look at? Are we like, are we here really through sickness and health? Are we just kind of like going with the flow and just kind of like, yeah, whatever. Like, what, what are we doing with our relationship mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and trying to nail it down? This isn't to say with even with that being said, even if I have that ideal relationship where it's like, yes, through sickness and health, I will grant that I probably would feel bad about the idea. Let's say I get Alzheimer's. I would feel bad about the idea of, of, of saying to my partner that I want you to stay with me because I know in the back of my mind, I am like financially burdening this person that I love well, very much yeah. and potentially like I'm losing my let's, sense let's of take self. It away, let's take yeah. it away from yeah. leaving anyway. Say say you're in a situation where you become paralyzed <clears throat> and unable to fulfill your wifely or husbandly duties. Um, do you uh, require fidelity in that case, or do you let your partner step out? Wait, are you talking about like like I can't have sex anymore? Or are you talking yep, about like you just uh, you you got paralyzed, right? You got Does my mouth work? I can't. I'm I halfway can't, there. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> oh, shit. I was say, you got hands. You got feet. It's fine. <laughs> Make uh, so you're saying if like if if I can't make my husband a sandwich anymore, then you're in a wheelchair and you got TMJ, you're done. <laughs> you got a uh, you got Lou Gehrig. We would renegotiate. We would open up renegotiation to see if he feels yeah. differently or if I feel differently. Yeah, I mean, okay. if we, like That's assuming true. my mental faculties are still intact, I think we did have a conversation, right? Like if you're well, clearly that's, that's unhappy, what I'm asking, would you? Like, oh, what, what is would your, you be willing to accept? Yeah, what is your willing willingness to accept it? Do, do you require fidelity? Do you require someone to to just, uh, I'm assuming you're all monogamous. Um, not. Do you require monog? Well, maybe not you. So you don't count for this question, but right. the rest of you, right? Um, mm-hmm. Do you re- still require monogamy in that situation? Or do you let your yeah. partner? Probably, um, yeah. I mean, that okay, kind of, that, that, yeah, that's. That really kind of yeah. I mean, I I think I would because I take that that like sickness and in health thing seriously, and you know, oh, but presumably my you. husband oh, that's did crazy. too. I became disabled, and you want to fuck other people about what? <laughs> Divorce me right now? What the fuck? You guys are so are wild. Crazy? I suffered an accident, and now no more sex for you for the rest of your life. Fuck you. <laughs> what I what wasn't the it? one who got injured. We both got injured, motherfucker. <laughs> My don't... shit don't work. Nope, I don't care. Your your dick's getting oh. hard just for you, buddy. Uh... What, face? what the fuck? We can make it work. This is crazy. <laughs> the uh, I, I I'm kind of of uh, Elder Drazi's opinion here. I think That's if so I think fucked. if I think if I I think if I had an inability of total inability uh, to be able to um, you know, my dick stopped working completely. Then I would probably. I, yeah, it'd have to be a conversation, and I'm not sure what I'd be willing, the concessions I'd be willing to make to my partner under that circumstance. Maybe not any. I legitimately don't know um, because it would take a lot of time to cope with that new reality. So I'd have to figure out what I'm, you know, willing to do after it's really settled in that this ain't working no more ever, like ever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, it would take a while. I'd have to figure it out. Do you guys who are monogamous, do you think it's okay for somebody to be like, okay, we're monogamous. I'm never going to leave you. You better not fucking leave me. However, I'm done having sex now. I'm just going to choose that I don't, I just not really into sex anymore. So now you're done having sex. 
Can we do other shit or is it just no sex? Like no well, sexual. I'm not a really whatever. big fan. I think I'm asexual now, and uh, you better not step out on me because we're monogamous. Uh, I think that okay. the idea of you having an orgasm is disgusting. I don't want to have any orgasms, so we're both done having orgasms. Is that okay? I feel like I feel Whoa. like that's stepping on more than one one boundary, though. Right? Yeah, not boundary, yeah, but like that's, that's stepping beyond. on that's that's this is going to be happening. It's, this time it's a choice. I, 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 no, I think no, 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 no. Drowsy is saying is when they say no more orgasms is that they don't no more orgasms with them you're not saying they can't masturbate right if i can yeah, do whatever yeah, it's just own, you in your fine. hand oh okay do you think fine. that's okay for I, everybody I'm... though in the same oh, way that no. we were just talking about no because we're just not. talking about probably not. You're paralyzed so what if it's just a choice but then for I me think... if you want to be with me then you get better get used to that before you start fucking other people yeah, that's yeah. So I think used to a person this is, and then fuck other people. I just Got want it. you to imagine like the sweetest old couple ever, and you're just like, don't you want to fuck young pussy? And it's like, bro, I'm in love <laughs> and I'm growing old with somebody. Who cares? Like, I'm sorry, not everybody cares about sex this much. Like, it's just sex. Like, how much do you just have to much. have in a lifetime? Like, look, I like sex as much as the next person, but like, honestly, I. Don't. Not enough to make my partner uncomfortable. But look, look, look. If my partner and I want to renegotiate because of an accident and they want – I would open it up. I did poly for 10 plus years. Like, I'm open. Like, I don't care. But the point is is that it doesn't work for our relationship. And if, like, we don't need sex from other people and we can't have it with each other, who cares, bro? We're growing old. Like, we're not prioritizing that. We're prioritizing yeah. intimacy and we're prioritizing commitment yeah. and we're prioritizing romance. But, like, sex, the action of sex, which, like, we do – Pretty freaking freaking a cop, like a lot. Okay, <gasps> we need, like it doesn't matter <laughs> if it ends point. eventually. It's just sex. Like it's just like it's sex is great. Don't get me wrong, but you're making it sound like it's water and it's not. Yeah, in the in the yeah. in the hypothetical that you drummed up, Drazi, I feel like I'd be more upset with the like entitlement mm. in this hypothetical person. Like, well, like I don't want to do it anymore, so you're never gonna do that. Fuck you. Yeah, no more. That's crazy. Like yeah. that's what that feels I'd be abusive. More upset with. It feels abusive. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Rather guess, than like, yeah. I mean, hey. because I, because I think it's like we can we can more or less see like a slow progression into the end point that you're describing, right, Drazi? But like where it's all like it's expected. It, we talked about this. Oh, you're just not feeling like sex lately. Oh, you're ace. Okay, let's talk about that. You know, like what does that mean for us? Blah blah blah. Like if it's all at once and. Oh, all of a sudden you have to play to my tune. Then yeah, that's that's abusive. I would say on yeah, like, not yeah, abusive. That's what happens yeah, with the accident in other ways other okay, than sex. if we got yes, an accident, though, but that's different though. If right? we were in an accident that's... in our forties and he wanted to sleep with like nineteen-year-olds now, I'd be like, sussy baka, <laughs> sussy baka. <laughs> I'd be like, are you fucking okay, dude? Like, I'd be like oh, I'm sorry. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> like, did, does the brain injury hit harder than I thought? What the <laughs> My main point is that is it okay to decide that another person is done having sex? I mean, not they just decide. masturbating. But but yeah, so in both of these situations, the one that I created and the one Wit created, it's not up to the person who's um, being told that their time having sex is over with. But it's also about and boundaries. I if I don't feel comfortable with you doing that, then let's get a divorce. If yeah, you want to fuck other people, be? let's get a divorce because this is my this is my boundary. Yeah, yeah, I guess I just think that it's a bit, I, mean, it's I just think that, that if that's what you have to do, then you have to get, I would say you would have to get divorced and set them free then and not yeah, lock them into yeah, a sexless life. No, I, but they might, fine, like, I mean, honestly, yeah, I, they're not the bad one for saying like, well, I, I don't want to stop having sex forever. I don't what? think they're the bad one for, for wanting to have the divorce to, to go have sex. I think th they can be the bad one for trying to press you into sex or try to press you into do things or trying to press you into having sex with other people while still being in Okay, marriage. but, like, what are we literally talking about right now? Because, again, like, are and we yeah. getting married to the consciousness that is so special? Like, we ended up running into them in this one, like, limited life? And now I'm talking about the one. I'm not talking about the one. I'm talking about, like, the select group of millions of people that we're compatible with. Everyone's over here saying I'm lonely and you're willing to ditch your partner that you found that is perfect just because you can't bang anymore. Like, every Everyone says they're so lonely and they can't find anyone. You finally find the person. And the only thing that changes is you can't have sex anymore. And not for any like stupid, salacious, abusive reason. For like a literal reason, maybe medical. You're telling me that's worth ending the commitment you made to this That's what I'm saying. If no, they want to saying... end it, they can end it. I wouldn't end it myself. But... Why is the person who wants to have sex deciding that it's over? Say, like, I need to have sex one way or another. We got to figure this out because that's very important to me. If they can't handle it, how am I the one who's ending the relationship? Okay, it so if your partner... Like well, I feel like it's mutual at that point, Yeah, like, it? you have to make the decision yeah. because, again, I don't know how many of your partners or, like, people you've known, but, like, in my world where I am in my culture, like, you grow old with your person. My grandma had Alzheimer's. Her husband didn't think, like, I should go have sex with other people. He just stayed by her bed every day and visited her and loved her. And, like, you commit to that person. Like, it's okay to have sex. I'm not saying it's bad. But if it's not negotiated, 
Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand what's wrong with also not having the sex. It's okay to have the I, sex, but also I think for some people, sex is like you, one of the most important parts of the If you think it's okay to not, yeah, it can be for some. People. I think. Yeah. Look, I don't think it has to be the most important. I don't even think it has to be top five. But I think that there's something to be said when somebody says, "Okay, sex is off the table for you now." That that can have a very big impact. For sure. On, but, but why so are they saying? But why are they saying it? Yeah, I don't That's get why the they would say part. that. Yeah. Let me ask it's, you, it's Julie. Why they're saying it? Uh-huh. I'm curious what you would say because you, you're you're um you're coming out pretty strong with this take. Oh, come on, would you um on me? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing good. I, I'm, I'm proud of you here. I'm um, on my sixth drink, so <laughs> we're not gonna touch that. Okay. Um. Uh. So if if sex isn't that important to you, would you go into a relationship knowing there's gonna be no sex? Yeah. If I really like the person, yeah. I, really? For me, it's more about yeah. friends. Yeah. Hundred percent. It's more about friends. What's the difference between a relationship and a friend to you? Uh, there's more intimacy in a relationship than than just friends like i i want to know i want to i want to know that i can you build a life with somebody it's not the sex i've had sex with my friends you build a life with someone i don't build life with my friends (laughs) exactly if we if we never had sex i'd be like okay uh, i'll just fuck myself it's fine (laughs) don't worry about about it it's it's about being able to it's about being able to give the person a dutch oven uh, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm irrelevant. Do you feel the same way? If if you met someone you were compatible, but they're like, ah, we're just never gonna have sex. But I want to build a life with you. Would that be a relationship you'd uh, consider? Uh, yeah. I mean, for me personally, oh. uh, yeah. I, bro, I. I could, <laughs> having I mean yeah to, like, having like, casual like, sex was perhaps and having sex in general uh, bro, it is really it does not meet the hype for me bro it is like it got hyped up so much to be like bro you're gonna love this shit it's gonna be the best shit nah man nah um so so in in regards to this yeah if I really connected with somebody uh, I will I will not deny the connection probably needs to be greater mm. for for that like oh, I sure. I'm gonna need to feel stronger about it than i would otherwise need if it was without sex but i'm 100 percent open to that yeah absolutely am i am i just asking the wrong crowd like this is oh yeah these, both you of these are answers are, yeah are like you could, wild you want to even get darius in here it would <laughs> yeah. be like no absolutely <laughs> I am curious I I, i'm very curious what darius would have to say but i don't know if he'd uh, no meet way. the vibe check for the panel <laughs> can, um, I, can i ask a question I'm darius with... in this situation <laughs> please go ahead no again like being allosexual being like having a sex drive like having the desire same like but also like I've had enough sex in my life. I'm good, bro. Like, how many threesomes do you need in a lifetime? But, like, okay, so that's why I'm also monogamous, well, right? He's not even talking about a threesome. I'm just We're saying. Talking about based. Like, I'm just saying, it, you know, it gets old. But, like, maybe not. Maybe for not everyone. But that's good. That's good that you know that about yourself. Here's a question bringing it back to age gap relationships is, because this is hard for me. Do we actually know why we think it's kind of icky when there's, like, a 7-year-old and a 20-year-old? Why do we think it's a little sussy for a 19-year-old? Is it the be... life experience? The difference in life experience? The difference in knowing what is and what is and what not and what not? Maybe. I Because I will be honest. After 30, I don't care how big the gap is. That's what I'm saying. I agree with that, too. I think when people in their early 20s, they spent the majority of their life being a child. Mm, and so they're mm-hmm. just now learning how to be an adult and they need to have all these experiences and stuff. I feel like people need to have experiences before they settle down and have a family because otherwise you kind of miss out. Why did what if all they had like huge amounts so of family? experience when they were very young? Like, they went it's, not, through, it's still through... not the same. It's still yeah. not the same. Or, or, what, More experience what the... <laughs> when I was younger than when I was in my early 20s and it's still not the same. But what about the opposite? What about somebody who's had no experience all the way up to like their 30s? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they've stayed locked in their room just reading all day. I wonder who, yeah, dude, who? Listen, who I'm just that be? asking for a friend, bro. Asking for a friend. <laughs> it sounds a lot like this uh, age gap thing is a proxy for other things that we actually care about and isn't really uh, dependent on the but age the, gap. But the age gap tends to like, you know, what is, what does it correlate? It tends to age it tends to relate to your age, you know. I think that's why we talk about the age gap because these age types of things tends to, to relate to your age. Well, okay. I think she's referring to like whether you are an adult or not, right? Well, I guess we kind of like already have a set definition of what uh, an adult yeah, is. Well, yes, but I mean, I mean, like more in more so that yes, we have like the legal definition, but like we also have like uh, an idea of like twenty five is like that's when have your you ever brain paid taxes is... before. Basically. 
Right? Yeah, so that's this, sort of thing. Well, this that, is where it gets well, so that weird. goes into it. That goes into it, right? But like generally after 25 or like even 30, we basically see someone as like a self-actualized person. Like this is who you are as a person. Um, or at least that's kind of how I see it. And so, yeah, after that age, I'm like, I do not give a fuck. Like even before then, I you can kind of say, okay, do I give a fuck? But I ask like, oh, but I would want to ask like, okay, is there like some kind of weird power dynamic I don't know about? But even then, like after 30, it's like, whatever, you know? Why does everybody have to seek out the same values, say difference in life experience? Maybe what I'm looking for when I'm 21 is somebody who has more life experience. Maybe I want somebody who could give me a little bit of guidance because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Maybe I don't want to go the, chaos through life with another 21 year old. Right? <laughs> Do you think it would be Elder Drazi? Would it be weird? Is someone who wants that that wisdom, right? They really believe age comes with wisdom. So that's what they want in a relationship. They want to be mentored. They want to be taught. They want to have someone to take them up. They want a senpai, basically. And they want... They want do you to think be it groomed. would be weird for them to go to, like, a... Go to a nursing home or go to somewhere where, uh, where like, a, an elderly facility? Maybe... maybe what do you one, really want to know? Weird right? is too charged. Obviously, it's weird. Bad? No. Dude, when Why I was not? 21, I had sex you with a 51-year-old. You, would you wouldn't think that's bad that for a 21-year-old person to go to a, a nursing home or an elderly care facility, somewhere where they're, they're not, like, sick or nothing. They're healthy. But, you gave uh, me their intentions. You just told me what their intentions were. So, yeah. Like, honestly, if some 70-year-old woman hooks up with this 21-year-old guy and, like, this is exactly what he wanted, if she's hooking up with him and that's what she wanted, this chick just had like the fucking best day in like the last 10 years of her life. She's like, I never would have thought that the day would have come for me. Like if she's, if she's, if she's saying yes, that means she's been thinking about it. She, you're not going to be 70 on the five. Like, Oh, well, I never considered, I guess seven, I could. 70 year olds though. I don't think the majority of seven year olds are like, you know what I could do today? I could fuck a 20 year old. Right. So if he <laughs> found somebody who's down, why is it wrong for either one of them? I think there's something more here though. And I don't, this is a very contentious, conversation Which gave me the intentions though that's important right like sex is sex is sex like that's what you hire a hooker go, like go temporary it doesn't matter go to a poly dungeon like everybody's be okay why but are you like, standing outside the high school bro Sorry. yeah like there's something about our choice of partners <laughs> and why we do it there's always a reason right there's Ooh. always a reason and i wonder if we're being honest with why we're doing it and I, if it's something like oh they have hot young bodies so that's why i do it that's fine but that's not really helpful because those bodies age and again, like what, what's the, what's the ick we really have with age gap relationships? And for me, it's the intentions. What are your honest intentions? Cause if you tell me it's just sex, I'm good, bro. But even that, that's weird. Like, why do you specifically got to get that young body? Why do you have to have yeah. that thing? But that's fine. I also feel like there's more room for like abusive situations to happen in age gap relationships because people in the early Both 20s ways. and stuff specifically Both ways. don't know what the fuck they're doing. But also look, oh, look, I've had, look, I'm not saying that they're always wrong. I'm not saying like we even have to take sides on this, but I'm saying there is a thing that's sussy about it. There's a reason why we're moving away from it. There's a reason why some of us move like, hmm, that's really weird. Like you're at a college party and your friend brings over their boyfriend and he's 55. It's like, oh, this is weird. Yes. What's happening here? Yes. Like that's weird. Girl, get him it's out. not just weird because yes. it's strange because another culture is the professor. <laughs> right? Like... I think it's, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that he's at the grades, party baby, more than girl, that they're dating. Just study with me. Sure. But like when you're dating, are you dating because you have something in common? Are you dating because you're the same path in life? You want to grow together or do you want to meet your partner? Because I'll notice even in my former age gap relationship when my guy was 12 years older than me, I grew past him. I was like, hey, are you going to like grow up or are we going to be like Burning Man people for the rest of our life? Like what's happening? And he was like, nah, this is it. And I was like, oh. Oh, no, no, no. And so like I bailed, but I still like I'm still a kid in so many ways. Right. So I'm not saying I'm more mature in that way, but like I wanted something longer in life. Mm -hmm. Right. Like more in life. So even it sounds like it was a beneficial relationship for you to have things, to help you grow. In but that's not the person. same. As, but I want a long term yeah, relationship. So it was a failed mm -hmm. relationship because we didn't make it to long term. It was a good temporary in the moment relationship. But what was the point of it if we didn't grow old together? I think those are important take your too. camera and move it over. So you're in the center because oh, we're seeing like sorry. a half a drawsy here. <laughs> $2 no, I was like the leaning in. Man to say much respect to Ice Bean. Eight Ice bucks Bean. from Remy LeBlow Bean. to say Bean's rules, Heme Gang Gang forever. Agree. Oh, Agree. nice. Yeah. Thank you. We need yeah. more Ice Bean love. Can we get yeah. more? One. More Ice Bean love <laughs> in chat, especially with money attached to it. Yes. That would be <laughs> yeah, give yeah. Wick money. <laughs> exactly. That's a relationship. Give Wick we're in. Beans. Um, I'm going to drink for, for subs, but I'm out of drinks. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you can drink for subs either. I think that's against. That's the crazy. Who would make that? Ah, uh, I do. I do <laughs> want to talk about though, like because Brittany brings up an interesting point when it comes to age gaps about the true intentions. 
Um, even if someone did say that, oh, I just want them for sex, or uh, even if they just said, well, I'm just, I'm just looking for a, a mature mentor. How much does that fucking matter at the end of the day? Because what you're doing, right? Like, regardless of what your intention is, is you're putting yourself in a situation or someone else in a situation where there's a lot of chance for things to go terribly wrong. A, a much heightened... I guess I, I'll ask for this. Do we think that massive age gap rela uh, relationships, I'm talking 15 years plus age gaps, when you're 20 to a 40-year-old, 20 to a 50-year-old, do we think that there is at least a heightened chance that things will go south or go wrong? Or yeah. Yeah. So, that's, yeah. That's super interesting. Yeah. Um, do we really think that we should be prescribing relationships based on like mid-maxing successfulness? Because... To an uh, extent. Okay, so in, if that's the case, um, I think this is really crazy. So I looked up a bunch of statistics for this. Um, interracial marriages, 10% higher failure rate. Um, arranged marriages in the United States have a significantly lower, like 30% lower divorce rate. If you go to a country where that's the norm, 1% of arranged marriages fail. We would not suggest this. And we're talking about like, this is peak success rates here. But we can argue against those things because relationships are nuanced and we would never want to look at maximizing outcome when we talk about well, these okay things. look i want to make sure for my position like i am agreeing with you that like we want to look for the exceptions and then like my whole audience is niche people right i'm not trying to prescribe like the norm to anybody here but i do want to make it clear that the why is interesting like i did an old traditional courting style wedding like uh courting style dating and everyone thought that was kind of crazy but it works and like it worked for my parents it worked for my brother it like works but we're secular right so we adapted it something that's traditional i don't want longevity to be the success if there's dysfunction in the relationship i want healthy well i don't want to say long term either because i think short-term relationships are successful if they're negotiated to be short term but the dilemma is that often in these age gap relationships i think there's a miscommunication about intent about the longevity of the relationship and it's usually because an older person is sort of maybe having fun with a younger person or the younger person's like i really love this person i'm like i'm i'm really into them and they're really teaching me a lot but when reality hits and you start talking about social security and health insurance and having babies and real life it can get difficult so again I think there's a miscommunication about what we're even doing here. If it's for long term, I think it's possible. If it's for short term, I think it's possible. But are people being honest with their intent when they're trying to make these things possible? Yeah, it just has nothing to do with age gaps, right? Well, mm, I think, I don't know. You See, can that's lie the just question. as easy as somebody your age. So, so they co they I, correlate I, to ages, I, do they not? Yeah, can, can I springboard off of this? It's that when people, a lot of times people will be unreasonable about what they can handle in a relationship going into it. They can get the rose-colored glasses and things like that. And there is a lot of issues, especially with large age gaps in relationships, that you really need to not have those you know, rose-colored glasses on to be able to understand. Like she, you, Brittany was talking about age, you know, Social Security, all these things. These are very important things that you need to have the forefront of your thought when you're thinking about possibly having a long-term relationship with somebody with a significant age gap that it seems like maybe not a lot of people are equipped to be able to handle but this isn't this doesn't throw away the entire concept it's just like more often than not you might have to be more cautious about these things because they run a little bit more of a significant risk as to the original question of like do, do, are these more likely to fail i think so just simply on the merits of i think more often than not a 20 year old is not going to have very much in common with a 40 year old in comparison to another 20 year old so if just simply the question of is the are these relationships going to fail more often than not i think probably this is that's just it this isn't to say again you shouldn't sure. do it so it's then, just given like, that the marriages do fail more but mm. given it that's the case right and i think we all agree that it's the case at what point at what point of failure rate is it immoral to to risk that someone who you know that the younger person that you're trying to get with wants something serious and long term that will work out but you know that just on the numbers you are much more likely to fail than um, someone that is 10 years younger or 20 years younger than you getting into a relationship with I wouldn't say it's immoral. Does someone, I wouldn't say yeah, it's does someone actually you make that chance, then you should take that chance. Just mm -hmm. just go into it understanding that you have a higher chance of failing than if you would just be with someone your own age. But if you really like that person, you should go for it. But just, yeah, understand that uh, it might not work out the way that you think it would. I want to be Does curious. anyone really make a, a, a decision based on, like, the the survivability rate of the relationship like does anyone look at like a study and says oh hey it says here we, that my marriage we make is those decisions been... all the time yeah, well no 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 but do we do that based on like the stats is my question 
No, Wick, I, I think that you're, Does you're that make correct. Sense? People do this a lot. Uh, we don't ever use stats like Ice Bean's saying, but we do do this a lot. So like, there's this thing where uh, my when my wife has had a failed relationship with a woman that she dated, she'll get really upset that it ended. And then she'll like look at the good things as bad things. And I'm always like, no, all those things that were good between you guys were good. You get to keep all those good experiences with you. That doesn't mean that it's bad because it ended. And I don't understand well, no, this idea exactly that it's what I meant. a bad thing as it ended. It can still be just as beautiful sure, sure. as it always was. That's what so poly I mean. of you, bro. I love that. But that's so fucking open relationship of you. So like, yes, an open relationship. You give this to a monogamous like, person who no. ended a relationship too. Yeah, yeah. I, totally, bro. But like not when you're trying to grow old with somebody, right? Like when you're trying to grow old with someone, you're playing a different game. So I agree. Yeah. If you're playing your game, absolutely. I agree with that. I agree that all the relationships I've had prior had beautiful moments. But like also, I wish I didn't have those memories sometimes. <coughs> I wish I had just found my person, but I didn't. I had to like date a lot of wrong people, right? They were wrong relationships. And I don't feel that way about those people. I feel like good for past Brittany. But like, I think, again, you don't want to go on. Poly brain says, yes, I agree with you. But monogamous brain doesn't work that way. Like, it well, doesn't work. Well, I also work. feel like a lot of people in their early 20s get into those wrong relationships as they're growing and learning. Yeah, and they pick up tools and they learn what they need. But in poly yeah. relationships are an open. You're, you're playing like such a different game, which I love, like totally recommend. But you have to know mm -hmm. that that's the game you're playing, right? And also, I just want to say, like, I really think any kind of relationship can work. But I am sussy. Like, I live in a uh, Croatia where it's 16 is of age. You think I'm not suspicious mm -hmm. when 50-year-old, 55-year-old yeah, guys are with 16-year-olds? Oh, crazy. I'm super suspicious. Suspicious. Why? Because even God. though it's legal, there's Russell something Brand freaking icky about it. And I don't know what oh, it is. With the but power it's, stance? The power, the power dynamic. Stance, or even women. It's like, why are you going for someone who's so obviously not in your like on your level? And if they're not on your <clears> or if they are on your level, then that means you're really something's wrong with you. That you're 55 and into to 18 year olds well, it's, or an, it's probably you know? it's probably an easy fuck or whatever right but that's different an if it, it's an easy fuck i don't care but if they Super tell me i'm in love person. we're connecting we have so much in common it's like how am i gonna believe this? i bro? think they might use that as an excuse to get the easy fuck of course yeah i think on so which too. side though you think a 20 year old could a 20 year old woman couldn't fuck like almost any 50 year old straight dude that she wants come on mm. like she has her she has her pick for the most part, sure. Like just, sure. just as much as you think that if just as much if you think like a fifty year old has a shot with like a an eighteen or a nineteen year old, those numbers are dramatically flipped. Uh, when I mean, it's on the woman's yeah, side. I, of I, I think I, the dysfunction is clear on both sides, right? Sure. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with that. That's why. I, that's I, kind I, of what I'm illustrating is that it's just as uh, it, it's not, it's not like the old guy is just looking for an but, easy fuck. Right. Now, why Easy is there dysfunction be. is the question. Like, why do we think it's a key? Why do we think it's dysfunctional if two consenting parties are dating each other regardless of the there age There has gap? to be a reason. There <clears throat> has to be a reason, my, right? So my thing, so so some, like, in, in an answer to a question that was asked way earlier, um, like, uh, so when I was, when I was way younger, this was before I was legal, I was in a age gap relationship. And looking at, back at that now, I'm like, I absolutely did not know what I was getting into. Um, and that to me kind of is where that ick can come in because I know what I was like at that age and how immature I was and how I didn't pick up on any of the like sleazy flags that this guy was like flying. So that's the sort of thing that I would actually try to, yes, prevent for other people, regardless if they're men or women. And that's kind of where, for me, that ick does tend to come in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's not necessarily like a cope in answer to that old question that was asked yeah, earlier. I, it's I, it's more to do with the like, I'd rather prevent somebody from going through the same or similar thing where I'm taken advantage of because hmm. I don't know what red flags look like. Mm-hmm. 100%. That is where that comes from. We're afraid of the worst case scenario happening, and that makes us feel really freaked out. And it should. It's not even case worst case scenario, though, right? It's, any, it's like, it's, like, it's, it's, like it's just, it's just bad yeah. case scenario, right? Actually, yeah, it's, we it's, are it's... worried about that always because we see younger people. Like we knew what we were like when we were young. We were stupid, and they're like, "What if they're just being stupid, and something bad's going to happen to them?" I wouldn't want that. So this is where, like, uh, I want to. I I feel protective, so I want to impose uh, what I think is right onto them. I think that's all it is. That's the ick. We have, we're worried. We're scared for them. But yeah, uh, gotta yeah. let them live their life. I'm, yeah. Can I throw in a little red pill like side derail here? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so so if if we um if we think there's nothing wrong with age gap relationships and we're like they're fine, they should happen, whatever, then then how come uh most men in their mid thirties are not dating women in their in their early twenties? 
Like why why shouldn't that be the norm? Why shouldn't that be the norm? If 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 that's if that's the prime for women and men, why shouldn't most relationships be that way rather than most relationships being like a people are dating people in their similar age range? We're not slaves. Uh, I think I think in the um in the past wasn't there the average age gap <gasps> like six or seven years? Like oh, but the, but now that. But isn't that woman didn't really, you know, they were getting kind of married off. Now they get the mm -hmm. choice and they want to date men in their own age range. Why would that be? Yep. Huh. Uh, I think a, I think a large part of that is the people that you interact with are usually in your age range. Yeah, the, the people that are around you and stuff. But that's what I'm saying. If that was the most optimal, like, prime, like, relationship to have, wouldn't most people be choosing that regardless of the people they're around? No, no I think, I've never I think met anybody primer. choose the prime. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, I think... And, and just to be fair, to kind of go I'm all the way back questions. to Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio, I actually think that's kind of a part of what Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> is doing, is I think he's probably surrounded by women who are t in their 20s, because the industry of acting is inundated with young There's a lot of actors, well, yeah. hold on, there's a lot of actors oh, who date yeah, people their own I mean, age. Like, he, <laughs> there's a lot of actors we who need date to people save their him. own age. There, there, there are, there absolutely is, but there's... He's an outlier for a reason, because he's being wacky only. Well, I think he's an outlier because he's consistently dating at one specific is age. Is he an outlier? Like, I think so. again, I want to point to you, Dane Cook, who is 51, just married who his cares wife, about Dane Cook? who's Sorry. 24, and they started dating six years ago. Wait, wait, wait well, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, can I, wait, they were, have been dating for six years. They kind of like, they they had that adult relationship together, whereas every year Leonardo DiCaprio is getting a new woman. He's, like I said earlier, he's barreling through women. I think Dane Cook's he's cringe, not sticking too. with one I don't woman. like it. Ooh. Yeah, I'm but, being judgy, but I don't like it. There's something about yeah, I don't get it. Weird about I it. Don't right? get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I am judging old man finding an 18 year old girl, right? <laughs> and then six years later, they're married. Grooming anyone? Like I don't know. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I don't. I don't like we, it when people write the line. No, the honestly, the line, that, I wouldn't even say it's grooming. Saying that forty six and eighteen is bad, and age gap relationships when you're really young are not good. Thank you. I just have a big concern for the younger person having to raise the older person. That's my concern. Oh, that's is the true. younger person is going to have raise to eventually? Because the older person, the older person is, if they're, I still think like if their maturity levels are matching, or if they want to mentor and grooming and all that stuff is possible. But I'm actually concerned with the idea that the older person is lacking so much maturity that the younger person is going to reach like her 40s or 50s or his 40s and 50s and realize like, oh my gosh, are you not going to grow up, dude? And a big part of it is the promise of I'm going to grow up because I'm older, I'm more attractive to you because it looks like I have my shit together. So again, I don't care. Every relationship could work. Everyone could be toxic. It doesn't matter if you're the same age or the same gender, whatever. Everything could be toxic. But the idea of age gap leads to so many other possible harms that I would just ask the questions. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. I'm saying you should ask and be diligent and not just assume it's going to work because someone's got their money together and you're young and hot and like that makes sense somehow. I just think people should consider what they're doing. And I think most relationships fail because we're not dating the people we should be with. We're dating the people we're settling for. I think I, I'm against Dane Cook's marriage. Um, well, honestly, she he met her when she was 18. That means she's too young to know that he steals jokes. She thinks he's actually <laughs> fucking funny. She thinks that's him. And it's not. He's putting on a facade. He's telling all the greatest hits of the 90s comedy tour. And she's falling for it. That's fucked up. She should uh, boot him just like uh, we all booted him off the comedy stage. You can't be doing that shit. 50 bucks from Lawson Harrison to ask this. Or just, yeah. When looking at the double standard, there seems to be four older men <clears throat> dating young. Uh, there seems to be more older men dating younger women versus older women dating younger men. Does anyone else think this double standard exists for reasons outside of societal conditioning? And is it potentially justifiable? societal conditioning that's a that's a oh, outside of outside of yeah. the societal conditions is that's there a, perhaps i i think what he's getting at is is it maybe a justifiable reason where where you see more older men with younger women than vice versa i mean uh, i maybe we're going to disagree here i think more often men look for physical attractiveness in their partners than women do and i also think women more often look for stability markers in their partner yeah. than men do and therefore they're naturally going to gravitate towards women dating older men and men dating younger women True. i'm not sure but that's like i i don't know it, like the problem is that that like mm. outside of societal thing that i'm not sure if that entirely comes from society or not so like that 
Yeah, uh, is that sure. is the is the is the, that seems agreeable to me too. Is the well, is the person who asked the question had do they have like something in mind? Mm. Yeah, well, I don't okay. know, Lawson. I, will, uh, I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's like do they have a reason thing? in mind? I don't know if that's a society thing because like if I'm gonna have your baby, if I'm gonna go through all of this this physical and mental trauma to bear your children, you you better be able to support me while I'm doing that for you and for us and our family. Okay, oh. and I, I agree with Relly, and, like, I agree with the concept generally, but I'm curious, in your guys' like, culture growing up, like, in your neighborhoods, how many people did you know who were 21 dating, like, 50-year-olds, 40-year-olds, 30-year-olds? Like, because that Zero. was very Zero. uncommon. Zero. There were Zero. a few I exceptions <laughs> of actually, like, 50-year-olds um, dating. Of, it was Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> when I was in high school, most of the high school girls I knew would brag about dating 30-year-olds. Okay, I knew. Okay, I wait, say, wait, I wait, wait. You know what's funny? Illness, I was going to say. In my in my world, high schoolers dated more college boys than college girls dated older men in my world. So I knew more high school girls who dated college boys than I knew 20-year-olds dating 40-year-olds. I cannot tell you how many women I know that said when they were 13, they had like a 29 to like 35-year-old boyfriend even. Jeez, like, that's it's this, this kind of extreme thing. But that's, that's me. Yeah. Is that okay? Okay, here's the question. What did you just say? Do you, know how hard, do you know how hard it is to not have like a what the that's fuck rude. reaction and okay. just try to be cool? So that's the and question. And not like make them feel like shit about why it? Why is that yeah. wrong? What? Why is that you wrong? You should make them feel like shit about it. If you're, Wait, if why is it wrong for a 13-year-old to date a 30-year-old? Or if it's legal, why is it wrong? If it's legal. It wasn't legal. Right? Is it legal? But is it the legality that makes it wrong, or is it the age no, gap? No, it's, no. it's the it's the it's assumption the that a thirteen gap. year old. It's the it's assumption the that the thirteen consent. year old doesn't can't give informed consent. Yeah. Okay, Correct. I have what? the same impression yeah, here. of young people who are obviously like easily manipulated by their lack of life experience, but even more than yes. that, their age and their brain developing. I have yes. concerns that people under twenty five or under thirty, if I'm being honest with you, in America, yes. let's say, oh really God, yes. do have. A misunderstanding of what it is to date right. an adult. Right. Like, right. again, right. <laughs> okay. But, like, right. that's my concern is that when you look at a 13 year old and a, a 19 year old or whatever, I get icked out. But I also get that yes. same feeling when I see a 19 year old with a 45 year old because I'm like, what are you yes. doing? Boy Literally, or girl, yes. non binary or not, what are you no. doing with that younger person? No. Literally, yes. There is a Literally, substantive yes. difference between a 13 year old there is a and difference a no, but, here's but it's the not thing. it here's is the, the difference but it's in the same the category is, of it to me an 18 year old has should be spent the majority of it is their different life literally but it's child. not they've 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 only ever been a child for their whole life they've no idea how right. to be an adult and you just swoop in and pick them up they still have no idea what the fuck they're doing you obviously have more control and power over them so why obviously do you think anyone knows what the fuck they're doing right because like, it's, it's not, not, it's not the criteria to a 25 year old to a 26 look, 27 28 look, as somebody who like old, comparatively no i think the difference here guys is look my grandma was married at 12 right to like an adult oh. like realistically no everybody they were both forced into an arranged marriage everybody was it was just how it was look i want to explain something but to them this is their normal so i look at them i say we need to stop this so then it was like 16 year olds and 25 year olds and then it was 19 year olds with a little bit older and now it's love marriages i get the first generation of love marriages baby and i want to make sure this is this the the continue what we continue but we have to then say what is a love marriage what is a love relationship what is something that's loving and it's usually making sure that the younger person involved regardless of gender does not get to taken advantage of and the older person in the relationship doesn't get taken advantage of that nobody is actually being maliciously harmed and then everybody's looking out mm-hmm. for each other in a yes. really concerted effort so again yes. for me i don't care what the law says i'm concerned with what is our intention going into this dynamic i'm not saying it can't work i'm saying we need to be i just feel like in concerned. large age gaps there's more room for those intentions to be nefarious well, I, I don't care. Like, well, I don't I don't know why we're caring about intention here when we can look at, like, you can have the best, most beatific <laughs> you can have a great age to date a 13-year-old sure. thinking, I'm going to make sure that they're made safe in the world. Your intentions could be all gravy, baby, but that doesn't make what you're doing right, right? It doesn't make what you're doing right. Intentions only carry you so far. I think that intentions would be important when you come into, to like, uh, putting punishment onto someone for what they did once it invariably goes wrong but even if your intentions are the best possible you can if you are putting yourself or another person in a situation that is going to be a large potential for abuse and harm then i don't care if you don't intend to abuse or harm there is something to be said about you have done it wrong 
Do we and not think that there's I mean, a that's bigger where the potential? Comes in. Do we not How think that there's a bigger me. potential for abuse and harm in a, in a 21 year old and in a 35 year old than there is for a 31 year old and a 45 year old? I, uh, because I, I feel like there's a bigger probably. bigger potential. Is there not? Probably. No. Uh, uh, my my issue comes where probably. now it feels I'll like we're it. making um, <laughs> really? a, a kind of a almost a separate argument, mm. almost where we're talking about the maturity levels of like even 19 year olds and how this isn't very like high enough and part of the issue is if you don't think a 19 year old is mature enough to be able to have these relationships like w number one why and number two this would apply to all relationships if you think that a, a 19 year old <clears throat> isn't so a, a, a part of the issue with a 13 year old having any kind of relationship is they don't know how to have relationships period it is bad for them to even have a relationship with a 13 year old because they both of them don't know what the fuck they're doing they have so, no idea what the hell they're doing right so we could say that like hey you know it's it's natural and they're probably going to go through some learning experience that's probably true but the whole idea behind like consent and the idea that these people can't give informed consent is they don't know what they're doing even with each other they don't know what they're can doing can i ask a question would you say it's okay for a 19 year old to get in a relationship with someone who's 45 if they've had four or five relationships before that or it's their very first relationship would you say that's different I think I would have to do it based off the the merits of like the person, like them as an individual. What experiences have they gone through, and are they? In, but this is the mature? experiences that they've gone through have based been based on those relationships that they've had. They've had three or four like relationships, long term maybe. Even one of them's probably been like three years, and now they're going to get into a relationship with a forty five year old. Is that okay? Is that better than them getting into a relationship with a forty five year old when they've never had a relationship? Are, are you stating that, uh, like, gun to my head, there's, I can't, say, I have to give a one or the other? or No, no, just, no, just say how you feel. Oh, well, then I, I would say I need more information. I, so if, I just don't if know. yeah, if, if we're looking at this from the maturity standpoint, would it be equally wrong if I, if I met a 40-year-old woman and I knew that she had lived a very sheltered life, maybe she's dumb, maybe she's, like, borderline okay she's she's pushing oh. that 80 iq i might be done right? no sorry but she woke up from a coma is it wrong for me to yeah she woke up for a coma maybe would it be wrong for me to to date them in the same way it would be wrong quote unquote or problematic quote unquote or icky quote unquote for me to date someone who was 20 years my uh junior maybe uh, yeah, yeah we... i think that's a yeah i think that happened probably i think that happened on capacity, bojack right can we stop pretending like there's not pros and cons to both sides of this? Like, what's the, what's the, sell me so, on it. Tell me on the, what are the, tell okay, me on sure. the, 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 just got out of a coma sure. girl. Okay. Why, why, why I'm just, why I'm just, just saying it's a coma. It's, there's, it's there's legal, pros, right? No, it's there's legal. pros and cons to the age, to like the different age gaps. Like if you have two 20 year olds in a relationship, uh, what do you think the odds are of an unexpected pregnancy versus uh, like a 40 year old and a 20 year old dating? I bet you that 40 year old is going to be a lot more uh, cognizant and aware of what it means if you fuck up and have an oopsie and or is at least going to have like money for an abortion. What do you mean? Oops. I mean that if he's fucking a 20 year old, he's probably going to know sorry, what happens was... if he doesn't pull out or she's not on the pill or whatever. He's going to be thinking right. about these things because he's had enough life to know that I don't want to fucking pay child support. I was for making years. A, I was making a joke. Um, it was a joke in my head. <laughs> gotcha. And there's also going to be, be like other things about like reckless behavior. A 20 year old, uh, uh, I don't, the gender doesn't matter is probably going to have less, uh, practice at risk assessment in general is going to be less aware of like how other people like perceive them and how to like interact emotionally with people. There are pros and cons to both sides of it. Uh, and it just seems like we're always talking about like, this is just this way, but like, we don't ever talk about like, Here's some like really valid reasons why somebody might seek to date somebody. Do you older. feel like there's more cons in in a large age gap relationship than there is in in someone who <sighs> people who are dating like you know within the same age range or less cons or no I, con like no I difference. think that I've been pretty consistently saying that I think that age is just a proxy for whatever thing that we're upset about when but we do you see think somebody those, dating. Those I don't think that they kind of relate to their age. No, 
I think See, that, that's strange to me because then how do you relate that to even minors or yeah. s- high schoolers? Like, yeah. what's the difference between a 17 year old and an 18 year old? Like, is it just arbitrary? Never ask a Mr. Girlfriend about that question. But go ahead. <laughs> and if so it's look, arbitrary, like, how do we make amends with that? Because, like, look, I don't want a so 19 year old. I can answer you. Okay. Oh. I can answer that question. Okay. I don't. I don't think it's arbitrary. I think that when it comes to whether somebody consent or not, you have to go with the law because if there's people in an area and the law is whatever age it is. If people in that area but think law that it's wrong. too low, sure. But if people in that area think the age is too low, they're going to be flipping over cop cars. They're going to be burning down court buildings. Nothing people hate more than people diddling kids, okay? If they think the law's letting people diddle kids, they're going to freak the fuck out. And if everybody's chilling at home, drinking beers what and having a good time. Yeah. We have, then, like, it is, it's very, even in America, there are, there are areas and stuff where you can marry uh 16, really, 15 really, year really, olds, really 14 year olds, yeah. Um, twenty dollars mm-hmm. from Lawson yeah. Harrison to say, would it be ethical to date a thirty a thirty year old from North Sentinel Island? I don't, is that I don't who know. you are? Is that who you are, <laughs> Lawson? Is that is that who you are, Lawson? Yeah. Um, I think. Look, the way I want to approach this is the way I approach like mm-hmm. student loans. I don't know if you guys follow that part of the world, but if I have mm-hmm. a nineteen or an eighteen year old who's like, I'm gonna take out a hundred thousand dollars for loans, I'm like, hold up, buddy. Like you are not mature enough to <laughs> well, handle that this decision. Well, depends on the country because student well, loans are are, are interest free in Canada. So. Great. Like mm. if only we were all Canadian. But like, there's that question of like, oh, God, it's man. not God, that the damn. thing you're doing is necessarily wrong. It's the context begs the question, and then yeah. you just have to be like, do your due diligence. But I will say this, and I will say this again. Though I think all relationships could work in a legal. Well, I don't. What the fuck is the law if they're allowing kids to get married? Like I don't. What it, I don't even yeah, know what that means. Crazy. But like, okay. There is something weird, and I think there's something that I'm happy to explore with myself, and I'll figure it out. Why does someone who's 50 make me uncomfortable to the fact that they're into a 19 year old? And if there's it's a for reason, long, like there's there's something about it that just feels so dishonest. Like there, like something about yeah, it that feels that, feels that creepy, feeling. feels well, scary, it feels quick. uncomfortable. It feels it feels weird. It just to does. both of you though. To both of you, this is the same feeling, or I uh, I would guess. It's a remarkably similar feeling to someone 50 years ago when they looked at a same sex couple. It would make well, are the same sex icky. couples the same age? No, no, no. You no, guys are acting like age make doesn't make, no, make a difference. No, Stop. No, you're gonna if get age me, doesn't make a difference, do then it doesn't true. matter if they're really a minor. Stop true. pretending with me that age doesn't make a difference. Either it doesn't make a difference or it doesn't. Yeah, it really either makes a difference from day one or it doesn't. couples or interracial couples has anything to do with age gap relationships. Age gap is totally different. It's literally talking about the Why? development of a human consciousness. Like a brain is because literally in development. Because people have more experience when they're older. No, not even experience. experience you could, it, look, even go well, what it, is go. experience? Because you could be an insult till you're 40 and still have a world experience, right? It doesn't even mean relationship experience. What we're talking about is your ability to problem solve within reason to make a decision, like committing to this and not being groomed, not being abused. Not that we're victim blaming, but the idea but we'll is also like not putting people in a position where they feel like they have. And to why say is the older person? Older targeting the younger person again yes. it's not that i'm saying they're all bad look i've had play partners i've had polyamorous lovers i've had all kinds of people of all age gaps but i'll tell you but from this- my experience all of them were incredibly immature and none of them were appropriately acting their age and i'm my concern that's, why they're shooting that's anecdotal woman. it's anecdotal it's anecdotal i know this but i'm saying i have a concern that either they're too immature or worse they're very mature and very calculated but so yes, which one I is agree. it okay. i agree yeah, I, think- I agree i agree so do the immature older people give it a have try, to be but, mature but people like, the same age? I can, I can imagine. I can imagine 50 years ago. I wasn't alive then, but I can imagine a lot of these same arguments. Oh, they might have white made people the same just arguments, don't have the same experience as white people. So when a white person goes to a black community looking for love, like... But they uh, don't bring that I just, I refuse to believe you guys are using this as an argument. And you probably yeah, this is should, crazy to right? me. It just the cultural differences can be a thing. Actually, hold on a second. Can we... Can Okay, hold on. Wait, I'm... Wick, I'm going to I'm going to take the charitable version of your question. You're talking about like the the social perception of this relationship. Well, correct? the argument seems because... to be from the the side that is against uh age relationship from from Julie and from Brittany is that it makes you feel icky because Not against. There are potential problems. Not just against and we those look suspicious. At these potential problems and it's, I'm suspicious and it it makes me feel icky. And I see you 5 bucks from cheeky banter to say it is the same. It's literally arbitrary feelings. Uh, y'all if just it said is, it then, feels then we shouldn't have an age of consent. About, uh, about I'm not about sure about that. I, 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 it just I feels feel like I feel like the potential problems that might r- rise from a from a hetero or homosexual relationship or or an interracial relationship are not the same problems that would rise from an age gap relationship. I feel I feel like the problems that would rise from those other relationships are external of people looking in and making judgments, whereas the problems that would rise from a from a um, 
age gap relationship would be more internal where when someone's in their early 20s and someone's in their late 30s. I feel like really? there's a difference there. You don't think that it's kind of weird that a white man in the like 1930s wants to date a black woman when people aren't going like, to hear her out? Everybody's going to take his side no matter what happens. I mean, it could be. It could be abuse of power. Weird. It could be abuse of power. He could be fetishizing the black woman. Everybody's just going to be okay with No, okay, wait, wait, no. You say like that. It's a little predatory. It could be predatory. You're right. A white woman could fetishize a black, a white Wait, a white man could fetishize a black woman and target her and use her for her quote unquote ethnicity or whatever. Yeah, that could be a thing. Thank you for bringing it up. Obviously, I guess. obviously, like, that's I don't feel seeing. this way, but that's what Wick Wick was saying. Like, I know, but it doesn't make here? sense. Where look, are you concerned about young people and old people possibly taking advantage of each other and misusing their power dynamics? Because I am. I'm just concerned. I'm not saying you're bad. Mm. I'm not saying you're going to hell. I'm saying I'm concerned, and I think it's weird you're not. <laughs> I, just I don't think, think it's that the, the concern degree. is misguided and that we should be looking out for bad things in relationships if we're looking to help people out with our I agree with you. I've been agreeing with you. Yeah, we agree. We agree. Yeah, go ahead. I feel like we're almost fighting uh, demons here because I, I can agree with Elder We are fighting demons. On, you're fighting women. Yeah, Let's go. Elder Drazi, I feel like I agree with you with the online like perception and take like the online sphere because when you see large age gap relationships it feels like it's just especially if it's a man dating a younger <clears throat> woman it's like all hell is breaking loose like this is armageddon like this guy is part of the problem he is the patriarchy <laughs> incarnate and shit like that like whatever but that's not who we're talking to right now nobody in this call is is doing that right so like i feel like we're kind of fighting the demons because i i feel like it's valid to go like Bro, you're you're 54. You're dating a 19 year old. What's going on, bro? Like you're a sidebar, bro. Like I, you, you know, I feel like sidebar. that's a valid. Yeah, yeah. No, but you, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> but like you know, I feel like that's perfectly valid. I feel like that's what everybody in this call is saying. Like, bro, come on. Like, what's what's happening here? Like, yeah. Sure. Like so sidebar. my not, my I'm worry not. is the prescription is like, hey, no, she shouldn't be allowed to date him. And like, what if she's actually, like, what if there is, is something there? No, but no one's saying, saying, no one's saying, that. That. No one's yeah. saying that. No one's saying that. I have to heard, it's not about, no, we don't demons. even have to go far. We don't even need to go so far as to say, you're not allowed. Is it f like, because I would, and I'm sure some other people would too, we would try to influence them not to have that relationship. I wouldn't physically stop them, but I would, if they asked my opinion, I feel like, yo, he. Okay, out, this is a right? good question. Yeah, yeah, Wait, that's a good question. You're, you're you're saying you're saying that the thing that we want to change is the social pressure because realistically, that's the only thing that any one of us can actually change. Is like how much yeah. social pressure do we put on someone when they come to us and say, "Hey, I'm dating a 90 year old," right? <laughs> like that's that the little that's... girl. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anyone to feel like they have to break up because their bubble says so, right? I'm not that kind of person, but I want people to be able to take the questions and have the questions being asked and maybe have me be concerned like, hey, I'm just sidebar. I like the sidebar idea. I think it's really reasonable. And I don't like the idea of people getting defensive when they're in an alternative relationship because look, as somebody who lives alternatively, I fully expect it. Ask me your questions. I know it's weird. I just moved countries Please. for a man. Like I know it's weird, That's but let me explain to you why it was why. reasonable. And then if the 19 year old isn't on the same page as her 50 year old boyfriend or vice versa i want to know why we're not on the same page why don't we know what's going on because i'm sorry as somebody who's helped couples who takes calls with couples one of the biggest things i've seen in their age gap relationships is i will ask them a question and they have completely different answers yes. and it's really weird and the man who's in his 50s and the girl who's in her 20s like he has this idea that they're kind of like gonna be young for a long time and she has this yeah. idea that eventually we're gonna mature and so there yeah. is this stereotype that i just want to make sure people know they can follow into but you could be the exception you could be the anomaly and i want you to be that i want you to be the special you person. should you should feel free but, to, to pursue your age gap yeah. relations but all just understands that there's a lot of baggage that comes with that and it might not that's work fine too that like it's hard for. life is hard when you're alternative but i want you to be prepared for your okay. real yeah, like I the real it, consequences yeah. of like your life smoking um it's i can't stop you from smoking but you should feel bad for smoking you should feel bad right. for no it. don't you feel bad for smoking kill yourself slowly no don't feel bad people in the lineup because I'm, I'm judging people in the lineup. I'm absolutely judging so people, but let's, 10 let's bucks, judge people in the lineup together. Ten dollars, ten dollars <laughs> from cheeky banter to say, "Don't get mad, y'all made an emotional argument. Make a better argument as to why, instead of it just feels wrong. Don't say something shouldn't exist because you can't rationalize 
quote unquote. No, feeling. someone was saying that earlier. We should make a like an actual like moral argument as to why age gap relations are. I feel like there's more room in in someone in their early twenties and someone in their late thirties. There's more room for abuse than would I, be in their I, late thirties. I, I cannot. Can I just ask? I can't this advocate very important for this. Clarifying though. question. L- go ahead. There's, yeah. Th- this is this is this is what it comes down to to me. Can you tell me something that you would find concerning in an age gap relationship? that you would not find concerning if it was two people of the same age. Because if not, then it proves my point that the age gap is just a proxy for the thing you're really worried about. What's that? I'll give you one. So if, uh, for example, one person owns a house and the other doesn't, in a 20 to 50, I would be like, ooh. I don't understand this question at all. How does age not matter? So wait, you wouldn't think that there's the same kind of power play happening here? No. Um, I would think it's much more likely in the the large age gap scenario. I don't know if that's just a feeling Why? thing or if it's just a if it's just because I think that like it would be more likely bathroom. because well, good luck with the bathroom. But uh, <laughs> for it's all about what you leverage in order to achieve the relationship, right? And so I think two twenty year olds it's not likely something they leveraged. But someone who is significantly older, I think it's much more likely that they, because they're lacking in, in youthful vigor and looks. They might they, use it like above your head to, they, to draw they, you they in. They use it as a, as, they're much more likely to use it as lever. And, and again, this is just like likelihood. We're, we're going to look at probabilities here, right? And so I can look at this age gap thing. I can look at this relationship and I can be like, oh, there's a much higher probability in that case than two 20 year olds. But uh, five bucks from Cheeky Banter to say, Wick, didn't the left say love is love? Why is a perfect legal adult suspect for loving another legal adult? Okay, I want to say clearly, because I, okay. I don't know. I may, I'm just probably misspeaking. I would never advocate for adults not having agency. So, like, have your relationships and absolutely do it. And I'm not going to say that it's wrong and I would never moralize it as wrong. Like, I don't want to do that because, like, plenty of my friends have age gap relationships, right? But there is a concern I have and a pattern I see in people, and I would like us not infa- not to fall into that very human trap of thinking you're so mature for 19. Wow, you're so mature for 21. You are so – I've never met anyone so mature at 22. And I feel like that is kind of a cope from everyone involved, and I don't think people are being honest yeah. with themselves. And so, again, yes. I'm not ever going to advocate for people not to be able to do this. Like, that is not my stance. I want people to be able to have freedom. I just want people to be more honest about why they're, they are in these relationships and again since i'm aiming to get people to be less dysfunctional i find that often in age gap relationships dysfunction is higher not like yes because of the age gap but not because people mean to be people fall in love all the time with dysfunctional There's different people. spaces in their life and they want different, different spaces different like literally your brain isn't as developed you're literally talking about yeah. like i can't even tell you all the things that change in a woman's body by the time she hits 30 just biologically speaking so again all things are possible just like people are getting married as teenagers Uh-oh. in other countries, but I'm saying, is that what Am we I in want? For a roller coaster? Uh-oh. Why? <laughs> oh, because uh, when I hit thirty, I'm like, oh, am I? In yes, for it? things <laughs> things really do change, and so again, you were heading into different parts of our lives. I just want to give people a warning of like, have less yeah. dysfunction, but know that every possible relationship could be possible. But again, like, I really want to say, age matters. With, like, it has to matter. That's- that's also my thing with early 20 year olds and, and people in their mid 30s that you have such a big change in between that, right? You have so much learning to do before you hop into that. I feel like if you want to get into an age gap relationship, maybe you should wait until you're 40 and hit someone in your 30s rather than be in your 30s and hit someone who just got out of high school three years ago. I don't think the idea is that somebody's seeking an age gap relationship for it's being the sake of an age gap relationship. I don't think that's usually There's how it works. That's that. literally what I know them as, though. Yeah, She's saying if you're looking for an age gap relationship, I don't there think that's how it works. There's people who are looking. Line, well, where else would you I meet mean, those people, though? Eldrazi, if that's... they're not seeking an age gap relationship, why would you be around people that much younger you would... than you? You would, okay. yeah, you'd literally be in spaces Make, where everyone's your age. You'd be, you'd be at a work that's, party. You, like, that's or, not well, even if all these circles, even anywhere else around, no, no way. Well, no, because there's, there's this. Oh, I, I wish I had the it was sister the way Zena she said here it. with me. <laughs> I, 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 I wish I had the sister Zena here with me because she would tell you that a lot of young women will hang around places that these older men frequent specifically to be around these older men. No, for that's sure, for well, they, for sure. They, with the hopes of forming it. Yeah. No, no, yeah, no, because they want the guy who's put together and, clout and shit from sure. them. It's not for a relationship. That's true. They're looking for a very specific kind of like situation, right? Yeah. So again, just like that's what I'm saying. They are looking for an age gap relationship. They're seeking one out. 
I mean, also, yeah, I mean, I, I don't, yeah, think, I, don't right? I don't disagree with that. So I'm part. saying, like, I, I people who in age gap relationships are often, but then the question is, like, why? Why are we seeking I think seeking the majority of people think aren't it's searching a... that shit out, though. The majority of people don't... don't want that. Well, I mean, yeah, and I don't think it's an emotional... I don't think it's an, essentially an emotional argument to be pointing out that, like, yes, what... Like, why is a 50-year-old hanging out with 25-year-olds? I Like, that... I don't think that it's emotional to ask why is that happening, right? I think the reason why... Regardless of what are... the answer is, I don't think that that's emotional. I think is the reason why mean? there's... Oh, sorry. Uh, no, no, no I, don't, I don't think that's. I don't think that's emotional at all. I think the reason why there's claims of an emotional argument being made is primarily because um, the, the, we're saying things like it feels weird. It feels mm. like this. It feels when we are giving reasons why it feels weird. For sure. It's just this. The simple statement of it feels weird. It feels wrong. You're gonna get people that say you're making a feeling argument. So instead yeah, of like, it feels we if we just changed our verbiage, like whatever, and that's okay. my opinion. It's, well, what it's should just the verbiage, um, what should the the verbiage be changed to? I don't. I'm not an optics. People should be I could tell you, but I'm not decisions. gonna. I'm not gonna Reach like optics, ear. Andy, the hell out of this. No, 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 sorry, at, at, at least in at least at least in this uh, venue, it's more than okay to make feelings based arguments because feelings matter. And feelings are important. And gank, what I'm feeling is that we have been going on for a couple hours, and I want to give people a chance to shout themselves out, tell people where they can find them, have the closing thoughts on this, and then we'll open it up for calls. How's that sound, gang? We good? Okay. Great. Take some yeah. callers, take a few callers, see mm -hmm. what they have to say. Maybe we have some age gap in callers. Uh, we'll find out. But uh, I wanted to, to just give everyone a chance to have closing thoughts, where can people find you, etc. We're going to start reverse order we started, irrelevant. What you got? Uh, hi, I'm Irrelevant. Uh, I am uh, AH Relevant. I'm on Twitch. I'm on Kick. I'm on YouTube. Um, my closing thoughts about this is, uh, you know, when we're talking about age gap, large age gap relationships, it's sus. I just would figure out. It's, it's not like sus where it's like, oh, there's clearly a predator involved. It's just like... This is a relationship that takes a tremendous amount of communication and understanding to be able to to really go into if it's uh, something that both parties or even one party, especially if there's a discrepancy, have uh, uh, when it comes to forming a long term. So there should be a significant amount of communication going into these relationships, especially going through these relationships, my opinion. But there was a, there, there was a little donation that happened way there at the beginning that um, – uh, we didn't really touch on very much that uh, I just want to touch on in the closing, which was about uh, a women, whether or not women in their 30s cope when they talk about these things or whether or not it's a genuine concern mm -hmm. for some of these uh, uh, younger women. I think it's probably for most people a bit of both, but I think it is fair for older women to feel slighted by the, uh, the fact that they are older because women unfairly uh, get uh, treated uh, poorly. You can't wait to get, get old. Older. So, Can't wait. Um, yeah, the the idea that it's just cope, I think it's fine that they're coping <laughs> because it, they're treated on. There you know, cope here, baby. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Uh, age will come whether you want to or not. So I'm glad that Good. you're excited for it. Uh, thank you, Arel. Go check him out, uh, gang. Irrelevant with an A H in there. So uh, check him out. He's mm -hmm. great. Thank you for being here. Really appreciate Thanks. you, Simon. Brittany, what you got? Um, okay, obviously, I want to say it again. If you're legal adults, I want you to pursue anything in life you want to pursue. There's so much joy to be had in life. And sometimes you might be the age gap relationship of joy. And I want you to have that. But if you find yourself wondering, why aren't I joyful and what's going on? It's okay to also ask that question. And I think you might find yourself asking it a lot more if you're in an age gap relationship under 30. <laughs> With that said, okay. you can find me, uh, Brittany Simon on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you for being here. This is a great discussion. I really appreciate you. We'll see what the callers have to say. I see one looking in there, raring to get in. We'll, I'm, I'm curious what he has to say. Uh, Elder Drazi, what you got? Uh, I'm Elder Drazi, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, all that. Um, I, I do want to, my closing uh, thing here to include that I do think that if you're dating somebody who's significantly younger than you, um, you should keep that in mind. And if you do, uh, do something that's going to fuck them up as people in relationships often do, you've probably done a greater harm because this person's going to, you know, uh, grow and develop into their other relationships with the harm that you've done. But also maybe just have relationships where you're not fucking terrible to the people that you're with. Be open and honest about your intentions and do your best to be a loving, caring partner, no matter who you're with. Um, 
the main reason why I really wanted to come on here was because I think it's insane to see people who are like a 27 year old and a 20 year old. That guy's a pedophile. And I see that shit on Twitter all the time. It's bonkers to me. They're like, you're still a child when you're 23 and this performative, crazy nonsense, uh, maybe makes me a bit more angry at more nuanced reason conversations. And if I came off that way, I'm sorry. I just really, I just, uh, I hate when people get too crazy about some things. Uh, I appreciate, uh, Wick for having me on here. Although I don't appreciate the only person here who, uh, lodged a complaint about my take from being a Mr. Girl fan was the fucking host. I expected all you <laughs> motherfuckers to be pulling this shit on me and it was Wick, but I get it. It had to be said at some point. But it's I thought funny. it would be any uh, any of the rest of you instead of Wick. <laughs> it's funny, and uh, no one else is stepping up to the plate. So sometimes you gotta, if you want a job done, you gotta do it yourself. Thank it would have you been weird here. if it didn't come up. Elder Drazi, I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Uh, next up, someone who I also love, Ice Beans. Go ahead. <laughs> well, um, no, I mean this was this was fun. I mean, I think I'm gonna I'm basically more or less gonna go back to my posi position that I had at the start. I I think it's. I mean, look. Do what you want. It's your life. You're an adult. You're going to take on a bunch of problems. Some of them are going to be social. Some of them are going to be log logistical. That's fine. I don't think it hurts to ask, like, why someone would do this or why someone would be in this space looking for these types of relationships. Um, if you check it out, if you if you assess it and it you come out on top or you and your partner come out on top, that's fine you know do you do you um but i also don't think that it's wrong to ask why this is happening or like you know at least make an assessment if something nefarious is going on there um i'm ice underscore beans a little bird on the screen will come and tell you my socials okay thank you again for being here appreciate it, especially the last minute replacement so again thank you for that really really gang check her out she's great uh last but certainly not least um the amazing the aging julie aging oh, who the fuck <laughs> you said you were excited to get old i'm helping you i out. am i am excited to get old i am i'm gonna have great hair i'm gonna look dope as fuck um <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah i'm julie i uh sidekick at uh twitter instagram whatever the fuck blah 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 fun <laughs> okay well i got a six pack let me live <laughs> with that with that with that, let's bring on some callers. We'll do it one at a time, I think. And uh, Smith, you're here first, so you're live. What you got? I love Smith. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think there's a there's a good reason. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Uh -huh. There's yeah. a good reason to get into an age gap relationship. That's because you're immature. I think that's actually a good reason, but only if you can admit it. But if you're not admitting, like, so, so if if you're like like 35 and you're dating a 20 year old, and you can admit that, no, like, I'm dating her because I'm basically like a 20 year old, like, that's pretty dope. Like, that that's the perfect relationship for you. Um, it, it, and there's probably, I mean, there might be some Are other. Are you issues. advocating for 20 year olds to seek out 35 and older no. people? No, actually, like very, very much the opposite. I think so that we I th shouldn't encourage it. Thank you. There, there are, there are, there are never relationships like that where the the older person is like admitting like their own like shortcomings, and that's why they're in the relationship. You know, like like why they can't find a partner their own age. It, it's and in the red pill community is all about telling men to date younger so that they can groom them into their own like perfect sex slave and, and their perfect live in maid. Like they, they want like like that. They think that women are impressionable when they're young. And then once you get them older, they're like set in their ways and they're just used up and they're, yeah, they're a person now. That's the point. They've become an individual and you want to avoid that by grooming them when they're younger. Um, so, but, but uh, I do think that if you ask the right questions, then like why are you dating someone so much Wait, younger why is that than... wrong why is that want wrong to want to train someone and how to uh be your perfect partner well, okay it's I, predatory, I wish... isn't it? is it i wish i wish that i was groomed in this way when i was 20 i would have gotten so much further in life but i wouldn't be the person that i am now because i would just be an accessory to someone else i wouldn't have developed into an individual i would be somebody that exists as a counterpart to someone else's grand scheme Smith, can you answer the question if um, a 30-year-old could admit that they're immature to be with a 20-year-old, can a 20-year-old ever be mature enough to be with a 30-year-old? That's where, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Um, 
I don't I don't think it goes that way. I think all the responsibility goes on the 30 year old. The 20 year old is 20. Like they're not developed as much. Mm. Um, like there's so like I don't think there's anything wrong with a 20 year old that's dating a 30 year old. But I do think there's probably something wrong with a 30 year old dating a 20 year old. Mm. Mm -hmm. Really? What would be wrong? Yeah. Like. Like you're just like, you know, a little bit developmentally stunted. You're not where you like should be in life or something. Um, maybe or or maybe you're actually, you know, predatory. And you, you like like one of these like red pill gurus that are saying, you know, you need to groom women into whatever. So, you want. so let me ask you this. You got a you got a 30 year old man okay, who, you know, he's having troubles. He goes back to college. And he goes back to college, or maybe that's the first time he could get in college. So the people around him are college age, usually. Yes. Um, and he happens to develop attraction for a 20-year-old that happens to be going to college over there. You think that it would be wrong for the 30-year-old, or there to be something something wrong with that 30-year-old for pursuing that relationship? Um, Kind of, but like it doesn't mean I think it's like he shouldn't do it. I think it's actually fine, but like he should admit that the reason that this is happening like like there there could be some weird situations like 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 the 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 age thing um like Drazi was getting at um like it's not the age it's the other thing the age is a heuristic like like that is it, it, it the age is a very accurate heuristic for your development and like obviously i i agree with uh what some of you guys i think Brittany said that i think it was Brittany that once you're 30 it's like it's not a, like nearly the same thing but like under mm -hmm. 30 then it's then the heuristic of age like shows a lot of where you are developmentally mm -hmm. and where you are in life. Mm -hmm. So, couldn't the I, thirty year old dude just be dating her because like what if the twenty year old's like throwing herself at him? He's like, oh sorry, I can't. Like, uh, there's weird dynamics. Where... No, like if she's throwing himself at him, he's like, oh my god, she's so hot. Well, how is this happening to me? I don't even understand this. It's not that crazy to think he's just be like, all right, fuck, I'm gonna go with it. But isn't that an immature answer? No, I think that it's is a realistic it? answer. I think that that's that is if I think that if most thirty year old guys went back to college and a twenty year old is throwing herself at him, like that's that's an amount of willpower that I just think most people don't. Yeah, because have. they lack discipline well, and they're like in their youth and they're living out their boy dreams. Like love it, but like nothing about that is like discipline or maturity or any of that. And also, I'm not saying all twenty year olds. Like you can have a twenty eight year old and like a thirty two year old or a twenty seven year old and a thirty one year old, or you can have a Relly who's twenty six and like an old man. You can have like a thirty one year old, an old like, man. Like, there's all these options. These old, the old souls out here need love too. But there's always going to be an age gap. There's going to be a until you're thirty. I'm curious on who you'll become because. 30 is a real good marker for people in society in America right now, right? It's just like the way so. it is. We're not in our parents' America, right? So like I think people in their 20s are still trying to figure out a lot of stuff, a lot. I think most people are trying to figure out a lot of stuff no matter yeah, where I, they're I, at. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I think when like, you're in your 30s, you don't even think about this. Ideas. I'm, I think depends you have way more of an idea in your 30s. Julie, Julie I, I hate to break it to you. But you're gonna turn thirty, and then you're gonna turn forty. And I know I'm still gonna be confused. I know I'm still gonna be confused. You're gonna be, you're gonna have figured some stuff out, but no. you're gonna recognize I know that there's so much more that you haven't you know figured out yet. Not, you know what I'm gonna have figured out? The really. way I want to style my apartment. <laughs> You got to have so many different jobs. You got to have this level of education. You got to make this much money. You got to have scraped your knees this many times before you're truly able to understand what kind of person you're looking for uh, in a partner. You got to have all these Obviously experiences. It's not, it's not It's not about a whether you have to. It's just, or at least I guess not, maybe not to some people. Some people, I guess, do it regardless, right? Or just, and just go off of looks or whatever else. It just right? seems so weird um, to me. You have to know yourself. No, but That's it. You just have to know yourself yeah. well enough to know what that you really want. That takes time. That and takes that just time it takes a lot of things. I don't want to say there's one recipe or like one shoe, like it all fits all one size. I don't want to say that. I really don't. I don't want to discourage anyone from finding their joy because they don't meet some like criteria. But I'm saying that there is something about life that's really sacred and it needs to be experienced and it looks different for all of us. But it's really about getting to know yourself. What do you know about yourself by the time you reach certain ages? That's the question. How predatory was my ex-wife? I don't know. I don't know your ex-wife. Well, seventeen year age gap. It seems like we identified thirty nine year old. We're not saying we're not saying it is. Smith. I'm curious what Smith would have to say. Smith, how how predatory was uh, Elder Drowsy's ex-wife? I don't know. Like, but I, I gave two. It could be predatory, or it could be that she was immature. I, like, I think it's probably more likely she was immature. Yeah, probably. But that's fine. Yeah, it's fine though. It's fine. 
Wait, she did have an apartment. Just to be clear, are we saying immature is anybody that wants to do things that younger people do? Kind of. Maybe. Yeah. I think I'm uh, I think I'm oh, very yeah. immature I mean, right up. in some ways. I think I'm very immature and I have no problem saying that, girl. Like I'm 34 and I am not ashamed. But that's the thing is like I own it because I'm not looking to be an old lady right now. I'm like enjoying my immaturity, but I'm still trying to buy a house. You feel me? Okay. But I'm still immature uh, in some ways. I don't uh, I don't know if sure. I agree with that yeah. entire well, I don't know if I agree with that because I, I mean what are we saying is immature? What well, yeah. we're, we're multifaceted. We're not There's singular different- faceted. Yes. <laughs> 20, 20 yeah, so, year olds or whatever are not ready to settle down. They well, don't want to settle down. They don't want to have some a family. Some might be, though. House. Some might be, right? Yeah, like me. Yeah. Yeah. Some might be. Sure. Some might be for sure, but the majority oh, don't want anything well, well, to do with that. This is a very, this is a very, uh, like, super recent, super modern view. 20 year old back in the day, even just 50 years ago, if you yeah. were, like, if you weren't married by 25, you were a spinster. For sure. For sure. You were done, right? Like, you were done. Um, you were ne- you were a menace to society. That's right? my concern, Wick. It's changed so quickly and so way. fast. I'm concerned that these age gap relationships aren't reflecting the modern times. Because like age well, gap I was very that's what normal. It is. Women have more of a choice right? now. They don't want to date these old men. They want to date men their Unless age. they do. And then it's like, it is what it is. That's what I'm saying. Do what you're going to do. Just know why you're doing yeah. it. But I think the majority of women don't want to date older men. They, the majority of women want to date men their age. And that's what we're seeing. Or men on their level. Whatever that means. Yes. Yeah. I, which could, yeah, which could be younger or older. Older. Closer to men their age. Probably Closer five to ten years is like the perfect age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 On their level, and Seth, we're going to keep you in here because I like you, Seth. And we're going to keep you in here for a while. I'm sorry. Oh, he. Oh. oh I said he that's such you. a good way to put it on their level. I think that's a much better thing to talk about Ooh. than age. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's ultimately it's about age. Yeah, but I guess relation with these things, right? There could be. I think that's what the thing is. It could be. Speaking of older predators, Soyadol, how's it going? All you oh leftoids, God. I'm Can so you fucking your tired beard? of this. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, not just for you, but but yeah, this this is really terrible. I, I've decided uh, I, I'm leaving left. I'm now libertarian because my girlfriend's 25. Uh, <laughs> you know, she's not here because she's in grad school. But Jesus f Christ, I am I am out of here with you leftoids. Come at me. How old are you? Left. Sorry, two people talk talking at once. Brittany. How old are you? 44. Okay. What do you love about your girlfriend? Um, She's brilliant, and uh, she has a bright future ahead of her, and I want to help make that happen. Okay. You got to pick her up from school when she's done? any of us ever said that age gap relationships are, are, are a definite no we said that the majority of them don't work out oh, no. for a reason you if just yours do is really left all these does you you're ready to cancel me at any minute like i could just i mean if we're in line at starbucks i might look at you weird yeah but like what's your what's your claim friend like, what's your actual take here? Well, no, no, this is my actual take. Is that age gap? He wants is, to defend himself. I, I think that what? I think that you know, it's it's just are as you, likely that someone immature? of the like same. Oh yeah, sure. I'm I'm a little immature. I'm I'm on Twitch. I'm a Twitch broadcaster. So yes, I'm incredibly immature. But also, I think that age gap is not an in a prior indicator of problem in the relationship. You're you're gonna have problems in most relationships. Guess you... how many end in divorce. Do you not feel like age gap relationships give space for more problems to form, though? Nothing deterministic. Well, Nothing even close at all. I mean, oh, oh, the logic of this. You know who else uses that logic? The bell curve. Goodbye, racist. I'll tell you. I didn't get that. I'll run with it. Why not? He avoided himself. Very cool. I'll tell you. Makes a definitely makes an impression. I really wanted to ask him a question. Yeah, yeah, well, it was a good uh-huh. one too. I had a question, right? Like uh, last time he was on, he uh, he he propositioned Merck off to Perk um, to have <laughs> his wife impregnate her, uh, and that was an interesting business. Oh. Uh, Can we talk logistics? But... I don't know if that's. Can that happen? Uh... We well, need more maybe. info. You can't just drop that yeah. out of nowhere. I need a little more, Wick. Uh, come on. I'm trying well, to get off. Can I'm you give me trying some details? to process it <laughs> myself. Okay. But let's bring on the next next contestant <laughs> on whatever the fuck this is. Next contestant. Hello.
Wait, can I can I say something about maturity, quick fast? <laughs> you can while this person figures out their okay, audio. Yeah. Uh, all right, so maybe maybe it was just my interpretation, but usually when I hear maturity, I'm not thinking just young people do this and then I don't do it. Therefore, or on I like to do it. Therefore, I'm immature for my age. Usually, uh, when I hear maturity, I'm thinking of being able to take care of yourself or being able to fulfill some kind of obligation or responsibility that is put on you that you should be able to do probably if you have uh, uh, your stuff, your things in order, like your your whole life isn't a mess. So you're able to clean your apartment, you're able to pay your taxes, you're able to pay your bills, you're able to do these things, generally speaking, if you have the financial means. This isn't to say if you're poor, you're not mature. Well, generally speaking, the early 20 year olds are way too dumb to do all that stuff. No, 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 no. I'll give you one really, because this is what I'm curious about. Okay, I agree with you. That's one part mm -hmm. of it. That's like the adulting survival part. But then what if your guy like Dutch ovens you and farts and burps in your face? Like, I think that's highly important mature right like i'm not in the mood sure. but like that's, that's what i mean it's like the, that could I mean, be fun unless for some you don't couples. care about it right 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 for sure no judgment right like no judgment but i'll tell you this like when i think of like what is maturity i'm thinking of all facets of my life so like what is like what are my habits what are my goals like when i look at my parents they're adult adults okay they're like mm -hmm. serious adults i am not there to say that i'm as mature as they are and so like maybe in some ways maybe when it comes to social issues but like what does that mean right so when i say like what is immaturity i'm asking what is the lifestyle we're living? And I just think some lifestyles are more immature because they're more childlike. They're more free. They're less responsibility. They're more like, let's party every weekend. If you're partying every weekend in your 50s, even though you pay your rent and have a mortgage and have a child you take care of, your lifestyle is still kind of immature to me. But like, it's fine. Because I like, I again, I watch anime. Mature is when you know. boring. Got you. Well, that's okay. fine. Isn't maturity uh, just well, a mechanism which we use to shame each other? Like, it's like, if this person again, says something that I would only think- it. I'm not so, moralizing it. Like you, so, like again, you have to know what lifestyle you're in. I couldn't date someone that Dutch ovened me. Like it's not even an option. I'm not interested. So but it's not when, moralizing it. The shame when we're on you. Talking about <laughs> maturity in this context, and we're saying that a 40 year old or a 50 year old is immature for going after like a 20 year old. I think most people are moralizing your use of the word mature. There, everybody's okay. use of the word mature. Okay, I want to make sure that that's, that's not what I mean. People yeah, well, the reason the reason the word mature is is the 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 primary the the, the operating word is because like it, it's like a uh as you age you get more mature and it's like it that that is the mech the aging is the mechanism through which you gain maturity. So like Hopefully. it's to like the the moralizing is coming from like like that's not what she's what she's talking about. She's using that word because it's aging. It's it's not. Well, I, yeah, I want to I want to give a chance for the to our guest here. Um, what's your name? I'm sorry. Uh. F, I, I, I just got sure I'm not, I can't tell. Um, yeah, say Let something. We can't hear you. Hello. What about now? Oh, there you oh, go. Hey. Sorry about that. Uh, good to see you again, Wick. Uh, Y'all can call me Flip. Uh, Flip. Calling in again. It's the second time, but uh, it's good to see you again. Um, I'm in a age gap relationship. Uh, I'm not going to say specifically how old I am because I generally don't talk about my age, but, um, my partner is very young compared to what I would usually find acceptable. Can, can you partner. give us the gap? You don't yeah, have my, to say my, age. my partner is 18 and it's over 10 years. Mm. Oh. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. And it is, so we, we met in kind of a, like an age neutral space. Um, and I thought they were much older when I first met them. And it was a situation where we really clicked and we were talking. We found we had a lot of the same values and a lot of the same desires. And I spent a good long time thinking, like, am I not like fully should I reject this because of just the age? And I came to the conclusion that like, wait, are they 18 now? Yeah, they're 18 now. That's crazy. When did you meet them? It's it's hard. Um, and uh, I mean, no, they, they hard. When did you meet them? When they were 18, when they were 18. Okay. So it's a brand new this relationship. Is, this okay. is a brand new relationship. Okay. I, yeah, uh, is, I was going to have some. I don't, I don't, I don't think this is going to have much relevancy among this because you just met them. They're very young. I don't know. Well, I want to, I do want to hear that. I mean, let flip talk. Yeah. I want to know. Relatively no. Um, what I'm going to say is it's one of the hardest relationships I've ever been in. Yes. Um, and that is because we have to be so intentional about our communication and so intentional about what we both want and we want, are both thinking. And in, in fairness, because 
we are both aware of like, hey, these age gaps and relationships can go really badly. Because of that, we've had really intense communication. And because of that, it's been really good. It has also been by far one of the most demanding relationships I've ever been in. And so I guess kind of what I'm going to say is like, if you're in an age gap relationship and it's easy, you're probably doing it wrong. Um, Because we, we, I mean, the level of just we're sitting down and we're talking about whatever's on our mind. It's, it's hard and it's, it's fulfilling and it's wonderful and it's, it's hard. <laughs> That's what I've got. Any, any thoughts on this? Uh, what is the gender? Crazy. Neut- are you public about crazy. your gender neutral space that you met your partner in? Um, not for this conversation, but in general, yes. Uh, not gender okay. neutral, uh, age neutral. You know, yeah. everybody is like 18 to 35 kind of thing. What was it online? It was, yes. That's um okay. Oh, I, think I, I actually that's crazy. I actually uh, okay, so I have a question, right? Apart from like would you say the difficulties apart from the one that you just mentioned, right? Um, where would you say that the difficulty in your relationship comes from? Would you say that like I, I, how I much of say, and how much of how I much of would oh sorry, guys, go ahead. I didn't say it was difficult, I said it was hard. And there there's well, a difference. What? Aren't those what? synonymous? Yeah. I, I, I would say difficult like for, for me like you have to put it, in it effort. requires effort yes it's not okay. you know the the effort the communication has felt very natural um it requires a great deal of effort to, to make this work okay and so then my follow-up question would be uh how much of that would you say is uh like combating like social pressure versus like Things that are within your relationship that you have to work on. I would say a lot of it is combating social pressure. So you met online, right? You've mm-hmm. only ever been talking online. How realistically do you think this, like in five years, do you think you're still going to be with this person? I can't predict the future. But and I'm like certainly to... like aware of the fact that, you know, 50% of marriages end in divorce and most relationships end in failure. Well, also age gap relationships like this tend to, you know, not last. I know. I know. And that's something that's on the back of my mind. Um, But for now, you know, there is a distinct closeness that I, I never, first of all, I never thought I would ever have this in somebody of that age. And I really, I really consider just at the start when I found out how old they were. What made you change your mind on that? What, what made, what put it over the edge where you put aside the, your gut feeling, right? Your, your, uh, predisposition to be like oh i don't know and what made you set all that aside said okay no we're gonna actually try this well um you know it was really having to sit down and be like okay who is this person why am i interested in them you know what are our shared hobbies and interests and other than the age itself um this really met you know most of what I need in a relationship. You know, I'm looking for that shared interest. I'm looking for that um, without getting too personal, that compatibility and the level of communication. I mean, I, I, I saw my partner now um, really engaging in really robust communication that I don't see in people my age half of the time. And Very mature for an 18 year old. Gotcha. I don't think any 18 year old is very mature. How much, no how much, how way. much a- how much of that compatibility is sexual? Um, 25% or less. Hmm. I, I would say okay. it's it's important and relevant in any relationship. Um, certainly, I could not be in a non-sexual relationship. But really, it's, it's attitude. It's faith as a component. It's um, kind of the same outlook on life. And I think that does speak to my immaturity, which I will freely, ra- like freely acknowledge. Um, I'm, I'm definitely a little bit immature for my age, but yeah, it was, it was all of these kinds of green flags where I had to come. Like, I, I really, really thought about it. I talked about it with my therapist. I talked about it with my friends. I'm like, I really don't know. And then I came to the conclusion, you know, if, if I don't, pursue this with all of these green flags am i just making an arbitrary judgment how um, how old are you so, and how old is this person th- this, oh, well they, they didn't want to say they didn't want to say. I, I i don't they, talk they about said they, they were 18 they said this person just turned 18 
several Release. on the back half of the game at this point. This is and fucking. This is wacky, how, only my dude. How often Here it do you is. Feel, well, how often do you feel like you are sort of a mentor to them? We're really intentional about me not wanting to be too much of a mentor to them, um, okay. especially. But they because, definitely like, rely on you for shit because. Well, okay, hold on. And I we rely on our partners for lots of shit. Hold on, conversation. I'm gonna get real. This is interesting. Actually, I'm myself. curious. I'm gonna mute um, myself. It's is. Is the is this relationship like um, is it purely online or is it? Oh, I mean, I I mean, you know, you said something about sexual being twenty five percent, but is this person just online or we're, we're is there? Be, we're trying to meet soon, but oh, okay, now it's online, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Um, which also is not something I thought I'd ever do. Hmm. So would um, you say like you're in love? Because it sounds like you really have a real strong connection with this human. Y yes. I think that's really fair that you're having this. Do you fear that meeting them? Because I know I did, I started off long distance over Discord and I knew that if I smelled him and didn't like the way he smelled, that was going to be a girl. So <laughs> like, do you ever fear that you're going to meet them and it's just like not going to vibe or do you have any of those yeah. concerns? Yeah. Hmm. I I'd think that's, that's fair. a very real possibility. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's fair. It sounds like you're really in a moment, like you're going to remember this forever, whether it works or doesn't work. I think so. I think yeah. when we meet, you know, that's that's going to really never forget it. Not even after years of therapy kind of moment. Um, let's see. I, I don't I know. Think really I can't. Cool I can't. That you're not letting uh, other people tell you that yeah. it's wrong. A lot of people do know. nothing. A lot of well, I'm mean, saying you're not letting it dictate what you're well, doing. Well, it's not nearly as wrong as if it was in real life. Like, like, so, like, so, so, okay, so here's the, here's the thing. So, like, um, so if, if this was in per, like, so the fact that this is online has a lot less red flags for me. I think that, really? like, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, there still could be some red flags, but um, like once they meet up, I I don't think I think the chances of it working out are low. That's what I think. But I mean, I could be wrong. Good lord. Uh, I don't know. We'll you know we'll meet. We'll see how it feels. We'll talk about it, and if it doesn't work, you know. I don't think that you goes. should meet. I think that's kind We're, of insane to say that. And I think that, like, literally middle girl on the panel, I don't know who you are, love you for muting yourself because you have so much more tolerance than I do for this kind of shit. Listen, because I had to mute myself because I was about to get fucking offensive. Um, yeah. Wait, hold um, on. Before we get before we get too derailed, I want to I want to bring up a point that I was that I, when people were talking about maturity earlier, this is kind of what I would have answered. And that kind of ties into what Flip is saying. For me, maturity isn't about like the the amount that you have in your emergency fund or something like that, but more so how can you handle situations like do you take someone coming home being cranky as like this is who they are as a person or can you see that like oh okay well they're cranky because you know x y and z can you have a conversation without yelling at your partner the more uh interpersonal uh like how do you handle uh certain situations how do you handle lost luggage that sort of like i mean that i know that that's a more experience related thing but it's to me, I guess in a way, you can see that sort of maturity come out of younger people. I think that speaks to what Flip is kind of going through, but um, I, I just wanted to know like what people thought of that definition of maturity. I think that's what's called emotional intelligence. Yeah, like you can get yeah, I guess a whiff does. of that from younger people, but yeah, it does. You said it comes from experience, and that's true. That's it does necessarily mm. come from experience. Yes, but some people okay, nine but times the problem I think the problem nine like, times the problem out of ten. Is, you want to talk about outliers, nine times out of ten, it's coming from experience. The only but what if they are the outlier? Is, what if they're the exception? Are they allowed to be in that's love? Fine. Usually, they, usually yeah, those that's exceptions. Fine. You're an outlier, usually, you're an exception. Usually, that's the reason why. You're an exception. Even, which well, okay, usually, but for example, those exceptions are usually people victims of abuse. The reason you grow up fast yeah. is because you were abused. So like to so continuing to like so those people I think. No, need when even I'm more talking about space. when I'm talking about exceptions and outliers, I'm talking about people that, I'm talking about yeah. relationships that actually works because it's healthy, not because someone's abused and, and they're dating someone that's there are no eighteen year olds who are like emotionally healthy well you, when we're talking Maturity, about these things yeah, coming like, from like, realization point, and that i feel like if you experience. wouldn't have dated them six months ago you shouldn't date them now emotionally healthy right uh, yes agree <laughs> uh, i mean okay I, wait, I, wait 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 I simon what did you say can you repeat that for the class i said if you wouldn't have dated them six months ago you shouldn't date them now agree thank you 
But I understand that people come into our life and we have special moments. And I hope that this relationship gives you everything you need from it. You, and I hope special you guys treat moments, each other well. You should also I hope understand that your, your current partner does, does not need them. too much therapy when he breaks up with you and realizes or that she. He- he or she learned things in the wrong way from the wrong person that he needed to learn. He or she I mean, needed to learn from people his own age. Or yeah, I mean, well, age. But we well, all no, learned no, the way we learn. But every relationship is a learning experience. All of them. Yes. Yeah. But there's, there's a certain amount of learning that you get with people who also don't know fuck all. And that's what you need when you're young. Do you guys not enter, ever enter spaces where people are different ages? Like, have you never worked or gone to a college? Like, you're not- No, I have, but I wouldn't consider fucking them. No, I'm or not- dating I, them. Listen, I'm not attacking Fucking anybody. them, yes. Hold on, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not attacking anybody's <laughs> position. But the thing is, is that you can be young and learn from other people before you enter into an age like, it, like yeah, yeah that's why that's what the, i think that's the difference yeah, between I wasn't the, trying the age gap that, fucking and age gap relationships you should be able to be young and have those experience and learn from them Hello. Can you guys hear me? I think I'm frozen, right? They're all frozen. Can you hear my voice? Right. He approached I, I, I have me. Less of there a, it is. It's I back, have less right? of a problem with it it's back, for, right? for no good Wait. reason whatsoever. I'm I have less of a problem with it when it's a woman because it's the opposite of okay. the the social okay. like like thing that is always happening. <laughs> like but I, that's it's wrong of me to think this, but it's so Honest weird. Man. Well, no, Honest I was man. actually going to comment on that. Social. I have more of an issue that he's always... a virgin. Socially, I would have more of an issue because he's a virgin as well. Yeah, that's 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 the big red flag yeah, for me. The, yeah, the virgin thing is it's it was a religious thing, and so mm. it's it was fine. That's another me. flag. So well, <laughs> for you, it, for you it would be. Oh, thank my thank, thank the Lord, he wasn't trying to marry you. Uh, but yeah, like so, yeah, the virgin <laughs> thing. Actually, I'm gonna be very honest. I went. I was like, congratulations. Like I didn't, I, I didn't shame him for it, but yeah, I took several fucking steps backwards because I was like, hold up. This is a literal child, by the way, he's only 10 years older than my oldest. Um, so there's also that I took several steps back. You lost everyone. When you said you acknowledge to yourself, yeah, you think it's a literal uh, child. That's all weird. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, like, facts that's don't matter weird. anymore. That's a bit Your opinion is that you are dating a, a literal child. Doodle. Wait, yes, is that that's, the why, doodle? that's why I wanted to come on here because I was like, this is a literal <laughs> child. Like I'm 30 years old. Well, right? But then you said I'm fucking. No, I. <laughs> Literal, we went, literal we, is a bad bad word to use there <laughs> well no i'm just because i'm being honest about my thoughts right does why come on here and fucking lie about a situation right i had all the same wouldn't have been the worst idea i've had all part. i had all the same concerns that everybody else had but here's the reality he wasn't a child he was a 21 year old he was in the military well you made him a man right right yeah i did <laughs> that, that yeah, makes a lot more sense like with you the virgin him thing. into the man that you wanted him to be which is um, fucking the, weird the military, we, the military we have, grooms you so yo. so he's a pre-groomed yeah he was he came pre-groomed the military helped me <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> but no yo, in, all, in, all, in all seriousness we had a lot of in all seriousness early on we did have a lot of problems because of the nine-year age but gap. that's what it is with age gap relationships yeah they can, so work, out. They I, can work out but you're going to come with a lot of problems are, most people don't want to deal with that type of bullshit they rather date people in their age range that's what well, that's on, what I'm coming on here to say. Like say there are issues that have to be there are issues that have to be acknowledged. I took a chance. It worked out for us. Take a chance are, on you know, me. Sorry. That's you know, but if somebody else doesn't want to, I would I would understand that. But I my point that I was came on here to make, I understand why people side eye age gapped relationships, but I think it depends on the age gap. If mm. a 70 year old like fucking billionaire is with a 20 year old i'm pretty sure he knows why she's there and yeah. therefore oh. i don't i don't fucking care at, anymore at that point she knows what in my opinion she also knows why she's yeah, there. yeah there's no way she so i think it, i think it is very dependent on the type of relationships we're talking about the eight what are the actual ages of the can people i involved? give you a side eye in the starbucks lineup or no 
podcast. Like, that's fine. I side eye people all the fucking time for various yeah, reasons. Yeah, that's Wait. what I want to hear. <laughs> it's not about whether people should be allowed to have these relationships. It's about what, go. what is a healthy relationship. Go. Bye bye. Okay, I just wanted to say there could be elderly abuse there, but all right, have a good day. Awesome. <laughs> all right, see ya. Okay. Ruth, what it's, were you saying? Like everybody, everybody is saying that like seventy-year-olds should be allowed to date thirty-year-olds. Like nobody's saying that that's that should be illegal, right? But right. the problem is whether or not this is a healthy relationship. And I don't think that you can have a healthy relationship with somebody who has yet to experience the world. What does it mean to experience uh, the world? I, I, I struggle with that. Could. You I think could. you need to. De- I think you need to define what ex- having to experience the world is. Yeah. Because by, m- oh, I-, I can almost guarantee everybody's definition in here. I haven't experienced the world. Like I, I, I don't. I don't, I don't. Okay, that's fine. But well, other can, people I would find me to be a healthy mature, relationship without to maturing. be able to do that. Like I Just think sitting inside and being great. able to do things that are more indoors and not really experiencing the world in a way that it has you nothing would to do with to indoors. Be. It has to do with like self-realization to be able mm. to understand yourself and understand mm. your yourself in relation to okay. others. Okay, but yeah, to check, you, it, I don't think you have to be yeah, have romantic people, relationships I, to know yourself. I think that's a way to yes, know yourself. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. I think there's people yeah, out there that just don't give a fuck and just want to have babies and kids and don't fucking care about that, learning yeah, this and learning that. Is it healthy? Are you but in I don't a think. But I don't think. I don't think the majority of people. Like I think the majority of people want to go out and go learn and do do this and do that before they fucking get into an age gap relationship or get into any relationship in general. Like, like having a, a long term relationship in your early twenties is crazy for most yeah, people. No, that's pretty. Well, that's just pretty real, common like, depending on your exactly, bubble. Like, yeah, what culture just, are you just, talking about? Just real quick. Yeah, just real quick. I guess Candies maybe in Western Canada and the people yet. I've been around, I would say. Mm, Candies has it. Is that how you say your name, Candies? Uh, you haven't had a chance yet, and I see you shaking your head. Not your time to shine, brother. Go ahead. Oh, Beautiful. Wonderful. <laughs> Nail it. It was your time to shine. You fucking. I know. I was talking about up. my bubble. I'll uh, give me 10 Go minutes. Ahead. I'll be right back. Nick is on one tonight. Okay, what the hell's wrong with you? Can we yeah, just um, say that it's probably good and part of your development to have bad relationships? Like, yeah, but uh, I think that if I didn't have the bad yeah. ones, it would hurt my best ones. But bad relationships with people your own age, because you guys both learn together. What? I think I, I think, think the older women mean- learned a lot from me too. All right. What you teach? I I learn a great deal from my partner every day. I'm just gonna put that out there. I don't I, believe you. I learned how to manage <laughs> I don't, money. I don't need well, you. Well, that's like, well, no, no, no. Excuse me. We have age gap relationships in our lives every day. It's called our parents and our teachers yeah. and our like. We learn from each other Ew, all the Brittany. time. I'm sorry. <laughs> we learn from each other all I mean, the time. That, so there is something. What, how is learning. that relevant? That's not a romantic because, relationship. Well, because you're, you're not... insinuating that the romance is what makes you unlearn, but you can learn things in a romantic relationship regardless of age gap. Like it doesn't change anything just because it's romantic. You're still learning. <laughs> But but the problem right. is that wait, it's a, it's a reciprocal relationship with an age. Oh, a symbiotic relationship, relationship for sure. Like I agree that they're not Sorry, like, maybe yeah, a symbiotic. Yeah, you're supposed to be giving and taking, and maybe with, you're, a, you're, with teachers you're, and parents, they're giving and you're taking. Right, well, well, parents well, learn a lot about life by raising their kids. Their kids. Yeah, 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 so but, I would argue that they're symbiotic. Like that yeah. Goal is not to learn. Their goal is to teach. Well, no, wait. Their goal is to do both. They learn about how to be a good parent and grow from their kids. I will push the hell back on that. You learn from being a parent yeah okay yes i know you learn from being a parent i'm saying that the relationship is one in which the parent is in charge yeah and dictates to the child i see the i see what you're saying in terms of yeah i would say that's true that both relationships are happening at once and in the more romantic relationship again the worry is just like the intentionality here because there is that chance for accidentally (laughs) encouraging the younger person to go around into a journey that they're not prepared for. Like they might not know what they're consenting to, right? And th- yeah. that could be the older person too. I've met older people who have definitely like confessed their love to me. And I'm like, no girl, like you're not in love with me. You're just Mormon and coming out of the church. And like, that's not the same thing. So you have to be the more mature person, regardless of age, has to be the one to like put the path, like put people on the path. But that's the problem is just generally speaking, it's going to be the older person. Hopefully, God, I hope, fuck. I hope it's the older person who's more mature. You know what I mean? That's kind of the goal. Not always, but yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, as whoever ahead, uh, yeah. Flip said, like, there are plenty of older people who are less mature, but instead they went with a younger person who they see as more mature, which I, I think ideally they're you having a moment be- with a consciousness. Just let them fucking have it, okay? Like, I mean, I think it's wrong, so I'm going to say it's wrong. I think they shouldn't <laughs> do that, and I think that they could be like harming that can person. I, can I just point out something that I don't think anybody has, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but 
it takes a certain mindset to be attracted to an 18 year old or like even below that. So like, we yeah, we're, ta we're, what? we're talking about like about the red flags without necessarily saying that like, it's okay. kind of wrong. If I take a picture of a mature, uh, a mature, like matured as in physically matured, not mentally, right? Like uh, an 18 to 21 year old. And I took that picture and I asked of an attractive one and I asked guys of all ages, yeah, hey, you nobody's attractive. attracting who you want to fuck. Right. Yeah. I think yeah. we just keep referencing like our monkey brains and I don't know why we're doing that. Well, I think well, it's kind of weird that he's like, I think it's, you have to have a certain mind to be attracted to 18 year olds. Yeah, that's why Hollywood never cast them in uh, roles as like the yeah. attractive person ever. Well, the, right? Hollywood that's is super corrupt and like, most people. there's like well, so much rape so in Hollywood. There's... Why are we using that as an example of good? Like, there's, it, no, it, no, I said it, it wasn't yeah. an example of good. Oh, it's about, okay. he said you have to have a certain mindset to be attracted to an 18 year old. There's a reason why Hollywood casts 18 to like 23 year olds in like the sexy person role all the time because mm. it works. It's not selling if people aren't attracted. More of a societal I don't know. thing. Well, people didn't, most people didn't realize how young what a societal Scarlett thing mean? was. Like most if it's not reflective not... of individuals. Or Kieran Knightley was 17 in Pirates. Yeah, I know Kira we all have the problem. Yeah. But with Flip's situation, I think it's when you don't know the age of somebody, you because like look, I used to go to all age parties too, 18 to 35, like the next generation parties. And one time I was in bed with a girl and I was shook to find out she was 19 and I was only like 26. But for me, that was scarring because I was like, get out of my bed. Because for me, like, I can't do under 21. Like, you can't even buy a beer. Like, what are we talking about here? You can't rent a car. Like, what are we talking about? But again, we're all going to have our different versions of ick. We're all going to have different versions of our limit. So again, it, it does interest me. Like, why would you be interested in an 18 year old? But with flip situation, they weren't interested in an 18 year old. My, they were interested in a person they didn't know their age, right? My base limit is typically 25. Fair, like fair. And if if I could have my partner, but ten years older, I would do that in a heartbeat. So you're like in love with the consciousness. You're like in love with this person, yes. and this person yeah. happens to be yeah, but eighteen. The consciousness if, if is not like fully realized. Much well, older, I mean, it's fifty year olds aren't fully realized. So again, w I would argue that I don't recommend this, and I doubt it will work for long term. But maybe they don't want long term. Maybe they just want for as long as it lasts, which is valid. I really like that you said you can't buy a beer. Imagine if I was like, well, I couldn't date a chick that couldn't get drunk. You know? No, it's about that's, agency. That's, that's weird. It's about agency. How yeah, responsible can you be? Yeah. Like, I just, okay. I just think it's or, weird or, to say or that like, capacity that being to be able to buy a beer is a weird right? uh, metric. That's funny. It, it like, came off well, really where I'm from, that's like what we say. That's like our joke. Okay. Like, can she buy a beer? Can they at least wanna... buy their own beer? Like, are they adult enough to, have they at least sure. reached this age? It's just like a saying. Or are they, are they, hey, hey, gang, gang, gang. <laughs> the fairy queen who just got in and hasn't had a chance to speak yet. So fairy queen, I just had to try and give it a go. Hi, you guys. So I am going to shift gears a little bit. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you all. I I'm not going to talk about the predatory, like the predatory stuff. I'm not going to engage with that because I think that that's been juiced to death. What I want to do is I want to turn back to an original uh, question that I asked earlier with my super chat, which has to do is it morally acceptable to subject your partner to essentially being your caregiver in older age? Um, and a question I guess I would like to ask all of you here before I continue with that, how many of you have a relationship with your grandparents? Do you have, does anybody here really, is anybody here really close, close with their I grandparents? Did. I mean, I was I before they died. Really, really close. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was close to all my grandparents before they I'm passed. close with my in -law. my grandparents are dead. I'm close with my husband's parents, grandparents though. So I'm not my close, but yeah. So my grandfather died when he was about 50 and he mm -hmm. died of cancer. Um, that was extremely difficult for my family. Um, my other grandparents who were much older, who had my father when he, they were pretty far along in life also died, which means that I, as the eldest child was really, am really the only one out of my five siblings to have had any real relationship with most of my grandparents. We have only one living grandmother. Um, I know for that many families, they it's not just your mom and your dad that takes care of you, right? You have a relationship with your grandparents. You rely on your grandmother. You rely on your grandfather. Um, and I really would like to interrogate what something that Brittany said and something that Relevant touched on, right? What is the relationship really for? Why are you here? I think that's a really good question. I think it's fair to say that not everybody wants to get married or wants to be in a relationship because you want to have kids or because you want to be married. I do think that that's true for a lot of people though, right? And if that is something that you want, if you want to be married specifically to have kids, do you want to risk depriving your children of, of you being there as their grandparent 
of you helping your children raise your grandchildren, of you not being able to see them graduate from high school. Because to me, if you're just choosing to be in an age gap relationship, you are sort of rolling the dice that you're not going to have that relationship with your grandchildren, that you're not going to be able to form those relationships. And that may not be terribly important to you right now. It's going to matter a whole lot, though, especially as you get older. I mean, I, we've been talking about relationships from our perspectives of, of who we would like to date. But my perspective is a little bit different because I've seen how it affects my parents and their relationship and their relationship with their parents. And it takes a heavy toll on you when you don't have your parents to rely on in later adulthood. You still need to have access to those relationships. Many people rely on those relationships. Can I ask, at what point do you think it's too old to have a child? When your body says it is. I was gonna No, no, but like for men specifically, because they can have oh, a child okay. at any age. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know that I've thought out a specific age, but I would say that I think that generally speaking, it seems to be the case that most people typically get married or date within four years. That doesn't mean that everyone does. My parents have a 10 year age gap. They've done pretty well. Some people have a 15 age gap and they do really well. I'm not really talking about a number specifically. I'm more asking like if this relationship is supposed to be so that you can have kids because you want a more traditional family paradigm, right? Is having a major age gap really going to be conducive to you forming that family structure? I think for many families like the potential of losing you as a grandparent is emotionally and often, frankly, financially difficult, right? Um, parents often rely on grandparents for childcare. They rely on them for babysitting. They rely on them for um, advice, for nurturance, for resources as they get older. It's not a non-concern as you are going, getting on in years. Well, to piggyback off of that, my husband has had to swallow the pill that he will probably never have a child of his own unless I kick the bucket sometime soon. That is the reality of the situation. According to my hormone levels, we need help to have a baby. He knew it. I told him, I'm like, hi, I'm 30. I already, I have two kids. Like I have children. He does not. He, does he regret it? I don't Into know. He's family. never going to admit right. it to me unless he's walking out the door, Honestly. right? Like, like he's not going to be like, I regret this now. But like, that was a reality of a situation that yeah, we maybe. had to talk about because I was like, bro, I love you. <laughs> I really did not want him to be with me if he was going to be like, let's wait to have kids because I knew the reality of the situation. What if we can't it's good have communication? Kids? Yeah, and, well, but that's and, a reality that you expected to understand the full gravity of at 21 years old, which I don't think that you really can. I think that's a weird Not amount everybody. of responsibility for future predictions. If I meet somebody and I fall in love with them and I want to spend the rest of my life with them, that's a moment where uh, me and that person, I think we have a pretty strong right to be selfish and uh hmm. experience our love the way we want to have it and it doesn't matter what's going to happen down the road if this is what we think is best hmm. for us and that's what's best for us and if down the road it causes weird problems that like are honestly impossible to predict and it's just maybe more likely i'm gonna go with that and i think i have that right to uh be happy and have a, like a like a romantically hmm. fruitful life that was my husband i think <laughs> I think that also depends on um, like society, like cultural factors as well, right? I, I feel like in America, more, more people are going to answer like, well, I'm going to kind of do it and not necessarily think too much about what my future grandchildren yeah, but, are going to be like. But some because cultures it's more... are wrong. <laughs> well, but like you, if you understand how like, you know, you understand how like basically in another culture, like in a South Asian culture, for example, like people are already getting on me. Like, when am I going to have a child? Because yes. I want to be like, blah, yes. blah, blah. So that, that sort of thing. So I don't know if you guys do this, but I, I certainly do. But like my partner and I made it clear to each other that just because we were in love doesn't mean we were going to be together because we actually had like a resume criteria for our partners because we had a goal for our life as individuals. Like we're both grown. We had goals. We had lives already created so i don't do whirlwind romances anymore so i think that's also maybe like the planning in my brain is like i can't i don't not just because of babies but because of I, my life you got a checklist i think that you made yeah i have a checklist initial? yeah exactly you do, like, an interview? yeah yeah like literally think, a checklist uh, so you I, don't I have think... a checklist work <laughs> Not I think so not I'm just saying, like, even if you fall that. in love, it doesn't really mean anything in terms of cohabitation or commitment or long-term relationship. So, like, every type True. of relationship will require different things. So, I feel like well, we're not – we keep, like, moving around something. that, right? I'm not expecting something, but I also want something at the same time. 
Well, I expect something because I want something and I need something. Yeah, so like I, I either get what I want or I'm like good to go single. And then I'll have like loverships and short term relationships and stuff. But like if we're talking long term commitment, I'm going to move my life around you. <laughs> I got a checklist, you know. People can make changes for you, though, if it's the right person. Uh, if the values are aligned, sure. There's, well, I, Brittany, do you agree? Like there's deal breakers and then there's stuff that's like maybe this could be calm. I think that's really all you're talking about. Because right? I've heard right. you say before, like anything like you have your you are set with like uh what you believe and structures like that like so obviously you want to find the person who shares that because the age doesn't matter if you don't share the same foundation your relationship is probably going to shit That's so the reality i agree with that but i will say for me age is a factor so i i don't date oh yeah no that's yeah. fine yeah 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 for me personally i just find like i cannot get it through my head like i just i've never met a younger person that i thought was interesting i certainly didn't like them when i was young damn and then on top of that like i already like yeah. i've already you know i've dated younger i'm okay dating younger but not like, not, like beyond like five or years really so right? I, yeah. I'd, I'd like to touch on that too uh, i i've and this is not to uh, i don't want to be negative about anybody's uh relationship be negative you can be negative but i think that when I'm we're good talking with about I think being in a relation I've, I've heard many of these conversations we talk about them about in terms of a contract like what we can negotiate right I want this and you want this and we can meet together. And I think that that's a fair and very reasonable way. But I also think that there are many aspects of being with somebody where I'm not there just to get something out of you, right? I'm not there just so that you can give me something. I'm there because I want to give you something, right? I want the real, I don't want just to get something out of you. I want to give, I want this to be something that is for you at the same time, right? Like, so when I'm thinking about dating somebody, I'm not just thinking about what situation is going to be best for me. I'm also thinking about how can I be the best person that this person needs me to be, right? And I think that that's a very reasonable way a lot of people approach their relationships, right? I mean, I've known people, I mean, just for me personally, like Look, part of younger people don't... all need an older mentor. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. Well, it's, right? it's, it's good for me to be 50. Oh, yeah. It's not mentoring somebody 18. if you just stick your dick in them. Wait. If I, had, if I ever had to look at my husband like I was his mentor, I can't say on it, but it's, I'm not really, I can't watching, say on Twitter. You're, as mentor. Like, you're not teaching just, him about like what life is because he didn't know life before you. Well, he knew his life. He knew he okay. wanted to get married. He knew he was very limited. Like, like did he bring up? Yeah. I was condescending now. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I kind of take an issue with how it all works in every situation. I want I want Boots to talk. I want Boots to talk. I want everyone else to listen. Boots, like, which, your time to shine. Go ahead. Of you guys, at 21 years old, knew yeah. life, like understood who you Are were. You gonna go? Okay, but. I, I, I don't know if I believe you, but I, 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 I yeah, you, I, we that. have personal problems. So with that <laughs> aside, then like, um, well, you, well, we don't, have you might have problems. a definition that precludes me from it. Sticks, no, I mean, like you might have, and that's fine. I like that's, that's excellent for you. But I think the vast majority of people at 21 are like either they're getting out of high school and going directly into the military where they don't have the chance to experience like um the trials and tribulations of like everyday life and they don't learn how to interact with people in the correct way and they don't they don't learn about themselves i just school, learn about what the they're supposed to do just be happy i'm, I'm referencing you. um they're referencing the, i'm referencing the... her relationship okay. yeah. or okay. they're okay. they're in like uni just having to follow the same template as they did in high school without ever like um having the chance to grow on their own and i think that's really important but I think that's also assuming that every human is exactly the same. We can talk yeah. about I, I mean, humans the are the really same. Quick. Yes, humans are the same. No, like 8 billion different. people on the planet. Oh, girl, <laughs> different. You might be cookie cutter, but the rest of us got personalities. No, like people are individuals. Like people experience life uniquely. 21 year old people are getting married. Yeah, I mean, it, uniquely when you like, when you're like, differentiating yeah. between people, but we all have similar life experiences enough to be able to talk about them, enough to be able to call what you have is, uh, what is it? Um, you mean like, bipolar, relate, enough, to, enough to relate to each other, right? Yeah, enough to be able to say, this is a classification of people. This is a problem that people have. This is something that we should do for these people. Like that's that's what we do for people. We all have related experiences.
Yeah, but like Christian, like people like my brother got married in his 20s with his wife and they have four kids and they make like 100K and they have a farmhouse and 20 acres. Like it's not the same. They're living a totally different life than me. I needed to have many relationships. He needed to have like one. Like, you know, he needs to have like maybe three max. She needed to have one. He was like she was that was her first real relationship, right? Like not everyone needs the same thing. But I will yeah. say generally like it, depending mm -hmm. on the bubble you're talking about, sure. But like the Christian bubble working different. Okay, but th those two people have grown together. Um, there's a little bit of an age gap, but sure. Like, yeah. Wait, I mean, if it's his first relationship and it's her first relationship, then that seems to be like fine. Take they're, they're learning each other and learning about other people through that relationship. So like, there's nothing wrong with that. Wait, I don't so see we're good. Wrong. So, so my... it's not the age gap. It's like, if there's a 40 year old virgin and like a 21 year old with no experience, they're good to go. Just checking. Yeah. I mean, yeah but I think oh. that's very rare. Interesting. Okay. Then. Okay. 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 I agree with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm more willing to accept that as, but that kind of gets back to Drowsy's point that it's just a proxy anyway, which is. Does, do you guys think it's weird if somebody is married to their high school sweetheart and that's like the only relationship they've ever had? Because no, I think that's uh, to, to be wild. perfectly honest, a, a little. I think I yeah. think they would probably I think they would probably serve both of them a little. A little they get to have they, a little more experience, a little yeah, more fun. If they, you know, yeah, we're out there. I know I personally <laughs> have am uncomfortable with the idea that the person that I'm with, I'm their very first and only relationship. I'm a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. that. I don't mind it. Much of me. I don't think that. I, I, I don't think I, uh, Again, I don't. I don't I, mind it partially because, like, the person, like, in the okay, I've had I had relationships, right? But for the most part, any all any of my what I would call adult relationships was with one person, and I dated that person for thirteen years, and then I married him two years ago. So, like, we very much grew together. Sure. Yeah. I I guess maybe maybe I'm biased because I'm on the side of our relationship is good, but I don't think that's necessarily a red flag. I well, think I don't. I don't think it's a red you... flag either. They, yeah. What, the I mean, question in the was, is it a little weird? And I think yeah. Oh. I think. Uh, um, oh, so though I have a question. I have a hmm. question because this is an interesting spin on things, right? Because so boots, what you're saying is that the experience differential is the thing. Someone who with a very little experience and someone with a lot of experience creates is a problem. Is that mm -hmm. basically it? Yeah. So basically you're you're It's like you're, you're imprinting your experience yeah. onto somebody. You wouldn't want experience. a woman with a high body count going with someone uh who a man who doesn't have a Can you high not body phrase count. it that way? <laughs> I mean, I mean but that's, that's a perfect analogy, 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 you know? No, that's not. Yeah. 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 Body it has nothing to do with how much what? experience in relationships what? you have. It has to do with my husband was a red flag because he was a virgin, and now it doesn't Wait, matter. Wait, no, no, that's, 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 that's not your husband was a red flag because he's a virgin. I said, this is about emotional maturity. And you develop emotional maturity by having emotional connections with other people. So, no, it's not about body count. It's not about how many people you fuck. It's about how many you, people you, you are think able how many to connect people you with and learn from. To your Wait, I, hold on. If, no, if, it I can, if I can oh. agree with the idea that the amount of people that you can have uh, a, a very close relationship with and build with is is a part of your maturity, then I, I don't understand how at least your sexual experiences and those people that you could learn from wouldn't correlate with that. What do you how learn that by not having correlate? a one night stand? Uh, you you can learn whether or not you like one night stands, how you like one night stands. Okay. You can learn about like you actually know, you're, you're gonna learn about <laughs> actually interacting with people to be able to get to that point. Like, what do you mean? There's a lot of people who so literally just to don't do, have the social pick up knowledge. People and how to like make people come. Well, it's no, also, no, 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 wait. Well, no, let's not be that. reductive. Like, let's not be reductive like that. Like, for instance, my roommate, absolute giga chat, he's uh, the he's really good at being able to uh, have people come over, have a really nice time, and be able to potentially sleep with them in one night. And that mm -hmm. it, it's not like he's just like, oh yeah, whatever. No, he's really good at being able to make people feel special and have that moment feel really unique and impactful mm -hmm. to the these people in a short period of time. The idea so that this isn't useful you or is is? Uh, in regards to that, I think he's no, very no, no, immature. just like in general. Like, oh, in general, I think he's very immature. So, yeah. do you think that like, so if he's had like a bunch of experience, if we're translating this, do you think this would be like, um, like, it, would you put this next to like a forty-year-old woman who like dated? Well, no, a, because this breaks like, down I because I, I have almost Isn't... no experience, and I consider myself to be very, very mature. You disagree with that? I know we got problems, but like in contrast, right? I'm somebody that's actually a homeowner, recently sold my house, right? I'm taking care of my Ugh. Alzheimer's-ridden mother and help with my brother, right? Yeah, the idea that like this, that. The, 
people need experiences to be mature. Like this dude, my I'll both of my back. roommates Rock should over. be infinitely more mature than I am. Wait. But the fact that they're of the not matter having is they're ex- not. They, the experiences they're, they're having a about. wait. What kind of experiences are you talking? about? I'm talking about, about experiences where you about. emotionally are able to connect and sort of do. Yeah, like one a, of them's married. One of them's married. Off, yeah. Um, that and that. Do you think that's more experience than me, whose like longest relationship was like a year and a half? I mean, yes, when it comes to like. So why is he less to, mature? Is, than is this a good marriage? So why is he I, less I'm not mature saying, than me? I'm not saying he's less mature. You're, no, no, you're, I just, okay. I, I think my most maturity is buying a house. Oh, I don't. Fight, I'm not fight, going fight. for that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we. You're right. We would. We are defining maturity differently. I. I don't know by what metric I would be less mature. I mean, I don't think being mature discussion. is like being what your parents did when you were younger, or like what the exactly. ideal was. I don't think that's maturity. I think maturity is. Being able to understand that and understand other people and understand yourself, most importantly, can and you understand have, how okay. you can relate to other people. So you then, I, so you think he can't relate you, I, to other people? You think he can't? Like, what do you, what? Well, no, I, so, really? Like, are you, are you trying yeah, to so make so my, so my, so my, no, you my issue. Piece about him being immature? Yeah, she, she, mm-hmm. we, we have we have some long standing. So beef. so where is but, what is the? No, I want to get Julian on this piece. Julie, what do you think yeah, of Boots? Let's throw hands. Liking, let's throw uh, hands. Let me in here. Yeah. <laughs> Julie, what do you think of uh, Boots and saying display. irrelevance immature? What do you think of that? Well, I need to know like what exactly about him do you think is immature? I think that he doesn't understand himself as well as he thinks he does. I think that he understands maturity as a goal to reach. That's something that like. You can do by doing these specific steps, and I don't think that that's the case. Um, and I also don't think that he's able to relate to others in a healthy way yet. I think that he still thinks of relationships as being very transactional, and I think that's a very immature way of looking at relationships. So, so you think older women shouldn't date irrelevant because he he's too immature well, at this time? Time have you actually spent like interacting? <laughs> no, with don't him? take it from me, Wick. Come on. No, no. <laughs> How much time have you actually spent, like, interacting with him and, like, getting to know him and, like, seeing him as a person rather than these debate panels? And also, you can have to make that type of routine. Yeah, no, um, I haven't because I don't live close to him, so we don't hang out. Um, But all I can go based on is, you know, the the eight hours a day that's (laughs) streamed and the conversations that I've heard with people who disagree with him, which is all we can really do for any of the people on this panel. So Dog. that's what we're talking wait, about. We're no, talking about wait, people hold that on. Know and and I, I so, uh, to add on to that, to to be fair, like if even if we were talking about an age gap relationship, all we can go off is is like what what uh, either what they tell us, like what with Flip here, right? Or if we see them in person, all we are seeing is like the very small window into their lives. Um, and we don't yeah. have like half of that. That's what I'm saying. You don't really know this person to make these type of judgments. We're looking yeah, at this yes space. No, like, right? Rella is one of the no, most no, no. mature people I've yeah, ever Rella's met way more in than interacting Darius, in this space, like by a mile. Obviously. Like you yes, are. Yes, I agree. I don't know anybody who I think has ever spoken about their own experience in such a genuine and He's like introspective way as him, and that's one of the reasons but why still feels uh, like a guy I really like and respect. That's what makes fair. him stand out. He's a very mature guy for his That's I not like maturity, that, I but I don't know what we're calling. I, it. Check your PayPal. Twenty dollars right there, Drazi. I appreciate the shout out. I mean, I mean, I think I think that's not to say that he's not mature either, right? It's just that he doesn't just he just doesn't meet like Boots' definition of maturity. But I said earlier, maturity is the Sorry, that we used to I, shame people get, when they don't wait, think like we do. That's it. Wait, hold on. Can I get Boots' this definition one more time? I'm a little confused. Yeah, so it's it's more self-realization, like being uh-huh. able to look at yourself and say, okay, well, these are the things that I want and these are the things that are important to me, not because they were told that they were important to me, but because they are genuinely important you, to me. Isn't Irrelevant one of the most picky people online? Isn't that why he's an insult? It has because... nothing to do with being picky. Wait, oh, no. what? Wait, is it knowing what you want and then not settling? Wait, is it isn't knowing what you want and not settling? Yeah, picky has like a, a neurotic connotation. I'm not saying like, um, sorry, I'm, maybe I'm using the wrong words. I'm trying to understand. Okay, I, can, can we maybe settle on choosy? Is would that be a better? We'll let boots thing? say what you selective. No. Yeah. Ooh, selective. So, so yeah, so, so like it's kind of sexy. But selective. dismissing people because of like these silly traits or. Saying that I, I don't like this, but not that you're doing traits this, like age? Of, 
<laughs> no, not I love you. Age is a very significant trait. <laughs> Wait, but hold on. He's just picky. Does that make him immature for being picky? No. I, I'm. I'm. The reason that oh. I think that he is immature is uh-huh. more specific than that, and it's the okay. way that he generalizes, like women and the dating market and th- this is the way that it has to be and when you interact the with these people it's really just going to be so like this even if you don't like it this is what is necessary I, I don't like I, I don't think that that's <laughs> which was really cool. i don't want to turn this panel into can... just me if you want to have a back and forth about it, it, it means you to be young. i think the disagreement like is I, very I, obvious I um if, if i'm not going to get into it if i can hop in for just a second so i just like to say boots you're lovely Arello, I hope that the bridge, if there, if it is burned, that it will be built. Um, uh, I'll rebuild I will, it myself. But I will say that I do want to back up what Boots is saying a little bit, and I don't claim to have a definition of what it means to Hashtag be. Hashtag Team Boots coming out is, strong. Go ahead, Fairy Queen. <laughs> Well, I don't claim to know precisely what it is to be mature, or what it doesn't mean to be mature. What I will say is I do have experiences like in my early 20s and when I was 19 of dating people who were older, who, frankly, if I had been at the same age as they were, I probably would not have dated those people. I probably would have made very different decisions if I, in, instead of like being 19 and dating a 24 year old, I was 24 year old me dating that same 24 year old man. I don't think I would have made that same decision. Now, what precise experience required me to make that different decision? I don't know. And I don't claim to know specifically what it was. What I'm saying is, I, but I think that that experience is one yeah, that a lot of people can way. relate to. That if you had been in a different position, if you had been at roughly the same age as that person, you might not have chosen to date them. I think that's yeah. all we really but mean when we if say If I may, totally informed by your experience quick, dating them at that age. Queen, that isn't just about age. Like, I can imagine a situation if I'm in a different socioeconomic status where I would make different decisions. I can imagine if I'm living in a different country making different like different yeah, but we're talking situations. about something that necessarily changes. Different, yes, I'm going to make different change. Uh, All different of those decisions. affect your maturity. Uh, I infected your brain. You said changes. Yeah, I know. You infected my brain. <laughs> I'm, it, I got brain worms and you were the source. What's it's the a, a, a CTD. Can I dig them up and use them for bait? I'm trying yes, to think about it. Right. About it. I just but the, the, the whole point is, the whole point is, right? Like we can all imagine situations well, where if we were not honest. in the same position we were, we would make different decisions. But I don't think that like that's necessarily the fault of age as a rule, right? Like I think that's just going to be, yeah. Um, if you're in a different position, it's variables are different. You'll make different decisions. Yeah. Everybody's parents raises them differently. But I guess it's kind of weird to use the age as a jumping off point to say if things were different, then things would have been different. I just don't like, trust an older yeah. person but, who dates yeah, a younger but, person like that. But see, but to me, and just, maybe I'm just so... hopelessly romantic and silly about this. To me, when you're choosing your partner, you're choosing them because despite the circumstances, in spite of what circumstances may come, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, they are your person. You love them. And you don't care. And if they were hit tomorrow by a car and that, God forbid, they were in a wheelchair. Agree. Agree. I don't know what the current right? conversation is. I mean, that to me is like what it means. I think when you're, I think when you're getting into that relationship, there are certain things that can turn you off, and age is definitely one of those things it's that can. Not just, it's, it's not just turning off, right? It's about well, this, there are lots of people who you can feel attracted to. Who no, 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 sorry, I say turning off not as a sexual thing, but turning off as like maybe I shouldn't be in this relationship. They're 15 years older than me. Well, but like I, I think that there, it may be very legitimate that you might find your person who might be older than you. Yes, I what agree, 100. percent But I don't think that's the majority. But what I'm saying, no, I, I don't know that it's necessarily the majority either. And I don't think the data points that up because I think most people wind up in relationships with people roughly within yeah. that four year age gap. 100%. But what I, but I think what I'm saying is that's yeah, why I nice think it matters to me that, that looking retrospectively that I wouldn't have made the same decision, right? Because I want to be with a person who, regardless of whether their hair is white, regardless of whether they become disfigured, regardless of what happens to them. I have chosen to be with them because of who they are, whether we're poor, whether we're rich, and whether they are all the way across the planet. Whether they're 40 or whether they're 20. Like, why not? Well, I mean, in some cases, cases, that might legitimately be the case, but I I think do think is, I don't think it's the same for me. There's science. I'm making such a strong case for age gaps and then pulling back only on age gaps here. That's so weird. Well, I think what I'm saying is the reason why I doubt the age gap is based off of 
just personal experience I'm and based off of, of relationships that I've seen and witnessed, right? Well, so in every other criteria, I'm quiet to that. that. Age Romance gaps is all that matters. As age gaps widen, statistics te- seem to show that they suffer, that relationships suffer more as age gaps widen. Can I ask this a is, question? Uh, I want to point out this uh, chatter. Portland is burning. Says, forget body count. How many WIC TV panels has she been on? Uh, I've been on very, seven. Very this might be my seventh now, WIC. I've been keeping count. Oh, no. Yeah. I think Yo, it was Frank and Barry. Seven's been lucky now. Uh, but... okay. <laughs> the rest oh. of them are Okay. Can I ask a question, uh, Wick? Nick, I just yes, want to say, because I just want to know, do you guys think we put more responsibility on romantic relationships and like being president or less? Because you know, you have to be 35 to be president. Yeah. Like, are we yeah, saying I think, should yeah, be older I think to wrong, be president I, I of the United that, States? Uh, I'm in ages. I think we should remove that, um, that, that restriction. I always I, think you I should be older. Removing... I'm just saying, I wonder I... what responsibility we're really, be really be putting on people of to a bond. Whole country? <laughs> You so should that's... be between the ages of 40 and 60. No no later, no earlier. Okay, ah. I don't know if you want dairy access. You wouldn't think that. But, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I wonder why this conversation way. has become, like, all of our biggest fears instead of what are we seriously dealing Wait, with and why. Can I ask you guys something? Did you guys mm. see the Canadian Parliament um, uh, giving a round of applause to, uh, to someone uh, that's a Nazi? And a 93-year-old Nazi, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, no, but it makes <laughs> yeah, sense, so though, it? That makes sense to be concerned about relationships because relationships are really formative for how you interact with other people. The president doesn't matter in my daily life, but my partner does. Well, the president does matter in your daily life. He runs the country. country. What? No, he doesn't. How old are you? Me? Yes. 25 and retarded. Thank you. Okay. (laughs) I I get the second part. (laughs) Thank you. I just feel like relationships are also not romantic. How old are you, Oh, no. I'm 30. You hit really? the wall. I think I'm. <laughs> oh my god, Nick! I I'm, Jesus! I think okay, I'm I, I pass the wall. I've I've <laughs> ran into it. I'm never There's gonna no forget way. that you said that to me. But okay. <laughs> so wait, hold on. Can I say something? Also, Canadian. So American politics don't matter as much to me. <laughs> oh no. That's fine. I'm Australian, so American politics Ooh, matter oh. not at all to me. Okay. Okay. Are you? I know it's really a Britain I, taking over. Let's go. I, I have a tangential question for for Flip, Boots. Go ahead. Give it a go. Sad Kit Kat, just because I'm trying to understand, because I I, sure. I do live in the U.S. And Boots, I know mm-hmm. you said the president, or, or, or I don't remember which one of you said the president really doesn't affect your life. The president is that a huge me. fucking deal in like lives down here. Like they can really fuck up a day. Is that just how things are in Australia and Canada? No, not totally me. No, but I'm I'm saying, saying that the prime that... minister definitely fucks things up in Canada. Yeah, like they, yeah. they, I mean, they can be very influential. But I'm talking about in your day to day life you're going to have more interactions like with your partner than I'm you are actually, with the that's president. Fair. That's, so fair. that's why that matters fine. fine. With that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that we... makes sense. Yes. Bro, that's how do we... Crazy. Sorry, how do we get from we your relationship with your you... to your relationship with your fucking president? You did Sorry. this. Did I do it? Did no, we... Brittany did it. Brittany did it. I'm like, asking okay, about the responsibility we put on people. Can we talk about if an age gap relationship with your president is okay or not? Oh, no. Panel for next time. I think wait, if you want to really old president, you just want to do that. Okay, okay, okay. We've kind of circled the drain here. Okay, wait, hold on, wait. I have have something really quick. In some ways, in some ways, age is a problem. Age gaps are a problem. When you talk about grooming, predatory things or whatever, we all know it. We all see it. I don't think anyone disagrees. But for a lot of people, such as myself, it was when I put the age aside that I got to actually know this man and realize, holy shit, these 30 year olds that I'm trying to date, this is the actual person that I want. He is what I want. And had I not put that age aside, that would have been the problem. So to me, I feel like it's more of a preference. If your preference is nothing below this, mazel, because that's your preference. But I don't yeah. think we should automatically nothing side- above this. Or I nothing think, above. It's a preference. I'm, I think I the majority of people can either. judge people's preferences. But so, so that's what Based. I'm saying. If you side eye somebody for it, that's your right to side eye for them for it. I have no problem with that either. I'm just saying, like, I think the majority of people don't don't, don't have preferences that's for that. these things for a reason, right? Repeat that. <clears throat> the majority of people don't have preferences. Fuck. Wait. I, I think the majority of people have age preferences. No, they yeah. don't. They don't have a preference for someone that's way older than them for a reason. Mm. I don't 
Perhaps. I mean, don't a majority of people have an age preference for somebody around their but age? Like, but uh, there's, a, there's a three to four year age preference. Mm -hmm. There's not a 10, 15, 20 year age preference for a reason. Yeah. Yeah, for a reason. And on that yeah, note, gang, just... on that note, I am hungry. I'm tired. <laughs> I appreciate Some ramen. He's making ramen. He's going to have I ramen on the stove. Ramen. I'm going to have pizza, I think. I'm going to have a stuffed crust. Let's go. Pizza. Yes. Gonna, what, kind stuff... what kind of pizza? What kind of pizza? <laughs> Stuff has preps already pizza. I don't know what to no. tell you. Hawaiian's way better. You should feel bad about yourself. Well, kick tell her. You, what, you make me a pizza and I will eat that pizza. But until okay, you I'm me popping pizza, up I'm with Hawaiian. What are you going to do? Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Well, you know I'm what? I'm going to eat the pizza. Yeah. But for now, but for now, gang, if you've enjoyed this content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, consider subbing to the channel, consider throwing bits, consider super chatting. I appreciate you all. We are going to raid out tomorrow. We're going to have Smeth on. And Smath thinks that Pixie is a predator. Let's what? Go. Pixie <laughs> thinks that Pixie. I said let's go, but I don't has, agree. As Pixie, even though... don't be mad at me. I don't agree. Wait, like <laughs> Pixie the streamer? Yeah, yeah. Pixie the streamer. What? Pixie made a Because she posted on her Twitter about uh, wanting a specific yeah. type of man, and, and so was trying Seth to like get her followers to yeah. yeah. People can have, have big problems with that. So we're gonna talk because I have big problems with Smath. On this take, oh, and so it'll be I'm gonna throw hands. I'm, coming, I'm, I'm coming watching. I'm watching. Yeah, watching. it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Right. So that's for tomorrow. Excited. Wednesday, where it's the I'm here uh, for Pixie. Wednesday's Republican uh, primary presidential debates. We're gonna be covering that again. Um, and then Thursday, we're gonna have short fat otaku Dev is going to be debating Carl Max on free speech, and that's gonna be fun. So, and then Friday, we got 6 p.m. Eastern. We got Allison coming on to tell us about why we are failing the mentally ill. Uh -oh. um, and that'll be fun uh -oh. as well. Uh, uh -oh. So for now, though, we're going to raid out. Um, are any of you on here going to keep streaming after this? I'm on Twitch. Yep, I'm chilling. Okay, yeah. then I guess I'm we're still super hungry. Yeah. Wait, wait, Let's wait go. can you, can you, you said tomorrow. At what time are you having that conversation? 6 p.m. Eastern. If you want to join us, you're more than welcome. I, I just might. <laughs> I just might. I might pop in. No, it's, uh, it's, Wait, Wick, it's that's so fucked. You didn't even ask Smith first. Brittany, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge mean, fan. Sorry. Who said that? <laughs> I'm honored. <laughs> oh, by the way, I agree with Brittany smell test. If you smell bad. True. I care more about that. My armpits than stink damage. right True. now. My armpits fucking stink. Yeah, but if it's a good thing. Thanks for having me. Okay, okay, all okay. Right. I love you Thanks, all. We're guys. writing out. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bro. Okay, can you guys hear me? Am I still whispering or is it just like when I talk over them, it sounds like I'm whispering? Ooh, bros. Okay, I really wanted to have that conversation like differently, but also I understand it is what it is. Um, fuck. That is not... How I exactly imagined the conversation. I mean, it's hard, like, with these kinds of conversations. But, man, that was rough. I God, I need to put on my own panels. I need, I already know, like, who I'd want to talk to about this. There's so much to set, be said about age gap relationships. Like, I have so much experience with people around me in age gap relationships. And the only ones that I've seen truly be in what I view as successful, meaning, like, long-term commitment growing old with each other slash they're both on the same page this is really important one of the issues I have with a lot of the age gap relationships that I've talked to is like they are not on the same page there is an illusion they're on the same page but to be honest that's not much different than most of the couples that I talk to but I find that the anecdotally the age gap relationships that I do know of it's really hard to get the people on the same page and a lot of that is just because like they're afraid of disappointing the person or they're afraid of not being what they need or there's a lot of fear and I think a big part of it could be the age gap maybe I don't know I don't want to like push that on people I think about my cousin who has like one of my favorite relationships and she's in an age gap relationship about 10 years and it was hard it was hard because she was in her 20s and he was in his 30s and it was difficult, okay? And there were moments. Now that she's 40 and he's 50, the relationship is much better. But that's the thing is they had like five kids together. They like really struggled together in a good way. Like really saw like hell and back together. They were like an amazing team together. But without a doubt, their age gap relationship was an incredible part, like difficult part of their relationship. It came up a lot in their problems. And so the thing is, is like that's okay. All relationships are going to have like their challenges, 
But I think what's important is like why they were in it in the first place, right? Now, in Assyrian culture, like an age gap isn't that abnormal. But I know a lot of the age gaps were also kind of like either arranged or not what they wanted. I mean, I can't tell you how many 16-year-old aunties got married to 27-year-old uncles, right? And I don't blame them because like it was the culture. But also like, what are we doing? doing here just because they were together you know forever just because they made it work you're talking about people in survival situations who like did the best with what they had but it wasn't really like what they preferred so when you have like the choice and you can have any relationship you want and you choose an age gap relationship I want to know why you're choosing it if you're 19 and you're with a 50 year old I want to know why you're choosing that because again regardless of gender regardless of gender you're 19. You're 19. Why are you choosing that? You know what I mean? So again, it's like, not that like, not to say like, once you get married, your life is over. That's not what I'm saying, right? For some people, when they get married, their life begins and marriage, I'm using, please like, fuck. Jesus Christ, like, I believe in bubbles. So, like, I'm not saying my way is the highway, y'all, okay? I'm not saying my way is the highway. I'm not saying marriage as in, like, you have to get married. I don't care if you get married. I'm just saying be together forever. But that's the thing. If you're doing short-term relationships, like, age gap just doesn't matter. Because you're not – age gap can't, re, like, can't matter in a temporary relationship because you're only in it for the moment. So, of course, in the moment, a 19-year-old and an 80-year-old could have a – boss ass relationship bro that could be fire because it's temporary but if you're doing long-term commitment what are we talking about like again I feel like the problem I feel like the problem we're having is like when people say like once I stopped thinking about age it got better how far do you take that once I stopped thinking about age and I realized I just love the person like who cares if they were 15 it's like oh I care oh I care me I care but that, that's not what they mean what they mean to say is once I saw the consciousness for who they were and our lives aligned, we could be together. But your life has to align. And sometimes it does. Like that lady who has the 21-year-old from the military, great. They're an adult, fine. I might be like, oh, that's like a huge age gap. But like people make it work all the time, fine. I'm, 10 years is like pretty reasonable to me. I feel like 10 years you can make it work. But the younger person, I still want them they have to be a very specific personality for this to work, like a very specific personality. And I think the older people often don't have the good judgment to be aware that the younger person probably won't be with them when they get older. This is what I mean. You could get an age gap relationship where the younger person, they're the Marian type. They're old souls. They're ready to settle down. They're like Relly. Find the right girl, settle down. Not everyone is like that. Actually, that's pretty, that's pretty uncommon. Uh, depending on the bubble, depending on the bubble, they're you know, and so the the dilemma you have though is that it's not that it can't happen. I'm all about the like niche girl, get it, get it. But make sure you're on the same page and make sure you guys can make the right judgment to allow this person to change their mind. But again, if you're getting divorced because you guys grow apart, you're not playing the same game I'm playing. So again, if you're in the kind of relationship where you're like, oh yeah, if we grow apart, we'll just get divorced. Cool. That's what I call a temporary relationship. Do you guys understand? If you're together because you're young and you're like, well, we'll get divorced if we grow apart. That means you're in a temporary relationship. And that's what confuses me. I'm not in a temporary relationship. I mean, technically, we're all in temporary relationships. We're all going to die. But I'm not in a temporary relationship. So outside of abuse... It is a permanent relationship. And I think I hear some some red pillar out there. Some red pillar out there is like, oh, well, if you're willing to get um, a divorce because of abuse, like it's not permanent. Sure. By your definition and your bubble, I'll concede. My relationship is temporary if you count up divorcing because of abuse. But outside of abuse, my relationship is permanent. And it's different, so you have to make different decisions when you're in those kinds of relationships. It's not that the age gap is necessarily the problem. It's that it shows a little bit of proof in the pudding for the dynamic of the relationship when there is such an age gap. I don't think it's that abnormal to say that, yeah, if you're in a unique relationship, make sure you're the exception. 
because you're probably just the rule. I don't think I'm so special that I'm not going to be the rule, right? I think you should marry someone between five and 10 years to have a most like the statistical probability of success if you're under the age of 30 and between 30. But if you're over the age of 30, like even I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not really attracted to 40 year olds. I just feel like they're in a completely different place in life. And if they're not like we're definitely not compatible because by the time I'm 40, I need them. That's the problem. Uh, OK, maybe that's the way to say it, too. Developmentally, we I don't want to argue this with any of you. If you're under 25, you're in a different place. If you're under 30, you're in a different place with your body, your mind. They say men in America don't even feel like men until 35. How many men are going to have midlife crises in their 40s and 50s and have a divorce and have an affair and then tell me like, I'm mature enough to make a decision? If you're going to have a midlife crisis in 40 at 50, what are we talking about here? Right? Like you don't even know yourself. You should not be having midlife crises if you know yourself, right? That comes from not knowing yourself. That's the, the, that's my belief personally. I feel like the people in my life that have like spent time being introspective that know themselves, they never had a midlife crisis. Why do you have a midlife crisis about your like, well, what am I doing with my life? I just think there's so many things to talk about here that it's not black and white and the nuance is very fine, but it's possible. Anything is possible in life, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to say, what are this, what's the statistical probability? Eh, that's probably the wrong way to say it. What are the chances you are the exception to all the rules? And if, if you are that thing, then awesome, I support you. But if you're not, how do you figure that out, right? That's the question I want to ask people because I do think people double down and they go, I'm in this unique situation. No one's ever been in this situation and I'm the only one in this situation. And they don't realize like, yeah, you and like a thousand other people. Like how many of my relationships, I'll, I'll go anecdotal, I'll go personal. I've had so many relationships. I have oh, so many of my relationships I've been in. You think you're the exception, but you're not until you are. And then it's like, well, what's the exception, right? Like what's the part that the, is the exception? And I think that's the part that's important to recognize. Um, okay, let me scroll up and see your comments because I am curious. All the voices were just much louder than yours. Yeah. Facts, you really just got to start organizing your own panel so we can get some high quality combos and show the internet what they're missing. Yeah, I think it's, God, I just got to figure out people's time schedules. Ugh, most of the time they aren't on the same page, especially the ones who, who uh, one person wants a kid, the other person usually doesn't, um, or the one person usually doesn't. Like um, we watched Shan, Shannon, Bo Shannon Boudreau, Boudram, and um, I can't remember his name right now he's six years younger and they talked about that how there is like that age gap feeling it's interesting it is interesting like I won't lie there is there is something to even a little bit of an age gap can make a difference but it's a matter of how does this impact the relationship on one hand and then on the other hand is there any chance I could be in any way making this younger person's life worse than it needs to be as the older mature person as the older, mature person, am I in any way adding harm to this young person's life that's looking to me to help them have some grounding in their life? Is there any way that they're looking at me that says like, hey, you know what you're doing, right? And you might not know what you're doing. Because that's my, my fear, right? Is that there is like this mistake I see in a lot of age gap relationships where the older person is clueless to the suffering of the younger person or clueless to how the younger person feels intimidated or clueless to how the old, the younger person is like dying for them to get their shit together and they won't get their shit together. So it's like, even if you have a mature person, maturity, like they can um, pay their bills and they've got their life going on and everything's great. They might emotionally be disconnected or they might not be able to offer the safe space they think they're offering to the younger person to say like, hey, I'm actually like unhappy. And then what does that mean, right? So when I see these age gap relationships that are meant to be permanent, not temporary, I do have concerns over if the people in them have the tools. Because again, one of the reasons I avoid younger people is because I, I feel like I know better. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like I know better. Like I'm 34. If I dated a 24 year old, could you all imagine if I was like, hey, guys, my husband's 24. He's not 24. Do not clip this. But could you imagine? Like, that would be, that's 10 years. That's fair. I think that's a reasonable age gap. But at the same time, like, 
I couldn't do it. Like I, Brittany, just am not built to be with somebody who's under 25, like even 25. My sister's 28 and I'm always like, why are you dating 25 year olds? I couldn't even imagine. But some people out here are having really amazing relationships with 25 year olds at 28, right? My sister included, she dates great people between that age. I I forget her age bracket, but she likes them. She feels like she's bonding and I think that's beautiful. But you have to know yourself. So it's not, I'm not saying it always has to be a certain age gap. I'm saying you have to know what works for you and the person you're with. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm really not trying to judge your relationships. I see so many successful, I can think of one right now. They have the cutest relationship. I think it's like 28 and 25, 20, something like that. Really great relationship. I'm like, oh yeah, see that works. That's perfect. That's a reasonable age gap. They're both in their 20s. They're both mid 20s. They're both like on the same page. Great relationship, right? Perfect. But when you're 22 and she's 60, it's like, uh, okay. Like, why is 90 Day Fiance always a weird age gap relationship? They make me so uncomfortable. Why is 90 Day Fiance always older women with younger guys? What? Why do that? Why? Are all these women just living out their sex fantasies with these boys? And are these men just trying to get them for their passports? Like, what is going on with 90 Day Fiance? 90 Day Fiance is always the weirdest age gap. It's just weird. I'm not saying age gap relationships are always weird. At some point, they're just very normal, very comp, very healthy. I'm saying there's something, there's something. How about a 19-year-old and a 29-year-old? Same thing. It's like, I think it's weird when high schoolers date college people because I'm like, we're not even in the same, the same bubble. What are we doing, right? And then if you talk about 19 and 29, like, bro, I'm just starting college. You should be buying a house or you should be like working on your Roth IRA or like, We're not even in the same place. So it could work depending on the 19-year-olds and depending on the 29-year-olds. But I would just like, again, I feel like after 30, doesn't matter the age gap for the most part. Like, who cares? You're like, you're both old. Let's go. I'm old. You're old. Let's go. But before that, I think you should consider the younger person and be thoughtful of them and how much they might want to change. And again, are you offering them permanent or temporary relationships? It, It so depends, right? Cam Cam says, my sister is in an age gap relationship 20 years. They are not on the same page at all. Oh, no. That's a long time. I feel like this conversation edges way over live and let live. Maybe. I think it only works out well if the person with more power recognizes that they have it and they can use it responsibly. Um, responsibly. Mm. Reminds me of what the one person on the panel that went, quote, if you're if you're the older person, the relationship is easy, then you're doing it wrong. Speaks to them being clueless or ignoring the younger person's struggle. Yeah, I think that's what's like interesting, right? It's, so, it's, it can, I, look, when I, I've been in so many age gap relationships, guys. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I've seen them all the time. I've seen them. And I'm not saying they're always the same where I am. The dysfunction was very high in the bubbles I was in. So that's the other thing is like, if we've lowered down dysfunction, we'll have a better success, you know? But if we haven't lowered down dysfunction, I'm concerned. And I think it's okay to be concerned. I don't want people to hear me and be like, oh my gosh, Brittany thinks like my relationship's abusive. Like I didn't say that girl. Like I felt like Elder Ozzy's like so sweet, but I felt like he kept putting me in a box that I wasn't in. Like I don't have a problem with age gap relationships. I have a problem with thinking that it shouldn't be questioned. I have a problem with being unorthodox and not thinking it's a little strange. You know, I think all relationships are strange to some extent. You're asking a complete stranger to like build a life with you. I think it's okay to ask, you should be asking yourself, hey, am I doing anything wrong here? And not say yes, just because you're horny. And look, no offense to El Durazi, but he's not looking for lifelong commitment in that way. Like he has his anchor partner, his wife, which is great. But his first wife, who was 17 years a gap, He comes from the belief, and I think this is a fine belief, that all relationships are a success because you had that moment together. I think that's awesome. That's a really good way to look at things. I can't look at things that way because my goal is to grow old with someone. If my goal is to grow old with somebody and and live a life with somebody and build a life with somebody or to stay single, then you then I can't say, oh yeah, like check this off. I have my relationship. Like I check. Do you get what I'm saying? Not that you should live a life where you check things off, but if I'm single. There's a reason why single Britney is fine having lovers because there's nothing wrong with temporary relationships. There's a reason why permanent Britney, married Britney, wants a permanent relationship. They're two different people. They have two different needs. Single Britney, I'm fine having sex, bros. That's not the problem. 
temporary relationships, I'm about it, right? But married Britney wants something permanent. They're two different people. Some people aren't like that. Some people are just good with one relationship after another relationship after another relationship. And that's totally fine. But I, I want them to know that they're in a specific category. And that's totally, totally fine. But just like the teacher I always tell you guys about, the one I knew growing up, who like I was 19 and he was 28 and like we had a thing but then we didn't have a thing and I was gonna have sex with him but then I didn't because I got the vibe that he was missed like he was kind of icky but I didn't know why only to find out later I have a distinct memory I thought about it the other day he's the one who said like oh I wouldn't sleep with my student you know ever but like you definitely know he's gonna sleep with her after I brought my sister once when she was like a teenager to hang out with my group of friends I don't know why we thought this was a good idea we were drinking and having fun. He flirted with her. And I remember us thinking like, oh, that's kind of funny. And then after we were like, hey, that was kind of weird, right? And years later, my sister and I are always like, I can't believe we didn't know this was like a bigger red flag that he was flirting with her when he was nearly 30 and she was like 16, 17. 16? Why didn't we know better? And now looking back, we're like, what the fuck? And now, especially since like we know teachers in the family, it's like, that would be outrageous. And now we know he's a teacher. We're like, oh my God. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think <clears throat> it's easy to romanticize relationships and say like, oh, they're in love. And like, yes, there's an age gap, but they're in love. It's like, what is love, man? What is love? Because if it's a feeling, then okay, so? And if it's a choice, why are you choosing to love a 16-year-old? Why are you choosing to love somebody who's at the beginning stages of their life. It could be a healthy answer, but then there should be a healthy answer, right? Even when I dated 29 years old at 21, looking back, I'm like, bro, I was traumatized and sent to his growth and I was a hot mess. Bro, I literally, all the older people I dated, I because I was looking for someone older who knew, who had their shit together. And yeah, compared to my hot mess, they did until I surpassed them. And then I'm like, oh, are you not going to grow up? And no, because I still wanted to date young and be young and party young. I was like, okay. When I was 26 with a 52-year-old, I didn't take the relationship seriously. It definitely wasn't for life type thing. That changed more after I found out he had 20 years, a 20-year affair, two-year marriage, two years into the marriage. Holy fuck. Jeez. What is love? She wanted marriage. He wanted a poly relationship with his ex. Bummer. A 52-year-old is looking for a fun time before they die. They're 52. Okay, not everybody's dying at 52, sir. 52 can be prime age for George Clooney. But again, I'm glad George ended up with somebody a little bit more established. Ugh. I lost trust completely, bro. Two years into your marriage. Like, why? What the fuck? That's crazy. People just be out here cheating, bro. I think you have a higher standard for successful relationships than most people. At least most people on Twitch people, I guess. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I really don't like to look at myself like I just have high standards. It's like I, I just think that I want to be treated nicely and with kindness. Brittany, serious question. If your ex told you he was on Dr. Phil with his ex but asked you never to look it up, would you keep the promise even years later? Ooh. <sighs> That would be so unlike him. That would be so unlike him. We don't work that way. We usually, that would be so out of character for him. <sighs> that would just be so out of character for him. You know what I mean? Like, like, it's not the kind of person that he is. Like, he wouldn't, I don't think he would ask me to do that because he would want me to see everything. Oh, that's so out of character for him. Hmm. I, I couldn't. Nope. I'd have to know. He'd have to tell me. Sorry. That's girl. But that's what we negotiate in this relationship. No secrets. We tell each other everything all in due time. Right. Like there are definitely some things we still have to like sit down and tell each other the whole story about like um, like trauma and stuff like that in our past, especially me. But he knows like the gist of it. You know what I mean? He knows like the story. He just I haven't sat down to have a therapy session about every detail and so there's you know there's moments like that that are still coming but like we tell each other everything 
We're like, hey, this is coming, girl. We're going to talk about it. So if he was on Dr. Phil and he's like, I don't want you to look it up until I'm ready to show you, I would say, okay. When he's ready to show me, but he has to show me eventually. Within five years. <laughs> I can't wait. He has to show me within five years. Damn, that'd be crazy, though. I'd be stoked if he was on Dr. Phil. 90 Day Fiance is intentionally dysfunctional, I think. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Does anyone know about Madonna's... Look, Madonna, Cher, all these people dating young guys. Guys, okay? They're not going to grow old with these men. Please slow down. They're just for fun. Just for fun's fine. Have fun. You know? I get annoyed when age gap relationships are de default labeled as grooming. Yeah, I don't think they're automatically grooming because I actually have a lot of sympathy and empathy that the older person might be emotionally stunted, which is kind of insulting. But I genuinely think like a lot of these celebrities in Hollywood, I don't know how many cases have to come out about the dysfunction, but they're obviously extremely stunted people. They have major maturity problems. I don't know why we don't know this. So it's not that, but I do think there's a problem. Like not that it's grooming, but I think there's like a problem. And also, I don't know about you, but I genuinely mean this in the nicest way. I would just think it would be so weird if I was like his mom's age or he was my dad's age. Like I just, I can't. I'm, nope, I'm not those people. Those people exist. I'm not those people. My parent, like I'm not those people. Okay. Like, I'm not going to bring someone home who's my fucking dad's age. Like, I'm just not doing it. It's just, I don't even, well, first, I'm not attracted to that age group. I mean, I'm attracted physically to, you know, George Clooney. But I wouldn't want to bring George Clooney home because, again, it's kind of embarrassing. Like, I don't mean this literally. This is so mean. It just, I would be kind of embarrassed if a George Clooney was attracted to me. I'd be like, because that's, to me, that just says something about, why are you attracted to me, bro? You know, I just, I don't, I don't think that's a good sign. It just feels like there's something, there's something about it that makes me feel like cringe. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just think it just means there's something wrong, like stunted. Again, I'm not saying for everybody, for everyone, all time. You know what I mean? I don't know. It would just be weird. Like I would lose attraction to George if he found me attractive. I'm like, bro, I'm like 34. I'm chilling, bro. What are you doing? I say bro, bro. I'm like, my this is my life, bro. What are you doing? Like, no. No. But then that's just me. Like, I just, I don't know. I get, because mm. I am 34, but I'm the kind of 34 that just also doesn't match with George Clooney. It makes no sense. It's so weird for my mom when my Nana dates people her age. Damn, Nana. Damn, Nana. Nana getting Nana getting it going, girl. Damn, Nana. That's crazy. I feel like you're excluding age gap relationship as the facet that guarantees toxicity when normal age relationships experience massive toxicity as well. Like that girl you had in the debate with a few weeks. Yeah, but the the da the dilemma I have is like, again, the why. So when young people are dysfunctional together, it's because they're like too immature to handle the relationship. When old people are dysfunctional together, it's like because they haven't dealt with their childhood trauma. Why is an older person with a younger person? If you're saying it's dysfunctional, right? Like I'm saying there's more, like there's just a case, like there's just as much of a case. I'm uncomfortable with all of them, by the way. I think they should all break up, right? But I'm not saying every age, age gap relationship should break up. I'm just saying like, I don't think it's weird to be like, hey, is this dysfunctional? And the same way that I would with a two people of the same age talking to each other in a certain way, right? Like, I again for me I just feel like dysfunction is when you're not on the same page you're not functioning the same way and you're not actually you're not both symbiotically giving to each other and I just think with an age gap relationship I'm not sure how many times in the course of the relationship there's more symbiotic relationship happening versus not happening right like where's the symbiosis uh, how often is the symbiosis versus not and again, it's always up to you, the individuals. You guys can do anything you want. You are so powerful and so unique. You can make that relationship with an 85-year-old guy work or an 85-year-old woman work. You can do anything. I believe in you. I just don't know why you would want to. But you can. 
That's what I'm saying. I, Brittany, I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm just saying, as long as you're on the same page, right? I just don't know how you got on the same page with an 85-year-old. Unless your requirements are so little, unless you are, like, again, maybe my standards and requirements are so specific that there's no way, like, certain people could meet them that I'm like, yeah, no. Like, you're not going to meet them. I already, well, it's not fair. I literally find people in their 40s and, like, in their, like, mid to late, like, early 20s, like, very not attractive. Again, five, five years is my favorite. So five years younger, five years older, that's my favorite age gap. And I've dated all kinds of age gaps. But I found that this one, I'm always attracted. I never think less of them. I never have thoughts of like, why aren't you where you're supposed to be? Because they're almost exactly where I am at all times. So we're growing together. So I'm not like, I'm no, I don't, I, I need a relationship where I'm growing with my partner. I need that kind of relationship personally. So again, not judging you. I'm letting you know what category of person I'm in. I can't grow together with an 85 year old. I can't grow together with a 44 year old. I'm not going to grow together with a 21 year old. That's never going to happen. But I know for some people it will. And I think that's beautiful. And you should do that. Right? Bubbles. Nothing matters. We're all going to die. Do you? Okay. <clears throat> To be fair, to take away their youth because you wanted to have a good time with the younger person. Oh, is it fair? Sorry, is it fair to take away their youth because you want to be with a younger person? Well, that's the question, right? I just think, I think it, it reflect. that's the problem is like, I do think it, I don't know. I just, again, everyone has a different goal for their life. So if you want to be a jackass crew, we're like, you're still running with the bulls in your 50s. Great. Love that. I love a big kids. They're so immature, but it's so mature and I love it and I think it's great. But also I wouldn't want to marry it. I don't want to marry the person who still wants to do jackass pranks when I'm 50. But some people do. And I think you should find the people you vibe with. And then admit that you vibe the same because you have the same like kiddish humor or the same old person humor or the same, you know what I mean? Same partner I had didn't work out because of our age gaps. We had the same values, same emotional processing style, great boundaries, but couldn't see eye to eye to offer what we both needed. Mm. Uh. <laughs> so Brittany Simon, extreme age gaps bad because cringe. True. My 25-year-old sister is dating a 50-year-old man who wants who has friends with our ex stepdad. It's weird. Ew, 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 ew. See? No. Eh. Colleen says my 25 year old sister is dating a 50 year old, a 50 year old who has, who was friends with our ex stepdad. It's so weird. He knew her as a teenager. No. Mama Simon is putting her fucking foot down. No. If you knew them as teenagers, no. No. Canceled canceled no canceled no <sighs> we need a scare 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 skincare routine Brittany thank you I'm not wearing any foundation I'm just wearing eye makeup thank you um honestly is my skin okay today it's just a camera it's not showing you all the scars girl but you know honestly not too bad um I'm all about exfoliate water just water. I don't, you know, I've been using this one soap though a little bit. I try not to use soap on my face. I think it makes me break out personally, but I try to use it on my washcloth and cleanse and washcloth and cleanse. Um, but yeah, Ugh. I feel the same way about, I feel the same way as a young adult. I think like, I think older people are attractive, but I'm going to look down on you if you're 30 and you want to be with me as an 18-year-old, right? It's like, I know you're attractive, but also, like, why do you want to be with me? What's going on? But then people are like, oh, they're so mature for their age. Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they? And the worst is when you have someone who's been parentified their whole life. So they have to, because of trauma, become more mature, quote unquote. But every study shows like there's, it's going to fall. 
a camel is going to hit this fucking straw and they're going to explode because they never want to be parentified in the first place. That's what Smith was getting to is like so much of parentification causes younger people to look like they're more mature. So you hear your whole life, you're so mature for a 13 year old. You're so mature for a 15 year old. You're so mature for a 20 year old. You're so mature for a 25 year old. They're not. They're one thing away from breaking down and wishing they could have been a child. And then they have to rebuild their whole fucking life over again and all their mental health growth. It's a big problem I've seen where so many women are parentified and these men who are looking for replacement mothers or are looking to be mommified or looking for quote unquote mature partners so they can be young and old at the same time end up with these women who just need therapy. I'm biased. That's my anecdotal experience and the bubbles I'm in. I'm happy to be proven wrong. Everyone can be the exception. I love being the exception. I believe you all can be the exception. I believe you all could be the exception. I want you healthy, happy, and kind. So as long as it doesn't involve children, that's not, I don't want to hear it. I don't want, but then here we are, Andrew Tate, Russell Brand, having sex with 16 year olds. It's legal. It's legal. My country is legal. I hate both of them. I hate everybody. I'm exhausted. Don't fuck teenagers. Huh? Don't fuck teenagers. How about that? Is that so hard? Apparently, apparently for all these men out here, crazy. And this woman who called into this panel. (sighs) Weird. But they're so impressionable. I mean, mature. I just, you know, I feel like what happens in some of these relationships, some asterisk, some, is the younger person will be parentified. So then they'll grow up thinking they're mature. And then they end up being with somebody who's older and their life's together, but they're actually still pretty immature, but mature. And then they'll think of the older person as someone who's got their life together. And the older person will think, wow, a young person who's hot picked me and look they're so mature for their age and they picked me old people also are pick me's you think these older men and women aren't feeling also like oh my god a young hot person thinks I'm attractive they also fall into their own dysfunction of like young people still think I'm pretty young people still think I'm hot young people think I'm the man like bro poor Brittany always having to constantly caveat bro I'm always getting clipped I swear to God, everyone always clipping me. If you have to say, but it was legal, you fucked up. That's what I think. I'm just saying. I'm just saying it's legal. And I'm like, mm. sussy bucka. But I'm also biased because I grew up in a culture, like, again, the age gap relationships growing up were either part of culture enforced, were survival of the fittest, were things we suffered and grew together, but like this wouldn't have been our first choice. And again, I grew up with parents who are like six months apart, but my parents like always encourage us to date people around our age. So to be fair, I'm biased because my dad, my whole life always treated young people like young people. My dad never sexually objectified girls growing up or boys or anybody. Oh, he's straight. But like, I never saw him even to this day. He's like, cover yourself up, Betty. He's like, please, like, this is like, you know, he takes care of people. He never, he never looks at a 20 year old and gives lust in his eyes. Never my dad. I thought, I swear my dad's Demi, though he refuses to acknowledge it. But like my dad, I swear, just never, never looks at young people. He just like doesn't, he's such a nerd. He just like, I don't know. He thinks about building stuff. But it's like, again, I don't, I don't want to say this is the way you have to be. But I will say I respect my father so much more because my dad's not a creeper and he doesn't hit on people my age. I do. I respect my dad more for not being attracted to young women. I don't know. I He feels safer. He feels safe. It makes me feel safe when I'm around people who don't sexualize people who are so much younger than them. It just does. It just makes me feel like I can trust them with my kids. It makes me feel like I can trust them with my teenagers. Because look, when I'm around people who play the game of like, well, she was 18, they hit on my fucking teenage sister. It's like, no. They might fuck their students after they graduate. It's like, bro. I'm so glad you recognize that this young person picked me because it recognizes two things. I'm sorry. Responsibility is shared between the two parties. And secondly, it recognizes that older people um, have their own dilemma for sure. For sure. 
Absolutely. I think men are more socially influenced into being overly sexual than we realize. I mean, possibly, right? There's a lot goes into that. I want to be open to like people's relationships. But every time I ask these people for details on their relationships, it just feels like they're shady. It feels like they're not being honest. They're not telling me the things. And again, when you say like, it's just, again, if it was illegal to date them six months ago, they're too young. I'm sorry. Let them have a couple years into adulthood, bro. My God, my God, you know, just like, bro, okay. It just feels so weird. Like, you know, you're going through a moment. You're going to make this decision. You're not going to be talked out of it. You do you. You do you. Like, I hope it's as profound as you think it's going to be. But man, you just described my brother-in-law's relationship perfectly. (laughs) You're welcome. Yeah, my mom always tells me to date guys around my age. Yeah, there's just something. I don't know. My dad's finally dating someone his age and everyone's like proud of him. Like it's an achievement (laughs) to not exclusively date young, immature women. There is an episode of Sex in the City that's really interesting. The guy's addicted to dating models. Have any of you guys seen this episode of Sex in the City? He's addicted to dating models and he brings them around his friends and the friends are like in a different mature age group these young models are like 21 they're stupid they're only interested in looks they barely eat they're not interested in you know politics or philosophy or anything and his friends are like please date somebody else please date a normal person please stop dating models he finally dates a normal person okay i think it's is it miranda or charlotte or who is it in the story um who is it in the story that he ends up going on a date with? And she's like the normal girl he picks. He's like the, she's like the normal one he brings to the dinner party. It's not Carrie. Who is it? Man, I can't remember now. But either way, he can't do it. He's like addicted to the young because he wants the validation. So many men I know will literally be like, oh yeah, I'm just like, I'm into these women because they're so smart and mature for their age. But then... If you notice the way they talk about the women, it's always about how young they look and how they picked them and how, ooh, all these guys were jealous because, like, I'm with all these hot girls and these guys aren't. And, like, it's very much – it's, like, you know, like, people don't hear themselves when they tell stories. They really don't hear themselves when they talk about the people they love. Oh, I love my partner. She's got a tight pussy. It's, like, do you hear yourselves? Just say 18-year-old models. Thank you, Tom Fullery. Very insightful. Very insightful. Very insightful. I don't think all age gap relationships are malicious. I think they're often delusional. Like, where do you think this is going to go? Ooh, same. I don't think they're always malicious. But I do think like most relationships, people are delusional about where it's going. I just do. And again, if I talk to everyone involved in separate rooms, like an interrogation, I say, where do you think this is going? And you guys don't have the same answer. Yes, Bryson says, do you remember when friends, when Ross dates his college student? Yes, that was literally on the panel. They brought it up. Yes. And then he, like, they're doing the water fight or whatever in the apartment. Someone brought that up on the panel. Yeah. Or when Men- or Monica dated Tom Selleck. I love Tom Selleck. He's so hot. But literally, it's like, wh- it's weird. And you know what's so funny? when Because Tom Selleck's uh, Monica's parents' friend. And his her mom was like, did you hear it? He's dating a hussy from the city. And it's like literally Monica. But that's the thing. Things change. People have different goals. You can't offer people the same thing. So for a temporary relationship, I'm all about age gap relationships. Yeah, do it. Have fun. Love each other. Respect each other. Have dignity. Have a good relationship. Do that. But don't lie or deceive or blindside or become delusional about what we're doing here. Not because... It won't ever work with an age gap relationship, right? If you're over 30, you can make a lot of things work. But if you're dealing with a 19-year-old, 21-year-old, a 25-year-old, and you're like literally 10, 20, 30 years older than them, like consider them. Just consider their feelings. Consider how it looks when they're like walking around with you. Consider the fact that you don't have a lot in common. Consider the fact that you're doing different things with your life. Consider, like just consider them. Consider them enough to let them the fuck go. And if they really are on the same page and you really love each other, then tell everybody and be proud of it and tell me you're on the same page. Okay? Tell me you're on the same page. Let's go. I want to see you on one of these Jubilee channels where it's like, we have an age gap relationship. And then I'm going to be like, okay, let's go. 
Have you ever seen Dexter, Brittany? Yes. I haven't seen the new season of Dexter, like the new revamp of Dexter. But yes, I've seen Dexter. Year I mean, years ago now. But yeah, I finished Dexter. 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 Good times. Wait, why'd you bring that up? There's an age gap relationship in that story, isn't there? Is that why you brought it up? Is it his sister? No, she dates a serial killer. No, she dates... No, what's what's the story there? What's the relationship? I can't remember. <clears throat> I just want people to be happy and healthy and kind. So again, I don't want to judge. Everything is possible. You know? My advice for all women, just be 18. Tom, you're killing it tonight, Tom. Wow. You're killing it, Tom. Man. I really want the best for everyone. Okay. And it just worries me. And again, I've had so many callers, so many like relationship people come to me. So many people in my life, they just, this is the person. I'm like, is it? Are you sure? Because it feels weird. Like it doesn't feel like you're on the same page. The Dexter sister dated uh, an old man in the story. The old man broke up with the sister and she chased after him, convincing herself she wanted the relationship. Man, or the relation. I can't remember it. Tom should have been in the panel with these takes. Uh, true. Yeah, well, maybe I want to have a really serious discussion about this. I want to get some age gap people on the panel. I want to get some really serious thinkers on this because I do think um, that it's something that people ask themselves about. And I think people struggle with this. And I'm sorry to say, but I really do see a lot of young people struggling, dating these older people that are well-intentioned. They're not groomers, but they're sloppy around the rules. And I, yeah, I just don't feel comfortable with it. What age would you reckon people really have their lives um, and where they really want to, really want in a relationship figured out? Mm, it depends on the person. Like truly, it depends on the bubble you're raised in. I think the category of person you are matters almost more. What age would you reckon people really have uh, like their life together and what they want in a relationship? I really think it depends. Like, again, my farm brother once asked me, like, why did you have to date all these people before you found your person? And I said, well, why didn't you have a lot of long-term relationships before you found yours? Because he went on a lot of first dates for sure. But he never had any like girlfriends. And I said, why didn't you have a few girlfriends before you said yes to your person? And he was like, oh, I just knew. I knew when I went on a date with her. Like first date, I knew. And I was like, yeah, I never knew. I never knew. Until I was 30 and I had more struggles than he did, right? I have like borderline personality disorder. I had to go to therapy for it. I have PTSD. I had to like get help. I still have to get help for that. Like I, I have a lot I had to do. Yes, so I had to touch the stove. I had to touch the stove. I had to test everything. I had to have a relationship with myself that was so specific. He never had to bubble hop. My brother was born into his perfect bubble. He was born exactly into the bubble that was made for him. And I had to go make mine. We have totally different relationships with existing and existence. And he knows that. Him and I are so similar. We're very like loyalty, our values over loyalty. We're very like no cheating. We're very like, hey, date somebody, you know, within reason. His wife... I think they're, hold on, I actually asked him, you guys might even know more than I do at this point, like what their age gap is. It's just a few years and now they have four babinos, four kiddos, so cute, just like the cutest. Oh, they're only a year apart. <laughs> I thought they were more. They're just a year apart. Oh, well, damn. I thought they were like three or four years apart, but they're just one year apart. And they just worked out so well. She was 21 and he was 22 when they got married. They've been together since. He's now 30 and she's 29. They have four kids, a lovely house, a lovely life. They're so happy. They get along so well. They communicate so well. Um, they're just like the greatest, one of the greatest couples I know. So solid in who they are. They found each other at 21 and 22. Got married after, um, engaged after three months, married after six. Very serious first date. He's like, I want to talk to your dad. Um, want to talk to the priest. And then they got married. I didn't have that story. I had a different story. Mine was similar sort of in the end where I was like, hey, I need you to meet my priest friend and I need you to meet my brother. And I'm very serious about you. It took a second for me to be serious because I wasn't sure. 
when I first met him, genuinely, I was like, I don't want to marry him. I just like him and I want to talk to him. A week later, I was like, um, thoughts. <laughs> Literally, I think it took me a week. I have to check my messages, my my Discord messages. But I legit remember the first time we started talking. Um, I was like, nah, I don't want to. Like, I'm good. And then, oops. <laughs> there was something. I knew I wanted to talk to him. But man, yeah. Everyone is different. I don't want to say one, sh one size fits all. I really don't want that to be my work. I want my work to be so clearly everything can work, but I want it to be healthy. It can't work if it's dysfunctional. When I say that, I mean, I don't want to hear a story where you're like, I've been together 50 years, but I hit her every, I hit her every night against her consent. That's not working. That's not a win. I don't count that relationship as a win. That's a dysfunctional relationship. So same with age gap relationships. You guys can be together for 50, 30 years until that person dies. But were you good to each other? Was it healthy? Was it okay? You know? Or were you taking advantage of a young person? Or were you taking advantage of an old person? Look, sometimes you get a young person who's like, oh my God, he thinks I'm so pretty. He's going to buy me so many things. And they do take advantage of older people. But the older person refused to believe. They're like, uh, younger people can't take advantage of me because I'm the older person. Sure, buddy. In the same way, the younger person's like, I'm young. There's no way an older person can take advantage of me because I know what's up. Okay, sure. Hit wife equal L relationship. Facts. Yeah, I set a lot of boundaries in my relationships with age gaps. Really? So don't hit your girlfriend? Not, no. Not unless it's in a scene and consensual and negotiated and not really a hit. More like a spank. Have you heard of the song Golf on TV by Lennon, Lennon Stella? This is going to sound mad parasocial, but it reminds me of your love journey. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't know what it's about, but thank you. Uh, hit her with those sweet, sweet affirmations. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, it is 4.09 a.m., y'all. It is 4 in the morning. I have an appointment at four and four hours at 8 a.m. I have to leave the house in three and a half hours. I'm going to go spend some time with the love of my life because he's been waiting for me, I'm sure. I wonder if he fell asleep. I hope he did. But I'm going to go I'm going to go talk to my sweet, sweet husband. Please have the most amazing evening. Please treat each other well. Please treat yourselves well. Please know that you can have any relationship you want. Just make sure that it's more healthy than less healthy, more functional than dysfunctional. That's all I'm asking of the universe, bros. That's all I want for you guys. Just make sure you're on the same page. And reconsider dating a 19-year-old if you are literally over the age of 25. Just like reconsider it because maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. All right. Have a great night, guys.